Hi, it's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Friday the 23rd of February for a really, really exciting show. I'm going to be launching Delft Clay Casting. Now Delft Clay is a form, a refined form of sand casting and it's really, really exciting. So we're going to be using things like this, these and this to create things like this. So I hope you can join me on Friday the 23rd of February at Jewelry Maker. Good morning, Deb Kershaw. Good morning. You morning. little beauty, you. It's sand casting today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone's given you a go with fire, as you fire. say. Fire. Oh, my goodness me. Deb, this is like the best thing in the whole world, isn't it? It's, it's absolutely yeah. it's incredible. It's very me. I love an organic piece of jewelry that looks like it was made with your hands, not a machine. And you can do so much oh. with this. We've only had one show before. What's different this time is that we have um, Argentium as well as 925. Oh my so gosh. that's, I need to turn these around a little bit, don't I? Where does it need to go? That Moon. one. That, that Moon bit. face. No! Moon! The moon was beautiful this morning when I was driving down. Was it's it? It's full moon. tomorrow. It's beautiful. Beautiful, wasn't it? I Absolutely love the moon. gorgeous. This piece here, which I'm wearing, I'm literally, honestly, I, I got so excited this morning <laughs> about all of these pieces. I won't repeat exactly what I said because there's a lot of expletives <laughs> in there. But just look at that. Isn't it just incredible? This is. Oh. <laughs> no, it's no, not made out of sand, no. Neary. No. It's not made oh, of sand, but gosh. Uh, yeah. Bless him. Um, all coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Yep. We're going to give Deb as much, uh, as much time as, as, as we can in the 12 o'clock hour, because it is one of those things that um, it takes time, mm -hmm. but the results are so spectacular. They really genuinely, I, I'm so excited about this. And what's oh. great about it is if you don't like it, you can chuck it back in the pot and melt it again. Exactly. That's exactly it. Like well, I was I was talking to Carol this morning and showing the difference between the silvers and, and Carol said, well, what do you do with that now? And I said, we just chuck it back in. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, you know, it won't. The great thing about this is you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, precisely. That's exactly you it. You never know. So it's that moment of opening the crucible and going, what is going to happen? There are more precise forms where people put them in the machine and they get um, wax and they carve it all so they yeah. know pretty much what they're going to get but this is just oh i'm excited can you tell yes Ooh. we can tell sorry but just i'm just handing deb the wall of fame as well we've got loads <laughs> and loads of incredible things coming up on today's show do you want to see your um early bird special these are so cool epic this is we all love these bring on the trolley we've got uh, black and white frames to hang your jewellery, whether it's necklaces, bracelets, whatever, in your home. And you've also got these gorgeous cardboard tags, which you fold over like that. There you go. Glue those together. Put your own little insignia there, your own little stamp, what it is, uh, the price point maybe. Hang it up on there. Good to go. It's gorgeous. So professional. They're great for gemstone bracelets because if you could put the properties on the little chakras, card. yeah, absolutely. Um, if I, when I was making to sell, I would have absolutely loved these because you know they're high, so utilising that above space as well. Yes. And you get loads of stretches on there. Also, um, easier to kind of take off, easier to just just a, a really professional finish, 
to make your bracelets uh, just just a kind of, and, 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 and as Deb quite rightly says, to get that information on there if you want to, to get the information about the gemstones, your branding, whatever it might be, absolutely awesome. So we've got black and white coming up um, at the end of this hour. So really excited about all of that. We've also got coming up today, um, oh my gosh, the return of smoky quartz, everyone. Mm -hmm. The return of smoky quartz. Smoky Quartz projects coming up in the nine o'clock hour. Absolutely amazing. But not just any Smoky Quartz, ombre. These are the most gorgeous projects, Deb. They're, well, again, it's something that you really don't have to think about too much because you can do charm bracelets, you can do you know anything, very, very wearable jewellery. And again, you've got that neutral tone of the smoky quartz. Yes. So it'll go with absolutely anything you want to put with it. Absolutely, 100%. You've also got coming up today, we've got some gorgeous pink water jade. We've got gorgeous green jade bamboo uh, shaped beads. We've also got the beautiful full circle of uh, jade and we've also got the most beautiful hang on let me just see if I can grab this Olmec double dragon carving as well so all of that's going to be coming up as a gorgeous showcase in the 10 o'clock hour as well so really excited about all of that um, 11 o'clock hour we've got some gorgeous aquamarine coming your way as well let me show you some of these beauties these are really really lovely got in gold and silver love these aquamarine pieces because look at the quality of that <gasps> wow. next month's birthstone next friday i believe is it yeah the first of uh march Good can great. you believe that is february's that over and done with next you know this time next week so it's crazy great. isn't it mm. absolutely amazing um we've also got now this is off the back of the success of the amazing under 10 pound deals that we did the other day we bought you one strand of Branca Onyx. Off the back of that, we've got another showcase. They're not going to be going under £10. Um, oh, stop it, near it. Uh, but gorgeous Branca Onyx showcase coming up. Depending on the interest we get in these, the prices might be quite similar. So very, very, very excited about that as well. We've also got sterling silver bead caps. Um, sorry, not bead caps, uh, peg bales. Uh, coming up as well with lovely flower tops on them as well. That's going to be coming up in this hour as well. There's absolutely tons. Can I direct you to our website, jewelrymaker.com? Click on Watch Live, scroll down, you can see latest deals, today's deals. And you can see all of the incredible opportunities we've got in this hour. It is a viewer's choice, so all these items are going to disappear at nine o'clock. Crackled quartz, we've only literally got a few of those available. Um, Stunning silver hammered heart bracelet. Oh my gosh, that sounds lovely. Yellow ombre, yellow orange red ombre jade. Oh my gosh, there's loads. Multicolour jade, freshwater culture pearls. Uh, uh, oh, aura quartz, glass beads, Ooh. gorgeous high goo. Lapis lazuli cabs, they're really, really nice. I've seen those this morning, they're absolutely gorgeous. Crazy Lace Agate as well. Magnetic Clasps. Gee whiz, look at all of that. Plus we've got Neri, we've got Bruce, we've got Michael, and we've got Lauren with us today. Good morning, gang. <laughs> Michael giving himself a huge round of applause there. <laughs> Amazing, he's still, and Neri's still scrolling. They see me scrolling. Okay, loads. Loads and loads and loads. Anything that you like the look of, go to that side of the picture. There's a little box which says send message to studio if there's anything you want us to play, uh, whatever number it is. Or if you just want to say good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, please do uh, message us. We'd love to hear from you. Should we go to the Wall of Fame and see some of your incredible designs? Let's go. We'll see you there. <laughs> This is a lovely first entry at uh, number 812 from Linda Walker. Hi all at JM, here's my entry for the Wall of Fame, a necklace made with raw peridot and freshwater pearls. Uh, I purchased a peridot a while ago now. Uh, I finally came up with this necklace. Uh, the rosary relinking took a while, but very pleased with it. Hope you like it. Good luck to all who entered and hello to you all at JM Towers. Linda, hello to you, well done to you. Gorgeous work there, that's all really, really neat. And I love your shell as well. Thank you for that, my lovely. Susan, good, good, good. You're number 813. 
Hi everyone, here's my make using freshwater cultured pearls, three Tahitian pearls from a bracelet bought from Gemporia. I've used a silver plated clasp from a kit, hoping for a win. Good luck to everyone in the draw. Take care everyone, says Susan. And to you too, my lovely. What a gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. How stunning. Wonderful. Well done, my lovely. Thank you so much for that. Oh, Deb, it's me. Look at this. This is lovely. I would wear this Me every too. day. And this is 814 Gail Trowman. Hello all at JM. Please see attached this week's entry for the WAF. I've made myself a freshwater cultured pearl marla necklace. Wow. Very indulgent, I know. Simply knotted on silk and added my stunning mother of pearl master carving. All from JM as always. Good luck to all. That is simply stunning, Gail. I absolutely love that. Mm. Good luck. Now I recognise the next one. Oh, go on. I like it. Ah! <laughs> ah! And this is Sylvia Scott, 815 UR. Sylvia, hi all at JM. Please find my entry to this week's WAF. I bought the coated lucite flowers that Debbie demonstrated. That's me, by the way. Yay! I made a necklace and earrings for my daughter's birthday. The instructions that came with the kit were easy to follow, and this is the result. She loved them, by the way. Aww. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. Oh, that's made my day. That has absolutely beautiful. Good luck, Sylvia. You need to keep that by you, because, of course, in the nine o'clock, we've got the gorgeous uh, Ombre Smoky Quartz project. But if there's time, we will also be... Um, showing you the gorgeous lucite flowers there's some lucite well. flowers left mm -hmm. so ah. yeah. gorgeous right let's make a start shall we let's start off with beautiful gorgeous little smooth rounds of your gorgeous garnet there we go everyone you can sand cast with garnet oh 4.99 yes yes neary i love it Starting off as we mean to go on. Jackie, good morning, lovely ladies and crew. Looking forward to uh, today's show and the laughs, says uh, Jackie, the headband lady. Us now, never. Jackie uses lots of lucite in her gorgeous headbands on her Etsy shop. So, yeah, fantastic. Thank you, Jackie, my lovely. 2 99 get involved when you can. Now, there's three different ways you can get involved with jewelry making. You can either call us on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 655, get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can download our app and you can watch us on the go. However you get involved, it's great to have your company. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Get involved, everybody. You're in for an amazing weekend. Uh, we've got uh, gorgeous Rachel Norris joining us tomorrow. We've got Mark Smith joining us on Sunday. We've got loads and loads and loads of incredible showcases coming your way as well. So really excited. Mary's got four. Anthony's got two. Carol, Dawn, and Rachel, Charlene, Violet. Well done to all of you there. Well done. Go, go, go. 0800 644 £2.99. These would make the, these would make great tassels, wouldn't they? Your gemstone Ooh, tassels. I like garnet with pearls. Oh, yes. Delicious. Spaces. Delicious. Gorgeous. Oh, look at it as well. $2.99. Sold out. That's a lovely deal. Oh, my gosh. Microfaceted rounds, oh. Neri. Black spinach. Are they two mil? Oh, perfect size. <gasps> these. Oh. Love those. Look at those bad boys. Look at those bad boy, bad boy. What are you going to do? I'm going to come through and get the black spinel faceted two mil rounds. That's what I'm going to do. Well done, everybody. Get involved when you can. Charlene's already there. <gasps> Look at that sparkle. Mm. Yes. You absolute winner. Oh, Linda. Well done to you. Look, at, isn't that just delightful? Aren't they gorgeous? Charlene, you got multiple. Oh, she's checked out. Ten. It's four ninety nine. Congratulations. Well done. Now, with 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 a strand like this, when you do multi buy, you can start to do things like twist them, plait them, maybe be super indulgent. I mean, this is the height of luxury, isn't that it? That Michelle Yo. Um, there's a PowerPoint somewhere. Michelle Yo wore this absolutely incredible um, necklace, and it was loads of strands of spinel, oh, and then gosh. it had like a focal point here. Maybe that's what um, Charlene. Charlene's thinking of doing. Is that what you're thinking I of doing? I hope so. That's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that is just the most epic, epic strand. Well done. Four ninety nine. Congratulations. Well, what are you laughing at? I'm over laughing there? at Neary. Neary. I know. Neary, <laughs> even Neary says I'm in a bit of a funny mood today. I, honestly, he's ever so he's ever so odd. Are you playing football later, Neary? Oh, are these that's... those shell ombre shell pearls? Are they shell pearls? I love these. Oh my gosh! Look these at them. Gorgeous. 
You've got um, lavender, <sighs> pink, peach, yellow, purple, shell pearls. These are absolutely gorgeous. I think Monica did a design with these a while oh, back I where bet she, she did, did. tassels yeah. and oh it was gorgeous i haven't seen them since they're beautiful you, you know that lovely wall of fame entry with the gorgeous pearls that really lovely mm -hmm. uh, necklace we've just had mm. uh, the mala you could do something like this i mean obviously you know at 18 pounds 99 pence it's going to be you know a, a fraction of the cost isn't it um but i just love these colors they're so springy i, I want to add maybe some uh, peridot in with these as well Ooh, make it really lovely and springy spring like put a tassel on the bottom not your price today. Yeah, you're getting a meter. A whole meter. Look at it. It's incredible. Sorry, Michael. There you go. You got all of that. Oh, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, stop, stop shaking your head at me, Michael. They're very hey. Chanel. Hey? They're very Chanel. Oh, gosh. Yes. Aren't they? So you're kind of rope style kind yeah. of. Yeah, and like Chanel don't use real pearls, so. No, there you go. Knowledge. There you go, look, very Chanel. What's <clears> good <throat> for Chanel is good for us, thank you. Absolutely, <laughs> if it's good, good enough for Coco, it's good enough for us. Uh, well done to Stella, we've got Mariska, we've got Elaine joining us. We're down to 14.99, congratulations everybody. Well done everybody, but guess what? We're gonna go again because Neri's in an odd mood. Here we go everyone. Go, go, go. You're going to be so glad you came through to get this today because today it's 9 99 Wow. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Great strand to be able to practice your pearl knotting with maybe as well. Mm. Linda, you're in Yorkshire. Good morning, lovely ladies and fab crew. Carol, Debbie, could you please wish my crafty friend Marion Doyle a very happy birthday for tomorrow, please? Of course. Happy well, birthday. Well, we'll do it tomorrow as well. But happy birthday, Marion Doyle. Happy birthday. Mwah. 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 Oh, mwah. I know you said you didn't want to kiss, but <laughs> I thought I'd offer one anyway. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. <laughs> well done, everyone. It just takes me back to my to my eldest daughter. She used to go, mwah, like that. Mwah, oh, yeah. And she's blowing kisses. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Clemmie does that. She goes, <laughs> Pudgy little pudgies. Ooh, and grow up to be... Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 999. Well, no, I love I do love them. Uh, no, no, I do. I love them. Nine ninety nine. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. It's sold out. Just Woohoo. like that. I love that strand. I think that was amazing. Me too. I love it too. <gasps> another meter. We got another meter. A meter of. Look at this bad <gasps> boy. A meter of your jade. Oh my word. <gasps> Wayne Del Paso in the building. Good morning. Have you seen our early bird today? Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Hey. Wayne's in there. I love that. He's loving it. That is a gorgeous strand. I would buy that strand. Faceted rounds as well. We all know what, you know, it's been kind of discussed recently when we've had Dave on the show is that uh, we're, we're not, uh, mm. you know, the cutting houses are not going to be faceting jade anymore because every single molecule of this incredible gemstone counts. Um, we're at 24.99. I can't quite believe that. That's absolutely, how many do we have left, Neary? Two? Oh my word, hurry up. We're at 24 pounds and 99 pence. Great, great, great quality. We've got Kent, Surrey, Lincolnshire, Devon, Gwynedd, five loads of you there. Sold out. Well done. Okay. Moving on, baby. Moving on, up and I'm moving on. I don't have time to break free. Nothing can stop me. Oh. What's going on with this? Oh, hang on. Here we go. <gasps> Is it a cider gorgeous necklace? Gorgeous necklace. Oh, gorgeous. Ooh. That's so chic. Do you know what? That's so designer, isn't it? Yeah. There's your chain going all the way around your neckline, going through your um, uh, heart-shaped slider. There are your little um, beads there. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous, Deb. Can you imagine that with a little black dress and like, you know, if you've got like a V-neck and just that and your hair up, it would be so sophisticated. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna pop it on a bust actually, just so you can see it a bit, um, a bit clearer. Sarah in Buckinghamshire, we've already got you there. This is so lovely. This is a really fantastic, really fantastic quality you're gonna be getting here. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my word. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Mm. I mean, that could be 
um, uh, Thomas Savo. That yeah. could be Monica Veneda. Absolutely. You know, it's got such a designer feel to it, hasn't it? All the way down, 19.99, and we're going to be taking the price point low for you today. That's just so gorgeous. Look at that little slider there, isn't it gorgeous? Well done, everybody. 0800 six triple four six double five. David and Lincolnshire, congratulations, well done to you, my darling. Taking the price point all the way down for you today. Well done. Here we go. 12.99. How amazing is that? And do you know what? If you're looking at this and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm going to cut that up. I'm going to use it, you know, with this that, and the other. I'm going to use it in seven different pieces of jewelry. You absolutely go for it. There's nothing to there's nothing to say you've got to use it as a necklace. You have to use it in this particular way. If you want to use it as a bracelet, you go for it. Mother's Day. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, Deb. Mother's I put my Day. hand up. Can I speak, please, miss? Mother's Day. Mother's With Day. A heart. I know. Isn't it gorgeous? If any of my children watched, I'd be dropping hints, but nobody. Joe in Cornwall, uh, just tuned in. Can I see Deb's uh, rings, please? Oh, honestly, you do not want to hear the words that I was uttering this morning over these rings. I, honestly, this is. I. It was one of those launches. When, when we launched Sandcasting, I didn't. It wasn't on my show. And I was insanely, insanely jealous. Yeah, I you was absolutely Because livid. I was supposed to be on with you and then yes. I was poorly. You were poorly, that was it. And it got rescheduled. Yeah. It, honestly, this is. This, and, and Deb is absolutely right. This is jewellery that it, you, it, it's made with your hands. And what I love about it is the gems look like they're erupting from the silver. It is honestly. I think well, it, it, you're going to see big things from this variety, uh, from this from this type of uh, casting over the next few years. It is absolutely on, bang on trend. It's absolutely amazing. And Carol's wearing one. I'm wearing, yeah, I'm wearing one of the rings as well. Yes, that's one. That's my favourite. I think. It's beautiful. Do you know what I wanted it to look like? It was almost like um, um, a twig. Yes. Yes. There, there we go. Success. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a hazel twig. Yes. All gnarled and everything. It's absolutely beautiful. It's coming up at the twelve o'clock hour. Oh, oh I'm glad amazing. you said that. Yeah, it, it really is though. It's, it, it, it's just gorgeous. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. That is about to sell out. Well done. Magnetic clasp. Oh, it's sold out. Three left of the gold version. Which number is it, lovely? Thirty two. Same age. No. No, not same age as me, Carol. How old are you, Neary? Is he thirty two? Yeah, I like the fact, Michael, that you told him how old he was. How do you not? How Anyway, here we go. Yellow gold plated <laughs> sterling silver magnetic clasp. Silver version, completely sold out. You get two of them. These are so cute. These are a little bit smaller than some of the magnetic clasps we've oh, done in the past. Good. And I really like that. Mm. Um, particularly if you're going to be using strands like <laughs> bamboo jade. Yeah. That literally is the same size. And I think Perfect. if you were to use a rounded magnetic clasp, it would look slightly odd. Heavy. Um, it, it, did, it wouldn't fit as well. That is absolutely gorgeous. Maker, Violet, Jane, Helen's got two. Congratulations, well done to you. You do get both of them for that price point of 12 99 which is absolutely incredible. Uh, just so, so, so lovely. Great for making earrings, charms, or whatever it might be. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 12 99 We've got Anne in Kent as well. Great to have your company. Congratulations, well done. You're doing absolutely brilliantly today. Well done, everybody. Um, Bidders from all over the country getting involved. If there's anything you'd like us to play, just send us a request. We will absolutely play it for you. Just to the right-hand side of the picture, there's a box which says, send a message to studio. And just say, hi, gang, please, can you play number, I don't know, 39? And we'll play it for you. In fact, we've got 39 coming up next. Here we go. It is, here we go. Let's have a little look. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, these are so cute. Move that there. There we go. These are sterling silver. Beautiful little flower connectors. If I just hold one in the tweezers, actually, just because you'll be able to see all the link, all the, all the little anchor points. There we go. There we go. All sterling oh. silver. There we go. Beautiful. I Aren't they gorgeous? With little rows on either end. There's your little loop as well on either end. They're so sweet. You get the pack of three of them. Aren't they sweet? Oh, they are, I've not seen those. They're right up my designer alley there. Do you know those kind of, um, do you know those kind of, uh, those kind of um, station necklaces? Yes. Um, uh, this would be such a lovely station in a station necklace, wouldn't it? Just to add Absolutely. a bit of a flourish. You know, whether it's going to be with pearls, whether it's going to be in wedding jewellery, flower girl jewellery, in the middle of a gorgeous sliding class bracelet, that would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Oh, well done, fourteen ninety nine for you. That's a fiver per sterling silver connector. 
all handmade, absolutely beautiful quality, beautiful um, kind of polish on these as well. With all those little tiny nooks and crannies, it still retains that gorgeous sterling silver quality. Number 40, please. Thank you, says June in Surrey. No, June. Thank you. We'll play that for you, my lovely. No problem at all. Well done. So 14 99 for those. Absolutely gorgeous. Moving on, baby. Oh, June. You've got the most amazing taste. Have a look at this. Hey, what's wrong? Big fat pearl. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's all ready made. That's all done for you. Maker and Fife wants four of these. Check you out my lovely. You could hang things from that as well, couldn't you? Like gemstones and little oh, pearls. Oh yeah, for sure. Or... What are the links like? So it's a box, it, it, it's, a, um, it's a box chain. So there are apertures. I, I, Michael, I don't know how close you can get, Levy, but, but you can see that the apertures are there. If you use a oh, yes. super fine featherweight head pin or maybe 0.25 millimetre gauge wire, you can definitely get that through there. Amazing. Oh, it's so pretty as it is as well. And don't, don't you think, Deb, because it is a box chain, because of the size of the links, the, the, the drape, the swag, the luster, exactly. it just works so well. So well. I love your idea about adding gems on the bottom of there. That would just be gorgeous. Doesn't that look like a bluebell? It Isn't it sweet? June in Surrey, well done to you, Maker and Fife. Uh, well done to you, my darlings. Uh, check out as soon as you can. They make lovely earrings, obviously pendants as well, bag charms, uh, gorgeous kind of tassels on the bottom of a Marla style necklace. That would just be absolutely gorgeous. Look at the movement. Especially if you love fiddling with your jewellery, that's very mm. tactile, isn't it? The drape it? is lovely, you're right. That sort of chain just lends itself. Yeah. It just flows and drapes. Gorgeous, well done. multi bit is coming through today. Congratulations, well done. I can't believe all of that is 29.99. What's the gram weight on that, Neary No. 8.48 grams, what? 8.48 grams of silver. That's, that's obscene. Yeah, that's a lot. 8.48 grams of silver. God, that ring looks amazing, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely incredible. Amazing. You can really feel that, by the way. Right, where are we going now, lovely? Are you sure number 43 is sold out, lovely? Oh. Oh. Two strands of genuine freshwater cultured pearls. We are seeing less and less and less pearls like this. We really are. Um, and I, I, I would say, you know, gosh, 10 years ago, pearls like this would have been the norm. We are seeing less and less and less of pearls like this. We're focusing, rightly or wrongly, we're focusing more on the larger pearls, the rounder, the more baroque, you know, just the more statement pearls. Pearls like this, we, we, we can bring you seed pearls occasionally, but there seems to be a bit of a gap between a seed pearl and then like a seven, eight mil pearl. This really does fill that gap. I really, really like this size. So do I. It's a little bit different. It's not a seed pearl, but it's not your kind of classic seven to eight mil pearl. It's just in the middle. I think maybe for someone who's got slightly smaller wrists, someone who's maybe slightly younger, or if you're looking for something which isn't a seed pearl, so not like a, an embellishment, like a decorative pearl, but you're looking for a little bit more of a statement, but you don't want to go too big. Um, this is, these are absolutely perfect. These are the kind of things I can imagine maybe in a, a lovely headband or something like that, where you want to go larger than a seed pearl, but not too large. Do you know what I mean? Gorgeous quality. The fact you're getting two strands as well is amazing. Um, I would be multi-buying this just purely because I've not bought you five to six mil pearls like this for what feels like an eternity. No. Really, really lovely quality there. Gorgeous, gorgeous size and shape. They're not nuggets. They're definitely not rounds. They're not potato shape. They've just got that really lovely free form quality. There's two strands here I've got. Is it two or are you just getting... No, you're getting another one. What? What number is it? You did tell me. Oh, I've got it. It's here. Ah, uh, three strands. Oh, is it gone? Three strands. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Oh amazing. my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, that really is amazing. Oh, now I'm thinking. Twisty, twisty, twisty. Look at that. Twisty, twisty, twisty. You can make those indulgent pieces, that bubble style pieces. That would be a nice bit. Oh, the, uh, the, the design you made on the other day. Tuesday? Mm. Monday. Tuesday. Mon Monday. Oh my gosh. I know. It's I literally so can't remember my own name. Monday. Yeah. Because 
you know, that was a graduation. Yeah. So you needed the smaller ones. And the smaller ones, like you said, are the ones, I mean, I've, I've got some moustache from years ago from yes. JM, but we haven't brought them for a while. And the way things are going as well in the pearl Oh world. my gosh, yeah, it, it really is. Panic yeah. bye. <laughs> uh, well done, 24.99, congratulations. Well done, that's for three strands. Miss Janet, hi, gorgeous girls and Team JM. Settled in for a fantastic fire starting Friday show. <laughs> Gonna be another good one. It really is, uh, Janet. And uh, yes, we have the fire starter sitting over there. Sold out, well done. She's the fire starter. Amazing fire starter, starter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mariska is sorry. Uh, good morning, JM. My favourite trio today: Carol, Tom, and Debbie. Oh, oh my gosh! She didn't mention Michael. Thank you. Oh, he's all, he's all. Thanks. He loves the fact he's been included. My day off today, Debbie. Your rings are fabulous. Thank you they very rather, very much. Such fun. Because there's no stress. If you pour it and you open it and go, oh, it didn't go all the way, or blah, blah, I don't like it. You put it back in, you melt it again. Oh. With the fire. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's true, isn't it? Poking a stick with a fire, like a bonfire, yeah, poking a bonfire with a stick. Um, poking a bonfire with a stick makes you feel very powerful. And the fire's got to be just perfect. Like, you know, if there's an, um, someone with an open fire, I have to poke it till it looks... Yeah. yeah. This is sand casting we're going to be doing today. So it's very controlled. It's very controlled. Oh, it's very controlled. I'm joking. But, you know, you always want to, if you're using fire, have a fire extinguisher or a fire blank. I've got both of those things in my studio. Hang on. I, I think Neary's trying to tell a joke. Go he on said, then. you asked me if I was excited for the sand casting. And I said, sure. Sand on the shore. <laughs> oh, my gosh. By the way, Neary still thinks that these rings are made of sand. <laughs> They're not made of sand, Neary. You've got to get that out of your head. Like you a can... sand castle? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we can make some sand castles if you want. Yeah? Oh, I've got I two love... kilograms of sand. We can make a mermaid if you're football. Anything you want. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go, everyone. <laughs> oh, help me. Uh, <laughs> Multicolour jade rounds, eight mil. Oh. They look, is, it, is it me to think? They look bigger than eight mil. Mm -hmm. I love those, they're beautiful. Anyway, I mean, they, are go they really are gorgeous. You're gonna be getting your gorgeous greens and then you're getting your proper reds. Oh yeah. Proper, proper, proper. Proper reds. Gorgeous orange in the middle there as well. They are absolutely stunning. Actually, do you know what? Um, Dave was on the show the other day and he showed a gorgeous uh, red jade pendant that he bought from Mason Kay when he was over in Tucson. Ooh. Exactly the same colour as these. And if it's good enough for Mason Kay. It's good enough for us. It's good enough for us. Absolutely. Here we go. Um, so eight mil rounds of your gorgeous multicolour jade. Beautiful, beautiful tones in there. Beautiful reds, gorgeous greens. And we're going to give you the most amazing price point. $49.99 for a strand of jade. What is going on? Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. 0800 644 Well done. Don't forget we've got our early birds coming up, which, of course, are the jewellery displays with tags. Very excited about these coming your way. I know absolutely amazing they're going to be coming your way uh, we've got the stand in black and we've got it in white as well really really phenomenal great space saving um uh, kind of display there that's coming up towards the end of the hour are we doing a star by did i hear on what these ones oh amazing let's do a star by on your flower topped peg bales Here we go. Sterling silver peg bales. Oh my word. Now, I love a peg bale um, because I am inherently, oh, don't want to tell you all my secrets. I'm inherently quite a, quite a lazy person. Um, if I, if I can, uh, if I can do something with the, with the kind of, with the greatest of ease, I absolutely will do. When you set 
And it really is this simple. When you set a gemstone with a peg bale, be it a half drilled gemstone, be it a fully through drilled gemstone, it doesn't really matter, but let's talk about half drilled gemstones first of all. So a gemstone with a drill hole that goes halfway through the stone. So nothing from the bottom and from the top you can see your drill hole. You use your two part epoxy or your eco, uh, sorry, E6000 or whatever it might be. Um, and you literally glue that into your gemstone, leave it for 24 hours, that's it. Done. It, that, that really is it. And they're wonderful because they don't um, cover up your stone yep. or your pearl or whatever you're using. So you still get the beauty of that. And then you get this little flourish at the top. I absolutely love them. I think they're invaluable. They're a, a, a necessary. You need them in your stash. They are such time savers. They give you a professional finish. Yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. Now, you can use them, obviously, as bales, so hanging from a necklace. You can, if you want to, get a through drill gemstone and glue, uh, you, you might need to cut your pegs down a little bit, put your gemstone in the middle, glue one peg into one side, one peg into the other side. You've made yourself a gorgeous little connector there. Yes, yeah. A gemstone connector, which is equally, you know, absolutely beautiful. When you get things like this, please, 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 don't just think, ah, right, okay, it's a peg bale, I need to use it as part of a necklace. Because if you wanted to, you could easily make these into little earrings, couldn't you? Oh, yes, definitely. I've used them for earrings before now. They work so well. Oh, Oh, that's so pretty. It's gorgeous with the little flower with top the on flower. there. I so love So sweet, that. isn't it? Yeah, that's so pretty. Lovely little bit of detail there. Just a little bit of a, a flourish, as you quite rightly say, Deb. It just add, it makes all the difference. Jewelry making doesn't have to be super, super challenging. No. Jewelry making doesn't have to be, um, uh, you know, you know, starting a brand new specialism. It doesn't have to be that. It can be. We've got gorgeous sand casting coming up in the 12, which I'd urge you to do. I'd urge you to have a go at but it doesn't need to be something completely and utterly brand. It can be something so simple. Janet in Devon, hi there all. Uh, it's my 82nd birthday today. Aww. Looking forward to fun before I have to go out with the, f oh, before I have to go out with the family. <laughs> oh, Janet. Oh, happy birthday. Do you mean before you go out with your family or before you have to go out with your family? Well, you can always take us. This would be amazing. You could always take us with you. You can go out with the family and just be there looking at the app. Sorry, now I'm watching Jewelry Maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, Deb. Yeah, just watching the sand casting demo. Yeah. What was that? Oh, sorry. Bloody hell. There we go. Oh, Janet. I would never make my day if you did that. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Happy birthday. 82 today. Give it up for Deb. Oh, 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 Bruce, have you got any special men uh, messages for uh, Janet today? Hey? Happy birthday, Janet. That, that's from Bruce. Bruce. Bruce is opening a Cameo account so he can start to do special messages. So if you do want to pay him, is it 50p the going rate? 50p. <laughs> he, will, he will record you a special birthday message. <laughs> I love it. Well done. We are at... <laughs> we are at 19.99 for your five sterling silver um your sterling silver peg bells absolutely gorgeous well done everybody oh hang on we're taking the price down again yeah come on it's a star buy we're taking the price down 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 baby Absolutely amazing. Have a very happy birthday, Janet says Gloria. Oh, this is all the lovely, all the lovely viewers are messaging you now, Janet, saying happy birthday. 82. Oh, God. Fabulous. That's great, isn't it? Mm. 82. That's amazing. Awesome. How about three pounds each? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Whoa! Amazing. 14.99 for you today. Old Rachel in North Yorkshire. Happy B Day. Happy B Day, Janet. <laughs> Happy birthday, lovely Janet. Well done. Oh, thank you so much. 14.99. Let's take those details away in a couple of seconds. Whoa, hang on, Bruce. Bruce has put the wrong clock in. Take that one out. Put the purple one in. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Stop. Oh. Ah! Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Purple, Bruce! Purple! <laughs> oh my gosh! Scenes in 
the gallery. There's bits of paper going everywhere. <laughs> There's beads of sweat on Bruce's brow. There's all sorts going on. <laughs> what do you want? What clock do you want? Well done, everybody. 10 seconds. We're taking the price point even lower. Well done, Kathy, Cheryl, Pat, Helen, Barbara, Maker, Anne, Mariska, Rachel, Sally, Maker, Maker, David. Here we, this better be good now, Neary. This better be good after all that great performance. <laughs> Come on, let's take them down to a tenner. Yeah, let's go. Well done, everyone. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yay! Two pounds each. Well done, everybody. Oh, another message coming through for lovely Janet from a Janet. Happy birthday. Sue saying happy birthday. Oh, lots of lovely people messaging into the show to 82. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I mean yeah, that's just, it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. 82. Gosh, I hope I can live till I'm 82. It's a great age. Yeah. It's great age. That's a, that's a, that's a, look, think about what Janet's achieved in her lifetime. And the wisdom of the that. Wisdom. The wisdom. The life wisdom. The advice. Mm. Amazing, isn't it? Mm, it is. My grandma, um, she passed away when she was 91. She, she swore by vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> it aids digestion, <laughs> Carol. It aids digestion. And uh, my husband still eats um, uh, uh, vanilla ice cream after almost every meal because he's, uh, well, <laughs> Grandma Jones said it was uh, aided, aided my digestion. Uh, 9.99 for you today. Well done. Two pounds each. Absolutely fantastic. Gary in Gloucestershire. Well done. Loads of multi bidders coming through. Well done. Go, 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 go. Absolutely fantastic. What an amazing deal. Go, go, go. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Also, if you could tell your, if you could tell your, uh, if you could write a letter to your 18 year old self, what would you say? I'd say, dear Deb, don't listen to your mum. If you shave your legs, it's fine. You won't end up regretting it. I can just imagine that dialogue. Guess oh. who went to school for like two years with long socks and tights when she could have just shaved her legs. Oh, Deb. I mean, th these are third world, first world problems, these, you know. Oh, no, but at the time, it's just traumatic. It's, oh, gosh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I, I, I think I would say to myself, just don't, don't care what other people think. Definitely. Just do what you're doing. You're absolutely fine. And as Baz Luhrmann says, you are not as fat as you imagine, or whatever he says. It, it, you know, that, yeah. that, that kind of song. That, that's such a good song. Oh, my word. Amazing. Um, right, well done. 9.99. What would you tell your 18-year-old self? Right, Bruce, now we're looking for the red clock. <laughs> this is the right one now. Yay. Thank you, Bruce. Well done. One minute to close. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Check out your baskets. Go, go, go. These are solid sterling silver, just to let you know as well. Solid sterling silver peg bells. They're absolutely beautiful. They'll finish your jewellery off to such a high level. Um, and also, when you get those kind of um, half-drilled half -drilled gems and you get the peg bell and, you know, all that lovely kind of design, very similar to a lot of kind of designer jewellery, isn't it? With that yeah. kind of half-drilled element. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Definitely. And I, I just think to have something different at the top, like the little flower shape, when often yeah. it's round or... Absolutely. Um, if you're doing your floral designs, and that can just add to it, can't yeah. it? Gorgeous. Well done. Seventeen seconds. 10 seconds of taking the details away. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Go, 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 go. 0800 655. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everybody. Caroline, Leslie, Maker Joan, Christine, Joanne, Barbara, Alicia, Maker. Well done to you as well. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. What an opportunity. Well done. Mary in Argyll and Butte, Chrissy in Oxfordshire as well. Lots and lots of people coming through. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Right, okay. Let's move it on up, baby. Move on up. Ba, 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 ba. Coming up, the early birds. Oh, baby. Ha, baby, baby. So we've got the gorgeous um, tags, which come to you looking like this. There we go. You fold them over around the necklace, around the bracelet, mm -hmm. and they look like that. You can put your own stamp, put your own information on there, your gemstones, your price tag, whatever it might be. Just that, just, just that, that little detail there looks just so professional, doesn't it? Really, it really, and there's even a little place. So much place. better than just kind of doing that. Yeah, oh yeah. And there's even so much a, a little place to put your price or your description yeah. on the actual um, stand itself. I like that. 
Gorgeous. Well done. Uh, 19.99 for your. Oh, hang on. What's 19.99? What are we doing? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm literally showing the early bird. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Right. What number is it? You're asking me to. You're asking lots of me at the, at, at, at the minute, Neri. Asking me questions in my ear, which you're expecting me to answer. You're asking me to show the early bird and bring you the snake. There's only so much I can do. <laughs> snakey, snakey. Oh, look. Sterling silver snake connector. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic quality. Uh, you've got your. Um, <laughs> You've got your uh, you've got your four connectors there, which is absolutely cool. How would you use this, Deb? What would you be doing with this bad boy? He's very designer, isn't he? I've seen snakes pop up in a lot of um, design. Ooh, I think I might put him asymmetrically on a necklace. Oh, so he's kind of slithering along. Oh, I like that idea. Um, I like him that way as well. He could be. How long is he? Could he be on a bracelet? I yeah. think he'd be nice across yeah, as well. Yeah, across a bracelet, for sure. Also, because it's sterling silver, you might be able to... Oh, yeah, well, you can do it. I'm beginning to do it already. You can, you can shape form him over, yeah. the, over the bangle mandrel so he doesn't sit straight. Rigid. He's, he's yeah, so he's curved. He's lovely, he's isn't cute, he? isn't he? Like his little kind of... The little curl on his tail as well. It's just beautiful. Fourteen ninety nine for you today. Christine, Anna, well done to you, Margaret. Well done to you, Maker. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Uh, that getting married after... Si uh, sorry, that getting married at 16 was a very stupid idea and not to do it. Oh, Christine. <laughs> We're basically saying, what would you tell your 18-year-old self? Um... Cuddly cow. Gloria says, morning, cuddly cow. Delightful, Debbie. So looking forward to the sand casting and buying more supplies. Yay! Yay! Gloria, Gloria, you're such a good jewellery maker. She is amazing. I want to see some of your sand casting. Send us some images of it, lovely. Studio at jewelrymaker.com. Send us some images, Gloria. Uh, Julian Warmly, um, life is a bumpy ride. It goes far too quickly. So have some fun every day. Yeah. Don't you think it's a divine joke, though, that when you realise that, because I tell my kids that all the time, you know, it's just, it's, this all pass, the sun always comes out, and they look at me like, oh, you're such a hippie. But by the <laughs> time you realise that, you are in your 50s or yes. 60s or 70s, yes. because when you're young, you think you're going to live forever. Yes. And that, you know, it doesn't, I'm always saying to the kids, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it will pass. Yes. And new things will come along, and life is always changing. So right. But, so know, right. They think wise, I'm full wise of it. words from Deb there. <laughs> And sand casting. Is there anything she can't do? <laughs> Sorry, say again, Neri No. Hey? Maths. Maths. Oh, oh, no. Cold sweat. There we go. 14.99. Congratulations. Well done. Love that. Where are we going now, Neri No? We're doing the early bird. Okay. This is going to be amazing. I don't know. Should we do black or white first? Message us. Should we do the black one or the white one first? Early bird special. Let's go. Okay, what? Gee whiz, I thought you literally just bought the graphics on with the price. Yeah! What's going on? Right, are we doing the, the black one or the white one first? Who's messaging? So which one are we? Debbie's messaging, we're doing the black one first. Fine, great. Mm. Yeah. Another Debbie. It was me. Gee whiz. Very slow, isn't he? Here we go. <laughs> 30 seconds, the graphics are gonna be live. Your jewellery uh, your jewelry display frame, simple. Do you know what? This is exactly the kind of thing you want to have if you don't want anything too cluttered, too, too flowery, too over the top, too designer heavy. You just want something really, really simple. You've got your, um, your little frame here with the stand on the bottom. I'm wondering what this piece here is for. I'm laughing because Neri thinks it's a little house. Oh, Neri. Oh, God love him. You put your, it's, it's for your, um, 
you, I used to have put the cards that card stand up there. like yeah, that. Yeah, lovely. So if that's to put your price on, so you could put stretchy bracelets, £10 on there. Oh, And then my you gosh. don't have to put it on each and every... Um, people want to know prices. Often they'll, you know, That's if there's no prices on anything, shout. they're nervous about coming over to your stall. Uh -huh. But you can put your price on that. And if you, you could even put a sticker on there and then when the price has changed, put one on the top, you know, um, or print it off, make it look all, you know, I would have loved these on my stall when I have my stall because imagine how many of those that you could put together and how many stretches and bracelets and earrings and necklaces you could get on there. If you are going to be doing some kind of a, uh, either, either a craft fair or, or something where you're going to be going for bulk, as in you're going to be selling lots and lots of bracelets, maybe it's for a charity, whatever it might be. These are absolutely perfect because Deb is absolutely right. There is so much you can fit on these. They're so space saving. They're not too big and bulky. They're really, really, it's just a really clever use of space. You mentioned this earlier on, Deb, but it's absolutely right. The fact that you've got two layers here as well means yeah, you can use that upper layer stuff. and that lower layer as and well. And if you have it sideways on like that, mm. people can see. So say you've got, like my gemstone stretches used to go crazy. Like yes. I never, ever had any left. So people can see amethyst, rose quartz, yeah, you know, whatever you've got on there. Of course. Um, and it's quite easy for them to see without actually having to take it off. Absolutely. I would say as well, um, for me, just little simple things. I would ombre the colours, I'd rainbow the colours. Yes. It makes it more appealing, it makes it more attractive. People will be attracted to it even more. It doesn't, this is not going to detract from whatever you have got on here. No. It's not going to be, oh gosh, like, like some of the big wooden stands that we do, they're great, but it's a big chunk of yeah. wood that yeah. you've got and then you've got your jewellery on top of it. The, the thing I love about this is its simplicity. It's just really just clean and just, and just, and just simple. Now, you also get with your stand 10 of these tags. These are absolutely brilliant. They are absolutely fantastic. Now, the great thing about these is um, you can use them on necklaces, you can use them for bracelets. They come to you like that, you get 10 of them. You literally just fold them over. They've got like a little part for you to fold it over. Put your little stamp on there little bit of information about the gemstone, you, maybe your telephone number, maybe your Instagram, your socials, all that kind of stuff there. Maybe the price tag, whatever you might want to put there. I would rather not put a price tag on this. I'd rather put a price tag Agreed. on this bottom part down here, just in case you're going to be changing the price point on things. Absolutely. Uh, you know, later on in the your craft fair when you really, you, you know, you, you've got like 10 things left and you just want, you just want them gone. Take the price off, you know, rather than having to change the price on here, change the price on the little stand here. So you get 10 of these, um, which when you put a bracelet on there or whatever it might be, I would use to stick that together. I mean, yeah, you can use something like Pritt Stick if you want to. The spray mount's very good. It you know, is. the spray, uh, spray mount's absolutely excellent and you'll just do that and it'll stick together really, really easily. Now, once you feed these on, they will sit really beautifully like that. How professional does that look? so professional obviously they're going to come apart right now because i haven't stuck them together but that looks so professional so finished such it, it, it it's a really really lovely way to make sure that clasp is at the back just hidden there or whether it's or whether actually or whether it's a knotted bracelet and you want to put that clasp or the knot at the back it's just going to make that piece look really finished it's going to give you that much more professional finish. I'm thinking as well of, of you know, the little um, uh, gift shops that you go to at, uh, oh, I don't know, stately homes or when you're on holiday. Um, they've all, all the bracelets that you can buy, like little lava rock or chakra bracelets, they all come with little with they, little tags yeah, like this, they don't do. they? And I think it's, I used to print off information about the gemstones. Yeah. And I used to have little cards that people could take and laminate them. But, and you could put those on those... Um, those little tickets. If you need more of that than 10. Yes. Naughty suggestion. No, go on. Just take, keep one aside and use it as a template. Great idea, great idea. Yeah, I think that is an absolutely, um, uh, that's a no brainer. Abso I would absolutely urge you to do that. I use tiny Velcro dots with these tags. Uh, then they look um, then they look really professional and, can, uh, and you can reuse them over and over again. It's a great idea, Liz. That's a really, really awesome idea. Yeah, once somebody's bought it, you can kind of take it off the little, um, take it off the little tag, put it in a little organza bag, Genius. whatever it might be. that's a very great good idea. idea. Yeah, fabulous. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Liz. Thank you very much for that. Now, there's loads and loads and loads of you there. At the minute, we're at 12 99 You can forget that. Forget it. We're nowhere near that today. Nowhere near that today. Nine ninety nine. Oh, wow. Now, whether you're selling bracelets, 
the, these would work with hair bands, you know, scrunchies, things like that. Whether you're, um, you know, whether it's going to be bangles, it doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, a little bracelet like this. You know, it can be, uh, it can be, it can be hair bands. It could be, it could be bangles. It could be, you know, whatever you like. As long as whatever it is will go on there. So it's probably not going to be, uh, it's probably going to be too big for a ring. But you kind of get the idea, don't you? Now, we're going to be taking the price point down again. Such a great way to stand your jewellery. Also, for, um, uh, you know, not necessarily just for your craft fairs, you know, for, for um, uh, to use these at home as well. Absolutely perfect. You know, that. on your dressing table, on your window, on your windowsill. Definitely. I mean, yeah. you know, I've got a lot of stretchy bracelets. And then instead of a price, I'd put, please, if you borrow these, bring them back. Yes, nice. I like that. I like that. See, that's a great thing, isn't it? A great thing to be able to kind of, a, a great little message to be able to give to people. $7.99 that's for you today. That's for your stand and for your 10 tags as well. Let's see if we can find anything else you could put with it. Oh, I've got here, I've got a lovely bit of um, chain mail. Got you could have cord. pendants on there. Could yeah. You, yeah. You could have. Absolutely. Um, put earrings on there if you want earrings. to earrings i mean you don't have to use those cards no. um all the time you can just put things straight on there yeah. maybe you've got like a lot of something like a lot of um heshi bead bracelets yeah. or rainbow ones and Lovely. you can just put them on the actual stalk itself absolutely yeah yeah see this is all yeah you can use these tags for something completely separate if you want to you don't have to use them uh, you don't have to use them um uh, uh, uh with this particular sand if you want to use these separately you absolutely can. yes michael Put it in and put studs in. Oh, Michael, Michael Groves! Yes, Michael! He's saying cut it in half. Cut it in half. Put earring studs in there. Then you've got two for earring studs. Michael, that's an inspirational idea. Thank you, Michael. That deserves something. I don't know whether we can find something. I don't know. We need to give him some kind of a prize, don't we? Um, but absolutely fantastic. Um, see, this is a great, 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 great idea. Oh, and by the way, at 7 dollars we're still not done. We're still not done. Absolutely awesome. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Obviously, when you stick them together, they will look like that. They'll look really professional. It'll have your insignia there, whatever it might be. Cut them in half and put your earring studs on that. I love that idea. Well done, everybody. There's absolutely loads of you coming through. I want to put more stuff on. Oh, there's another bracelet there as well. How lovely. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's just going to make you feel more professional, make you look more professional. Um, and it, of course, it makes it easier for your customers to be able to take these kind of things off the uh, off the uh, little um, off the little uh, rug, doesn't it? Rather than fiddling around with the uh, uh, fiddling around with bracelets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Here we go, my lovelies. Let's get that price point down. We're at seven ninety nine. Loads and loads and loads of you there. Well done. Here we go. All the way down. Four. 99 That's for amazing. you today. That's so good. It's brilliant, isn't it? For your 10 tags, all of these tags, obviously glue them together, whatever it might be, with your Pritt stick, with your spray mount, I would use personally. Really, really good stuff, that um, spray mount, uh, especially for cardboard and things like that, which is what this is. Um, or little Velcro uh, dots. And then you can use them again and again. I think that's a brilliant idea. I really do. Well done. Four pounds and 99 pence. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. There's so many multi bidders coming through to get these, Deb. This is really, really great, isn't it? So whether you're going to be um, displaying your jewellery at home or whether you're going to be using it for photography purposes or whether you're going to be, uh, whether you know, if you've got a really lovely window that you want to hang things in front of, it's great to kind of, because you've got that really lovely open space there to photograph your jewellery. Great for putting things like, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, trees of lives, like yeah. little window hangings there. Uh, you know, and having that space to hang them and they'll turn really beautifully uh, and you can do it twice. You can do it twice over. Absolutely fantastic. Four 99 congratulations everybody well done loads and loads and loads of people uh coming through how tall are the stands here we go oh no my ruler the ruler's gone oh no i've got it here we go the ruler says that the stand is 30 centimeters high sorry there you go 30 centimeters high 30 centimetres high and width wise we are looking at 21 and a half great measuring 21 and a half centimetres uh, in width there we go absolutely fantastic do you have them in white or cream my lovely we've got them in white white is coming up next just to let you know 
We're at 4 99 Congratulations. Well done. There's absolutely loads of you there. Tons and tons and tons in baskets. Here we go, my lovelies. Right. I love it. I love, 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 love the white. So nice. It's funny, isn't it? It does make a difference, though, whether it's white or black, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, Great it with your bridal pieces. Depends on your colour scheme on your stall. Definitely. What, what goes a bit better. So, yeah. yeah, white would be really bridal. But I think if you put those side by side, like the other way, they really don't take up a lot of room. No. So you could have four side by side, um, and you're only taking up sort of a little space because I don't know if it's still the same, but when I was doing craft fairs, you pay by the size of the table. Yes, yes. So quite often you'll get a smaller table because, you know, you might not have done it before. You're not sure if you're going to, how much money you're going to make. And like, look at that. That really doesn't take up nope a lot of space and Not you could even it takes up the, about the size of a large cereal box yes that literally is it but think how much jewelry you could get on there. tons and if you've got four of those next to yeah. each other you're still only aren't yeah. you it's Absolutely. not wide yeah do you think a great way to kind of um to store your jewelry as well perhaps i don't know maybe it you know as in a as in a um you're not just shoving it in a box yeah. where it's all crushed against everything else. You're actually storing it in a way where, you know, for reference, but you, it's about the size of a, about two lever arch folders. You can literally just pull that out on your shelving unit, go through whatever you need and then push it in and you know, slide it back. And it's a really cost, sorry, a really space saving tool as well. Um, things like this you know they're not very often are they going to be are they going to be this kind of space saving you they're going to be quite they're going to be quite big quite bulky just thinking of like if i show you i'm just going to grab this very quickly if i show you if i show you this there you go look how look how large that is look how much space that takes i know it's lovely it's really yeah it's really great but it's big it's bulky that's what i mean whereas this is so much more of a space saver isn't it if time you know spaces of uh you know the essence you know you know space saving is of the essence then you know this is going to be absolutely perfect here we go let's get that price point all the way down for you today there's loads of people there tons and tons and tons well done add them on to your order here we go my lovelies all the way down 4.99 for you today my lovelies well done you, of course you get the 10 tags as well you get the uh you get the 10 tags with this as well at that price you can buy six and only pay a tiny bit more than the first price mr neary That's thank true. you says uh, liz i know it's great isn't it great great deals for you today well done fantastic early bird special it really genuinely is whether you're going to be storing things at home whether you're going to be taking things to your craft fairs um, it really is a brilliant brilliant way uh, to kind of um, hang all your braces as well if you're going to be using these tags with it or even not or as Michael quite rightly says get your tags cut them in half and then use each one of these to put your earring studs in how lovely is that gorgeous storage where you can see all your earrings or bracelets at a glance is masterful Absolutely. there you go Kathy absolutely brilliant isn't it well done i'm getting them for my room bangles bracelets necklaces rings all on display oh that's a great shout rings yeah perfect you just literally hang the rings on there can't you you're not gonna hang any rings on here are you but you can hang your rings on here oh my gosh look at that <laughs> um why is debbie making sandcastles today <laughs> won't you make a mess of the studio or am i missing something oh deb you better explain it's sand casting ah. now i have got my heavy duty apron and some baby wipes back here and my studio rag so i am going to make a mess but i'm going to be that making does sound jewelry. like a good time doesn't it neary eh? <laughs> sign me up <laughs> so yeah but i'm actually doing sand casting <laughs> stop it neary get <laughs> your mind out of the gutter right okay congratulations <laughs> everybody Baby wipes mean something very different to you, uh, Neary, and to Bruce right now. Bruce being the father oh. of a very young newborn. The, the the rate at which you can go through baby wipes, oh. and it's a, and it's a godsend when you pull one baby wipe and a load of them come out because when it's one handed and you're there and you've got the legs and you're doing oh it's just yeah. i've got it off to a fine art you know nappy changing oh, i use amazing. every bit of the wipe you know i don't waste wipes. Amazing. <laughs> So right. it suddenly descended into nappy changing. Baby wipes to one side. Yes. Uh, we'll be back um, really, really shortly with the return of a gemstone we have not seen for close to two years. It is smoky quartz. We'll see you in a sec.
Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Hello, my name is Rachel Norris and I'm so excited to be with you on Saturday the 24th of February for the most amazing show. I don't even know where to begin, there's so much um, going on. So in the 9am hour there is this amazing toolkit, it's multi toolkit, it's got everything in it, it's got swage blocks, doming punches, um, all sorts of um, and there's an anvil in there, all sorts of shapes and sizes and there's so much potential in this, in, in this sort of kit where you can actually, a kit of tools really, it's enormous uh, potential. So I've had fun because some things I've never used all before, so I've had fun experimenting really. And you can use it to make uh, them to make tubes like these color lilies, um, and um, you can do sort of um, folding and impressions and bee caps like this autumn leaf necklace. Um, and there's, goodness knows, I've made starfish with it. and. Um, also, you can do a sort of almost like a fold forming technique um, with this sort of heart necklace with this pattern like that. And so, I'll be teaching you some of the techniques in that um, part of the show. And also, there's, there's tutorial booklets in there with them as well. So, um, and there's um, so, as I say, so much potential. And do you know what? <laughs> as if anything could beat the nine o'clock hour, the 12 o'clock hour is up there because there's a launch of some some brand new sort of dapping, punching tools, um, and you can make some fantastic effects with them. There's a set of feather um, tools, which you can actually use to make um, feathers and, and sun rays and all sorts of wonderful um, patterns. And there's line punching tools, which you can use to make snowflakes and, and wonderful sort of dandelion firework explosions sort of type pieces. I really hope you can join me on Saturday, 24th of February for the most fantastic uh, metalwork and tooling show. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, preparing for it and I hope you can tune in to watch. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Right. Sounds a bit like Strictly Come Dancing, that bit. Dun, 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 dun. 12 o'clock. We'll be making sandcastles. Da, 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 Seven. Oh, Len Goodman. Sand casting coming up in the 12. Oh, yes. It's here. 
Take a little look. Oh my gosh. I, I can't stop looking at these pieces. Take a look at these. No, it's not made out of sand, Neri. You've got to stop saying that. It's made out of silver. Oh my gosh. The specialism is called sand casting. That. It's not, it's not made out of sand, Neri. No. If we're making sandcastles, can we get ice cream at oh, midday, please? Oh my gosh, yes, please. Because vanilla ice cream's good and for you. And a windbreaker. <laughs> or a break wind, as my dad used to call them. <laughs> oh, dad, you're so funny. Um, absolutely. Um, that's all coming up in the 12. This hour, we have the return of something. We have the return of something. Does anybody here remember producer Tom Stewart? Yeah? Yeah? Absolutely. Oh, yeah? Oh, 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 oh. What well, surprise, surprise! No, 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 he's not here today. That was uh, Michael Wolf uh, <laughs> making that noise. <laughs> what was his absolute favorite gemstone? Was it Smoky Quartz? It was Smoky Quartz. Oh. Stop it, Neary, stop it. Has someone sent that in or is that from you? I quite like that one. You, well, you can tell it because I've, I've had enough of them already today. Go on, David. Say it in my ear again. What did Carol say to the same casting? What did Carol say when I told her we had sand casting? Long time no see. <laughs> Just like that. It's the way I tell him. So, Smoky Quartz was his absolute favourite. <laughs> Was his absolute favourite gemstone. We'll just ignore that one, right? Let's go. It is an amazing gem. What gemstone have we not seen since he left, which is almost two years ago? Smoky Quartz. It is literally the return of the most incredible gem. But even better than that, we have got ombre. Yes, it's gorgeous. Smoky Quartz today. This is like... It's really lovely. The Rolls Royce of Smoky Quartz. I cannot wait to bring you this. You ask almost any one of our, oh my gosh, it's so lovely. gorgeous. Almost any one of our guest designers, um, what their top kind of five, 10 gemstones are. Smoky Quartz is gonna be in pretty much everyone's top five, top 10. It is one of those gems where if you don't want to use black and white, you want to use something a little bit, a, a little bit, um, a little bit calmer, a little bit softer, a little bit less harsh. Smoky quartz offers you something amazing. We often, well, I say we. I often describe it as a chocolate souffle. Ooh. It's rich and indulgent, but light as a feather. You know, it's got that lightness of touch. It's got that lightness, that incredible clarity, but it's rich. It's decadent. It's indulgent. It is, for me, one of the only gems in the world that will literally go with every single color, every single gem. It will go with everything, because it's the color of the earth. And that lovely kind of peaty color that you get, that really deep, rich, peaty brown that you get. It honestly, this is incredible. What I love so much about this ombre strand is you're getting moments in here of, of almost pure white. You're also getting these soft kind of dove greys yes, as you well. Are. They are gorgeous, Deb. I've never seen smoky quartz quite like it. No, neither have I. I just think that the ombre, I kept the ombre in, in oh, the piece. Oh, please, you know, yeah, you've got because to. Because I just thought, how amazing. That's something very unusual that you just don't see. Yeah, absolutely. And I like to have something, especially when I'm making, that, you know, I don't really see anywhere else. No, yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Keeping that ombre, I think, is an absolutely uh, essential part of, of kind of the success of, of, of um, uh, using this gem. Purely because that, that will have taken hours and hours and hours, all of that mm -hmm. ombre. But when you get smoky quartz brought to you in a way and in a kind of an ombre that you, you, you're just not finding anywhere else, honestly, we are absolutely onto a winner. Now, graphics are live. I'm going to say best of luck to all of you. Honestly, these kits are going to fly today. We have not had smoky quartz for close to two years. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to bring this to you today. Now, you get your strand of ombre smoky quartz. You also get 
Oh, are we going to do the rice pearls or the other one first? Lovely. Oh, yeah, it's the rice pearl one first. Strand of rice pearls. Are they both the same strand of smoky quartz or are they slightly different? One's bigger. So I reckon it's this one. Here. Yes, it's a smaller one. That ah, comes ever so slightly smaller. Here we go. So you get your, oh my gosh, that's so lovely. I love smoky quartz, wonderful stuff. I recently bought a smoky quartz sphere, mesmerizing. Oh, Miss Janet, that sounds amazing. That is a good word for it, mesmerizing. Mesmerizing, mm. yeah, absolutely. So you get your smoky quartz micro faceted rounds with your beautiful rice pearls. Now you also get with this project, the most gorgeous triple row, triple row toggle clasps are these sterling silver um i don't know let's have a look i think i imagine they probably they are. are because they had the little um the little black anti-tarnish i reckon they probably are we'll have a, a, a we'll have a little look though and, and let you know for definite yeah, yeah. solid sterling yes, silver no 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 no. hang on no you get two mm -hmm. yeah you get two of those oh so it's the other so it's the other kit is it the other kit then must be the other kit okay hang on hang on swappy 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 yeah so bigger smoky quartz bigger smoky and quartz. five toggle class and they're all different they're ah, really lovely right five sterling silver toggle clasps yeah, that's oh one. my gosh that's absolutely gorgeous and they're Look all different them. yeah they're all, all different yeah. so you've got a lovely kind of twisted ropey one there a kind of slightly kind of finer twisted rope one a beautiful come here mate oh gosh I can't pick it up a beaded one that's really nice one that looks like this is so cool one that looks like chain yeah yeah that's really cool and then this one here which has got this really lovely detail on that's really really nice five sterling silver toggle clasps and you're going to be getting your side drill dry spells and you're going to be getting your micro faceted smoky quartz ombre rounds as well this has been the first time we have had smoky quartz in in almost two years incredible now what kind of price point do you reckon we're going to be going to today this is crazy, but this is absolutely crazy, just to let you know. This is crazy. Have a look. $79.99 is where we're starting, where we're starting. Can I just say, coming up in this hour, we also have all of your gorgeous Branca. Oh. Now we've got loads of different uh, kind of, well, it's, we've got different sizes, different shapes of your Branca. Yeah, that's beautiful. I think these go really, really well with the kits, don't you? It's like a mega kit. It is like a mega kit. Mega Absolutely kit. is, isn't it? So they're going to go beautifully with all your smoky quartz and your beautiful pearls. Right, okay, here we go. We're at $79.99. Nowhere near your price point today. Absolutely no way near. Here we go, my lovelies. $79.99 for your ombre smoky quartz, for your genuine fresh water culture pearls, and for your five sterling silver decorative toggle clasps as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we go, go, go. $49.99. Incredible, amazing detail there. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Christina, well done to you as well. We've got Greater London coming through as well. Great to have your company today. Well done, we're at $49.99. Now, if I was to tell you today that we have another price point for you today, and this is a gemstone which has literally been missing from Jewelry Maker for the longest time. It's got such presence. It will go with every single gemstone, every single color that uh, you put it with. Now, you also get, as part of this project, you also get written instructions by Deb to make the multi-strand ombre uh, necklace. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it, Deb. Now, this, this is a nice, simple make. Uh, with nice simple instructions yeah. you know because I just think that the components speak for themselves and there isn't like for sure five million steps like there is in the 12 o'clock instructions <laughs> yeah brilliant <laughs> See, this, is, this is what's so great about it 50 odd seconds we're going to be giving you a lower price point today we're at 49.99 the jewelry that Deb has made is absolutely gorgeous I love all of it it's got that really beautiful whimsical kind of feel to it 
dead dead simple and you've got these beautiful little accents here with your smoky quartz with your gorgeous pearls on there you know just adding some chain on there how wonderful is that i think the toggle class because you get five of them as well they lend themselves to being a lariat design oh for sure definitely but of course if you yeah. make lots of bracelets you've got five sterling silver toggle class so you yes. can make your charm bracelets you can make your necklaces you can use them um, apart so you can use them for cufflinks mm. you can use them for components um, and i just think those pearls are a great size that we were saying earlier about the bubble style jewelry yeah these pearls course. aren't too big and you get yes. loads of them yeah exactly we've got three seconds left and we're going to be giving you another price point here we go my lovelies all the way down this is your price point today you've got your five sterling silver toggle class you've got your brand new strand Ooh. of ombre smoky quartz and you've got your genuine fresh water culture pearls and you've also got your instructions as well 29.99 for you today congratulations well done what an amazing amazing deal 29 pounds and 99 pence go 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 well done absolutely everybody coming through i just love this gradual um, uh, kind of ombre of colour. I think it's just been so well done, don't you, Deb? Yeah, what I really like, I, I think, you know, sometimes smoky quartz, you don't get the transparency in yeah, it, do you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, with this strand, you've got the transparency and, and the facets and the light, it just comes through it and they just twinkle at you which I didn't always think about with smoky quartz, yeah. but it's got that in abundance in this strand. It really does. It's been micro faceted. The clarity is absolutely supreme. The size, the shape is absolutely wonderful as well. Uh, and that ombre is just so decadent. It allows you to make those really beautiful decadent designs. Well done, Trisha. We've got Carol as well. Well done to you. Fantastic. Well done. Check out your baskets, everybody. Go, go, go. 0800 644 um, I would I would also say mixing this with... what. I don't necessarily well, try it out at least with rose gold with yellow gold because it not just goes with every other gemstone it goes with every yeah. single precious metal as well doesn't it it does and you, you know you can make some really high-end pieces yeah, because you've sure. got um where some people might put cubic zirconia in there or you've got an actual gemstone mm. and a very beautiful one and quite unusual i mean if you think about the amount of jewelry that you see on the high street that has smoky quartz in it there's absolutely. not there's not much no 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 absolutely not and, and we've had such a we've had such a uh, a vacancy for this gemstone we haven't had it at all um uh really kind of in any kind of quantity for the last year or so well for the last for the last 18 months to two years so good to have this gemstone back we are going to give you a lower price point today for a gemstone that has been missing from jewelry maker for the longest time and you ask any one of our guest designers it is always 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 up there in their top five top ten gemstones 29.99 is not your deal today nicolette in surrey well done to you hayley in hampshire absolutely fantastic 21 Ooh. pounds and 99 pence congratulations everybody well done mariska and carol you're back through great to see you well done add it onto your order and the five actually when you think about the five sterling silver toggle clasps for 21.99 that's an amazing deal just for the clasps let alone the strand of ombre smoky quartz and the genuine freshwater culture pearls. Mary in Cardiff, Christina in the Channel Islands, Susan, Mary, uh, Maker in London, Shirley in Essex, well done to you as well. Surrey, Hampshire, Berkshire County, Antrim, Lancashire, Greater London, congratulations. Well done, everybody, at £21.99. What an amazing deal. Patricia, well done to you as well. Lorna, fantastic, well done to you as well. Jennifer's through. What a, what a, what a great deal. Congratulations. Go, 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 go. Julie in Cheshire as well. Well done to you as well. Jennifer in Lincolnshire's through now. Well done, everybody. Isn't that just gorgeous? And um, it, it's such a welcome return for this incredible gemstone. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655. Get involved when you can. Well done. Uh, I made a smoky quartz necklace a few years ago, as I said, to help with back pain. Uh, oh, yes. I don't know much about smoky quartz properties, actually. I was thinking about that. I knew it was the gemstone stone of scotland yes i knew that um ah being the gemstone of scotland i gave my cousin uh, sorry my canadian cousin a smoky quartz pendant on a silver chain the love um they love the connection i think it is oh margo that's absolutely gorgeous how lovely gorgeous well done uh right next kit project <laughs> project here we go so you get 
Project. You get these multi-strand connectors, there which you I go. really like. These are really, really nice, aren't they? Mm. These, these rice pearls, by the way, are drilled from top to bottom, which is lovely. You get your micro-faceted smoky quartz again. Gorgeous. Slightly smaller size with these ones. And then you get two of these 925 sterling silver triple row, um, triple row clasps. Absolutely gorgeous. I think gemstones of this size lend themselves to multi-strand jewellery. Yeah. Because, you know, it's not too chunky. You get a very elegant feel. Yes, you really, really do, don't you? And um, if you're very kind of, if you're very clever, you could actually um, um, secure up to what six strands onto this, couldn't you? If oh, you yeah. wanted to, yeah, definitely. no problem at all. Yeah, no problem. Great big gorgeous cuff, maybe. Twenty nine ninety nine is okay. That should be where we stop. Stop, stop, stop. We've got people in already. This is great to see. Congratulations, well done. Beautiful, beautiful smoky quartz. Such a lovely gem, and you get your um and you also get your uh, instructions as well to make that gorgeous multi-strand um ombre bracelet as well which is just gorgeous love it and i love i love the soft i mean you're getting your gorgeous smoky quartz tones in there but i love the soft gentle grays you're getting in here as well it's such a lovely kind of tone to be able to get with the smoky quartz isn't it it's absolutely gorgeous it's, it makes kind of day to night jewelry I, I mean I wouldn't yeah, feel uncomfortable wearing that you know to work or to the office and yeah. then going out in the evening and it's just um it's quite timeless isn't it absolutely I definitely agree with that absolutely 19.99 for you too Ooh, my gosh what an amazing good. deal go 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 well done Tina well done Janet we've got Derbyshire in as well well done to you my love these go 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 um such a great gem so great to have this um uh, back uh, we've got the Branca Onyx coming up don't forget which we're going to be uh, off the back of the popularity of the Branca Onyx we bought you on mm, Tuesday show uh, we're going to be bringing you Branca Onyx at the end of this hour as well which is really really exciting demo wise what are we going to be looking at lovely so lady? nice and simple techniques uh, because you've got Gorgeous. the three strand um, yeah. connectors I'm just going to go through um, how you would go about making a multi-strand piece of jewellery but that you gorgeous. do let me just move I've taken up so much space with everything let's just That's there fine. we go um so this is your um, instructions yeah. and it just tells you how to do your measurements oh, that's but it's a nice beginner technique because mm. we don't always have to do really difficult things even as experienced jewelry makers you know I like a stretchy and a, and a basic bracelet sometimes you just need to let those gemstones um, pearls speak for themselves okay so we have got two um, of the connectors here. So it's, it's essentially a toggle clasp. But if you have a look at this round one, lovely, you can see that the central hole is actually a little bit closer than the two holes either side. So you need to bear that in mind when you're making your um, lengths. So if you look at this one, they're all in a line. But this one, you, the one in the center is actually sticking out more. So that one could be a bit shorter than the other two, if you see what I mean. So what I've done is made a baby bracelet just for demonstration purposes. And because I loved the ombre so much, now I have got a couple of different sizes on here just because I used what was left for the demo. Um, I've, I did one strand and I just kept the ombre of the uh, smoky quartz to have in the middle. And then I decided to use the pearls for the two outside strands. So basically you can do whatever you want. You could have all pearl, all smoky quartz, all pearl. You know, you're the designer, you can, you can have it however you want. So what you need to do before you start attaching anything is make sure that when you hold these up to your, especially this part of your class, because you've got that sticking out bit in the middle, that all of your gems will sit nicely. So take Lovely. a bit of a moment. If you've got a bead mat, this is quite a good, a good thing to do on your bead mat or your beading board, just to make sure everything's exactly where you want it to be. And when you actually add that in, and you're gonna add a little crimp bead on the end, so mm. you just want to be mindful of that, that it's going to be the length that you desire. Okay, so you've sorted all of that out before you start. And then all we're going to do is crimp those in place. So let me move these two out of the way. Mm -hmm. And that's where these little things come in really handy. Oh, cute. Because you can then sort of stop them from falling off while you're not using them. So let's go with the ombre strand. And I'm just going to pop one of these on the end so that they don't fall off. So this is going to go in the central part. So what I need to do, and I've got the hold of the biggest crimp beads that I could possibly lay my hands on so that you can see them. I'm going to just pop the crimp bead on there. 
take the centre part of my clasp and pop it through. So I'll just pop that down so that you can see. I've got my crimp bead and I've got my centre loop there because I'm, I've measured it all out. Put one strand on, then different sparkly beads either side. Oh, yeah, nice. Be gorgeous. Love the idea. Jeanette, love the idea. See, Jeanette's designing already. See? I'm going to take the end back down. Now here you can either use your crimping pliers and you could put a uh, crimp cover on here if you want. I don't yeah, tend nice. to use those very much because I quite like the organic look of the uh, of the crimp itself. Yeah. And then you just squish that and that's the technical term, squish. <laughs> squish that into place. And then I'm going to take the beads back up <laughs> and pop the second tail strand through as many of these beads as I can because that just adds to the security of the piece. Now sometimes you can't get it through so you just need to trim it at that point but if you can get it through I always like to go through as many beads as I can because you know then when you trim it so I'll just trim it here for the sake of demonstration um, you've got a little bit of security there it's gone through a few beads so trim it there so that now you're attached to one part and then I'm just going to attach it to the other part of the class. Now the only thing to make sure, um, and I know it sounds obvious, but I have done this myself a few times, make sure that you're connecting mm. it to the correct loop. So you uh, don't want it on the middle there and oh, on the top there, unless you yeah. can do that on purpose and have it in a crisscross, you can do that. <laughs> yes. And that's the excuse I would make if yes, I did it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just doing exactly the same Brilliant. on the other side, popping my crimp bead on, and then through the center hole of the other side, Drop it all down, so this is what I have. So we've got the crimp bead, we've got the clasp, and then all of our lovely smoky quartz. I'm just gonna trim some of this off because I got a bit excited with that. And then we're just going to go back down the crimp, and back down as many of these little beads as I can. And sometimes, you know, with gemstones, they're all drilled differently. You might find that you can't get get it down um, so that's fine in that case I think this is a smaller one I used from the other kit oh, so, yeah. what you would do is just trim it at this point yeah exactly. so you want to yeah. make sure that you haven't got any thread showing so just have it take a minute and just make sure that you're happy with that and then you just crimp it into place mm -hmm. there and then you just nip it off And that is literally all there is to it because oh you're going gosh. to do the same again with the next two strands. So just uh -huh. crimp it on the top, crimp it on the bottom. Can you reach my bracelet for me, please, yes. Carol? So crimpy crimp. <laughs> and then once there you go. there's a reason why I call Neri DJ Neri because he's always got a song or a yes, in sorry. my ear. So there we go, all done. And then when you do it up they all sit oh no they all sit oh that looks really nice that's the point of these clasps to make the strands sit where you want them to yeah, sit so you absolutely. could have them in a crisscross if you wanted to so that's a nice simple technique letting the gemstones speak for themselves just a bit of crimping is all you need so great one for beginners but advanced alike you don't have to always do advanced things gorgeous simple as that Carl. see beautiful thank you so much lovely You're welcome gorgeous 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 We've got Branca coming up. We've got Amazing Pearls coming up. We're going to do them all right now. Come on, stand by, stand by, stand by. Not impressed. <coughs> Here we go. So, right. <clears throat> We bought you a very <coughs> exciting show on Tuesday. It was under £10 day, where every single, every single item we bought you was under £10. There were some ridiculous deals in that show. I mean, absolutely obscene. One of the most ridiculous deals was one strand of Branca Onyx for under £10. Now, Ooh. I'm not going to promise these pieces, 
for under £10. But, 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 we have got these strands. Mm. Uh, we will, we will do, we will do what we can, okay? Now, what, what is this gemstone? Have you got the PowerPoint there, Neri New? Uh, that's Larimar. I don't know what that is, mate. Where's the clicker? Oh, I've got the clicker. I've got the clicker. Here we go. Come on, Neri. Oh, gosh. What do you mean? <laughs> All I'm going to say to you is just get involved. Get involved on the phone lines. Um, drums of the most... Drums of the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Branca Onyx. You should be ready on the computer, lovely. It's, it's, um, it's the Branca Onyx one, lovely. Here we go. This incredible gem discovered by mistake in Brazil. This incredible gem. Um, up until the discovery of this beautiful variety of onyx i think if you've bought onyx in the marketplace you're talking kind of 90 ish maybe even more than 90 percent of it is going to be dyed is going to be treated in some way shape or form when the brazilian farmer discovered this incredible gemstone on his uh, on his land in 2019 he thought he'd found jade and you would. I mean, I, I think I think you maybe would. And it's interesting, you know, why why would a Brazilian farmer, you know, uh, think that he found Jake? Well, actually, you know, when you are when gemstones are discovered in places like Brazil, which is don't forget, gemstones are one of Brazil's biggest exports. Um, and when gemstone deposits are discovered, that you can lay a st literally a stake in the ground. That is that you can claim your stake. That literally is your your area. And he thought he discovered jade. When you look at this gem, there is something very, very cotan, very kind of nephrite about this incredible gem. The clarity, the translucency, it's absolutely beautiful. And when he discovered this incredible gem, he thought he discovered jade. He sent it away to be, um, to be uh, tested. Hang on, hang on. And when it came back, it came back as a variety of 100% totally natural onyx. Now, some of the biggest designers in the world use onyx. Onyx of all different shapes and sizes and colors. Most of it is treated. Have a look at this. Cartier piece, beautiful. Uh, Tiffany & Co, absolutely gorgeous. Bulgari, you know, th these are all onyx pieces, uh, whether it's Van Cleef as well. Um, Boucheron using onyx there with their precious metal. You know, these are some of the biggest names in the business. Oh, I bought you some chrysoprase the other day on uh, Wednesday, actually. And we were saying the same kind of thing about chrysoprase. You know, it's being used by all the top designers, by the likes of Piaget, by the likes of Tiffany & Co. You know, it is. And when, gem, and, and when big names like that start to use gemstones the the demand for the gem in the marketplace literally escalates there's some more onyx designs here look at this beautiful design there absolutely gorgeous embedded with gemstones it's a very very hard bearing gemstone so if you want to set your gemstones in it, it, it you absolutely can do look at these gorgeous mm, pieces that's lovely they're beautiful aren't they absolutely gorgeous that's where the gemstones mind that 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 area literally that's it that's it that's it now, this incredible gemstone launched at um, uh, uh, gem shows back in 2019. This incredible gemstone launched at a time when, uh, you know, I think the world was looking for a new gemstone, looking for a new kind of, a new kind of thing to get excited about. This incredible gemstone launched and it mirrored the popularity and the interest which was ignited when Pareba Tourmaline launched at, um, I think it was the Tucson Gem Show back in the 1980s. And 
What happened was, is this variety of tourmaline and, and, and this incredible onyx, you know, uh, taken, to, t t taken to gemstones and was sold for, let's for argument's sake say, I don't know, $50, $50 a carat or whatever it might be. By the end of the first weekend, it had literally gone up tenfold, you know, such excitement. And I think the excitement for this incredible gemstone is basically along the lines of the fact that it looks like this and it's completely 100% natural. Now, all the pieces I've shown you up until now are black onyx. This is where you start to see the incredible white onyx look at this this is a lovely design made by uh, bleaker and prince of new york based jewelers uh, and that incredible uh, ring there with all that gorgeous gold in you've got some uh, some gemstones in there as well 1150 gb I mean, that's absolutely beautiful you look at the color of that it's pure white is there any clarity is there any translucency no not a sausage not a sausage what you've got here is what a lot of people call uh, the prima aqua or the ghost the ghost onyx because of its incredible translucency just look at it here on the desk you can see the drill hole of the gem you can see the drill hole now whether you, you know looking through other pieces you know looking at these bleaker and prince pieces they're absolutely gorgeous you've got mini constellation with white onyx there that's 1780 um, uh, dollars i've got another i've got a pair of earrings here for 1300 dollars. this has all got white onyx in yeah, absolutely beautiful. These pieces are gorgeous. That's close to seven thousand pounds. Oh, sorry, seven thousand uh, dollars. That will be absolutely incredible. This has really earned its place alongside some of the finest gems we've ever had on Jewelry Maker and the wider Gemporia Group. This is a Branca Onyx Boutique uh, necklace, which sold out on our uh, sister channel. Completely and utterly sold out. Look at the quality they've got there. It's the same quality that we have here. That gorgeous, translucent material. And it's 100% natural. Now, the only reason why we're going to be doing what we're doing today. Oh, and by the way, that necklace sold for £214. £214, which is an amazing deal. It's an amazing deal. And this is, I mean, this is a different strand than the fact that you've got marquee shapes, rice bead shapes. But literally, that necklace there is just a stranded necklace with a clasp on the back for £214. Yes. You could do exactly the same with this. And that, that, that necklace sold out. We are at 100 pounds. We are at 100 pounds. Now, how many of this do we have, Neri? I know we're down to the last few. How many have we got? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth am I hearing? Brand new strand. <laughs> it's a brand new strand. Brand new strand, never been played. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice one, Neri. Crashing. 29 99 Oh my gosh, it's natural, it's from the original, that is absolutely incredible. From the original source, you've got that incredible translucency, it's a brand new strand and we're at 29.99. Oh my word, Kent's got two, Manchester, Northamptonshire, County Durham, well done to you, Maker's there, well done to you, Maeve, well done to you as well. This is absolutely terrific, I mean terrific for a brand new strand. It does have the look of Kotan. It does have the look of that gorgeous kind of nephrite, doesn't it? It's got that incredible mm. translucency. It's just, it is ethereal, isn't it? It is ethereal. I always think that it looks like somebody's caught a cloud and oh. into a side of gemstone or oh a feather. Oh my gosh, You know, yes. that look, that ethereal look, that's yeah. the perfect way to describe it. Absolutely. Very calming. It's gentle. 
Yeah, it really is. We've got Dee, we've got Margaret, we've got Cheryl, we've got London, we've got Northamptonshire. 19.99. This is a brand new strand. It is never, we, we used to being able to bring you, uh, you know, Branca Onyx, absolutely fantastic, but it's almost always on split pay. We're not done today. Go, go, go. Ian, Maker in Cheshire, Dee in South Yorkshire. Congratulations, well done. We're at 14 pounds and 99 pence. Take it away, add it to your order. This is your chance to experience the absolute majesty of genuine natural Branca Onyx all the way from Brazil. Patricia, Margaret, well done to you. Bridget, Sarah, Maker, Jenny, Anna, Suja, Thomas, Ian, Maker, Kent, loads of multi bidders coming through. It's just incredible. Now, on Tuesday, we bought you a really special show. We bought you an under £10 show where everything on the show was under £10. And we had that strand of Branca Onyx that we took to less than £10. That, there's no way we should have done that. Now, I cannot take this down to 9 99 today. Oh, but we are going to squeeze every single penny out of this price point that we possibly can. Are you ready? Here we go. 12 99 for you today, Linda, Debbie. Oh my gosh, it's gone absolutely crazy. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. What a deal. And whether this is spring, summer, autumn, winter, it's got something in here for absolutely everyone. I mean, this is snowdroppy, but as you say, it's those lovely kind of summer clouds. It's those gorgeous winter kind of, um, a winter kind of frosty uh, landscapes yeah. it's, it's got something in it for absolutely everyone it's 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 dusk it's it's fog it's mist it's absolutely it's for absolutely every season for everyone and it's 12.99 it's incredible that's they're sizable too aren't they they're huge yeah they're huge we are running out of time we've still got two more strands and we've got a load of cabochons Do you know what? Stuff it. Let's do it. Okay, these have got to go quickly because we are absolute. We are running out of time. Nine ninety nine for you today. Go, 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 go. That is absolutely incredible. I know it's it's bonkers. <laughs> totally one hundred percent bonkers. Linda, Leslie, uh, Helena, Maker, Maeve, Nicolette, Sarah, Kate, Thomas. Loads of multi bidders. Take it, take it, take it, take it. It's ten pounds for genuine natural Branca Onyx. So this is such an exciting gemstone and a gemstone which we are seeing massive things from in the industry. Yes, from your designers, but also if you go to places like. Like, uh, oh gosh, have a sorry, Neri. Can I have the uh, clicker, lovely? If you have a look at, uh, yeah, so so on Gemporia, we launched this incredible necklace, two hundred and fourteen pounds. Look at this pair of earrings. This is available on, uh, looks like some somewhere like Etsy. Um, one hundred and ninety-eight pounds for those uh, gorgeous earrings with two pearls and two gorgeous Branca onyx in. That gorgeous pair of earrings there, which has got uh, gorgeous uh, jade hay goose and white onyx, sixty pounds. You know, you've got two white onyx beads. In. This is absolutely phenomenal what we're doing for you today 9.99 an incredible deal go 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 well done if you're coming through on the phone lines there may be a bit of a queue just get them as soon as you can quickest way you can get this is either on our app or go to our website jewelrymaker.com and add it to your order that way well done we're under 10 pounds for you today we've got two more strands and we've got a box of cabochons as well which is just amazing it's all natural all genuine all branca all from brazil Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely amazing. That top, top aqua, agua, I should say, content that with that incredible ethereal translucent glow to it. It's just gorgeous. Well done. 9.99. Right. OK. Where are we going to go now, Neary? This strand is... Oh, I've had my own name. This is such a lovely juxtaposition, isn't it? It's got that lovely, watery, free-form nature to it, but in a very regimented, very kind of geometrical shape. It's got that really lovely kind of edge to it as well because it's been drilled on the diagonal. Yeah. So you've got this free-form, lovely, flowing, watery, ethereal kind of look, 
but in a really regimented shape. It's just such a cool. It's very uh, modern, isn't it? It's, yeah. Um, I think imagine a station necklace with yep. the, with those. It would be so designer looking, or to make charms, and that would the strand would go a really long way if you made charms out of them. Oh, the way they fantastic sit. idea. That's a fantastic idea, absolutely. Twenty nine ninety nine is where we launch. We're going to go even lower. Just really simple little earrings. I yeah. love the idea of charms. That would be absolutely gorgeous. Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. 15 seconds, we're taking that price point down. Low, 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 everyone. Here we go, everyone. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that quality. Look at that gorgeous. You can really see it, can't you? Look you really it. can. It's almost like... I don't know, it's like it's radiating from the inside. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it really is. Here we go, let's go as low as we can. Well done, Neri, here we go. We're at 29.99, yeah, stop it, do you know what? <laughs> 9.99, literally only a few chances available. London's got two, South Yorkshire, Louth, Greater London, Manchester, Northamptonshire. This is an absolute blowout deal. And the only reason why we're able to do this is because of the incredible deals we did for Brank Onyx <laughs> on Tuesday. Nuts, nuts, nuts. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Uh, just yeah. one on a long head pin as an earring. Yeah, absolutely, Lisa. Definitely. Well, I'm just looking at these, you know, these uh, two pairs of earrings here. You got that pair of earrings there. Gorgeous. That's just literally on a shepherd's hook. Those earrings there, they, they could not be more simple. So lovely. The pearls really make that done. And we've got some gorgeous pearls coming up, by the way. Can I show you these? <gasps> oh! the colour of those. I know. We will try and play these at some point today. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Probably in the 11 o'clock hour. But you can't, you know, putting these pearls with these. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Okay, faceted rounds now. Sorry, we've just got to move on just purely because we are running out of time. It's 10 to and we still got to do these and the cabochons as well. So here we go. These launched unbelievably at 20 quid. We're taking them straight down. Let's go. Tenner. Oh my gosh. Now these with the gorgeous smoky quartz kits we've literally just bought to add. Absolute no brainer. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Well, as spaces in between pearls for something different. Oh, lovely. You know, or jade eye. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, hang on. What? He's going lower. What are you doing? Stop it, Neary. <laughs> He's going even lower, everyone. Why not? Come on, let's go. 7.99 for you today. Congratulations. Well done. Linda Stewart, Jenny, Teresa D, Anna Maker, Maker, Stephanie Jean, uh, Jean in Louth, uh, another Jean there, Maker, Maker, uh, Heather, Maker, Elizabetha, Wendy, Lorna, oh, go, 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 well done everyone, £7.99, pence. well done Jennifer in Worcestershire as well, Leslie, fantastic, congratulations, well done to you, such an important gemstone, and like I say, a bit like Chrysoprase, um, you can really gauge the popularity and, and the demand for a gemstone when you see big designers using it. So we're talking designers like Cartier, like Tiffany, like um, uh, Bleeker and Pritz. You know, we're talking about big designer brands utilizing these incredible gemstones. When you see that happen, you know that getting a gemstone like this, you know you're going to see great things uh, from a gemstone like this. $7.99. Actually, this would go really well with your Chrysoprase, actually. Well done. Sold out. Well done. Okay, cabs. Ooh, cabs. These are so, so, so lovely. Oh, my gosh. She's starting these at $9.99. Oh, look. They're like little clouds. It's They're like gorgeous. the best. It's like the best white moonstone you've ever seen, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's just yeah. gorgeous stuff. Can't stop playing with this ring. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And um, so beautiful, beautiful um, Branca Onyx here. C completely and utterly natural. How would you set the? What would you do with these, Deb? I'm thinking in quite a modern um, necklace design of kind of like a large oh, silver nice. pendant with maybe two of them or even four of them um, in a really contemporary design. But what would also be lovely is using them individually as rings. Oh, yeah, definitely. See, that's a lovely idea, isn't it? They've got such a lovely kind of dome to them, such a lovely kind of glow to them. They're just beautiful. Five seconds, we're taking the price point down. London's got three, Hazel's got two. Well done to you, Sarah in Buckinghamshire, maker in London. Well done to you as well. Go, 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 everyone. Seven pounds, 99. Let's go, let's do it. Here you are, enjoy. Four, 99. Great for your bead embroidery projects as well. Oh my gosh. 
four ninety. What are you? Whoa! Hang on, give me a chance to come through and get it in four ninety. <laughs> Can you hear him? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. What are you doing? That's what I say to my dog when he's got his head in the dishwasher. What are you doing? I go. What have you got? What are you doing, Neri? <laughs> he's got a good price. He's got a good price. Four ninety nine, unbelievably today for genuine natural Branca Onyx is not your price. Here we go. This makes no sense. Take it, go. Well done. Two ninety nine, my lovelies. Congratulations. Well done for four of your gorgeous of your gorgeous um, uh, cab set. Yeah, buy buy three for buy three for one pound each, and then get the last one for. I mean, it makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> no sense whatsoever. Just roll with it. Yeah, just got to go with it, haven't you? Just yeah, got to go with it. Roll, roll with, with it. the punches. That's what I say, Deb. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Maker and Method Tipples taking two. Well done to you. This is literally the most incredible deal. For Branca, Branca Onyx, a gem that was discovered in Brazil by a farmer. By a farmer. No, Did you hear? Stop no, it. No, you're not. No. Oh, my God, I'm literally itching. This is, what are you doing? Stop it, Neri. I mean, this is brilliant for you. This is amazing for you. But we're never going to be able to bring Brancaronics to air again. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Good night. Good night, Brancaronics. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, Branca. Bye-bye. Good luck with trying to bring this to air ever again, Neary. Good luck trying to bring anything, anything Brancaronics to air ever One again. One pound. You can't even buy a sandwich. I don't... Could you even get plastic cabochons for one ninety nine for four? Yeah, could well, you get actually, the box no, for that? You know, you know the plastic cabochons which we've done. What what do we call them? They uh, had like a black a, a foil back on them. Yeah, they did. Um, Luna cabs. Lunas. Can yeah. you even buy Luna? Gosh, that's a blast in the past. Luna cabs <laughs> for I've that. Still These got are some natural of those. white Branca Onyx cabochons. Can you even buy Luna cabs for that? I'll answer it for you. No. No. Love Branca Onyx. Not taken off my bangle since I bought it. I still, I'm still amazed at how something opaque and white still has luster, movement, and life. Alison, honestly, it is the most incredible stone, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm totally, totally with you. It is bewitching. It's absolutely gorgeous. What? Just give them away, don't worry about it. Just give them away, why don't you? One pound. <laughs> One pound. Just go with 50. it. Just go with it, Carol. What are you doing? <laughs> Michael, this better be good. This better be a good suggestion. Almost the same price as the flapjack. Stop it, no. Almost the same price as the flapjack that Michael has just bought from the vending machine and not eaten in the studio. Could have bought these. Could have bought them. I mean, don't eat them, obviously. Could have bought these. Hi. Got these to do a flower bead embroidery piece. Oh, well, there you go. Taking your advice there, Debbie. I think they'd make a beautiful um, flower. And I think, oh, you know, my what gosh. sometimes stops you using gemstones in bead embroidery is because you think of the cost. Of course you do. That's if, why you use lunar cabs. Imagine if you got 10 of these, it would still only be like, you know, nothing. That's crazy. That's amazing. Oh, Honestly. I, can't wait. I hope you send that into the Wall of Fame. Oh, I'd love done. to see that, yeah. Angela. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. yeah, it's a good deal just for the box. <laughs> just for the box. Let alone the four natural Brancaronics cabs. Amazing. Amazing. Well done. Listen, we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, we have got um, the most gorgeous showcase. We've got uh, pink water jade. We've got bamboo green jade. We've got a, an Olmec double dragon carving and we have got the colour wheel as well. It's all coming up after the break. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay. 
where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Hello everyone from a very, very wet and windy Whitney. It's horrible out there, so I'm glad we're in, in the warm making jewellery. So I'm here today to tell you all about my next show, which is going to be this Sunday, the 25th of February. I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew. And in front of me, I've just got three little things to show you. So do you remember those of you who watched my birthday show last week? I was given as a gift from Elle and team what is now going to be this Sunday's early bird, most amazing two-tier plastic caddy for all of your tools. So by Sunday, I'm gonna be fully organized and everything will be nice and neat in this. So this is this is eight o'clock, this is the early bird in the eight o'clock hour. Then at nine o'clock, I've got agate, most beautiful, beautiful agate. And the tutorial piece that you'll get the free PDF download for will be this beautiful necklace here, all made out of Pico stations. So this is going to be your PDF tutorial in the nine o'clock hour. We've got some beautiful, beautiful, colorful kits on. I think we needed in this very miserable weather we're having. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've managed, I can't believe how we've done it, but we've managed to get more of the six millimeter rainbow selenite. So it's obviously going to all be about Kiss Cross. This is in the 12 o'clock, absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial, the PDF tutorial, is how to make, and we show you how to make all three different kinds, the beautiful crossover bracelets. And these are using the individual colors of the selenite. They've got green, blue, and this beautiful morganite pink. So this is in the 12 o'clock hour. This is the free tutorial via PDF. So that's gonna be a jam-packed show. So that's this Sunday, 25th of February, early bird toolbox, nine o'clock, we've got the most beautiful, beautiful agates, and at 12 o'clock, incredible selenite. And I'm not gonna tell you anything about the deal of the day, it's gonna be a surprise. So I'll see you all Sunday. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. 
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Oh, now this is really special. A gorgeous showcase of the most beautiful pieces of jade. And we've got Dave with us. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Good. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Uh, really good to be with you guys as well. Um, we do have a, a spectacular new carving uh, done in Olmec Jade, which is featuring two dragons and the pearl. And we know that we are now in the year of the dragon. This is yes. uh, the piece that you can see here live in the studio. Um, I want everyone to understand right now that the Olmec Jade since September has gone through the roof. Um, we had placed an order of nine carvings, nine different carvings with quantity for our sister channel, Gemporia. And um, it's the first time in actual fact that we've, you know, working with this uh, Jade Eye Carving House for about three years. We've had many pieces that we brought to both here and the other channel from this studio. It's the first time that they've canceled an order after we've paid a deposit. And it's and they you know wow. look the, the the reality is and I wanted to kind of break this news to everyone post Hong Kong once we went and got the news and everything and show you what's happening but I'm doing it today I'm letting you know today because you have the opportunity to secure a carving we've had nine and they were all, all meant to have 200 quantity the rough was already there yes and the reality is because the situation has changed so much in Guatemala and also because the situation for all oh Jade has changed gosh. so much in China it has proved impossible for them to be able to replace that material. So they have just give us back oh. our money and said, I'm sorry, that, that deal is not possible anymore. Everything that we have is amazing, but going forward, we won't be able to get carvings this carat weight, this grade for you guys from Guatemala. I've talked about the problem with getting Guatemalan material anyway. It pre presents about 5% of the global kind of uh, uh, circulation of jade. And we know 95% of it has disappeared because the Burmese mines aren't producing anymore. So I want to spend the first 10 minutes creating some confidence right now. Because I, I know that there will be collectors among us that are watching, that watch Jewelry Maker all the time and think, maybe I've never took the plunge when it comes to jade. And yep. that's obviously because sometimes some of you might think it's too good to be true. If these are really thousands elsewhere, how can uh, you know, Jewelry Maker or Gem mm -hmm. do these deals? You know, I've explained many times that we buy very differently to everyone else and it allows us to drive the price down. Yes. Even we can't do that anymore. But I want to give you, uh, I want to give you the confidence if I may. So this is, really talking to those of you that maybe have never acquired jade eye before um, there was a collector that has been with us on this journey of jade for about three to four years uh, primarily with gemporia mm. um, has invested heavily in jade eye and took one of the bangles that had been acquired with some colors in it to a lab in the uk mm -hmm. to have tested now I've, I've constantly said it is very difficult to get jadeite valued in the west yes you know if you go to sotheby's hong kong or bonhams they only accept one lab and it's a chinese lab um 
We've seen Asprey, who have millions and millions of dollars of jadeite now, working with Oxford University in a way to kind of uh, certify their jade. The GIA only this year produced their first jade report, one of the most reputable labs on earth. So this lady sent a bangle to a, a gem lab in the UK, and the lab came back and said inconclusive. They didn't say it's, it's type C or type B or type A. They said, essentially, we can't tell. We, we cannot tell what it is. So obviously this lady then took that as, oh my God, all my jade that I've invested with Gemporia is, is fake. It's not the real deal. Yes. And she was, you know, uh, uh, irate, which you can imagine. And I want to bring uh. some of this correspondence in. And obviously I've redacted any sensitive information. I'm yes. not going to, you know, whatever. But the lady oh then said, I've gosh. sent off four more items uh, uh, to uh, the, the, the lab. And then this is the, the yeah, correspondence the that we got. Um, and here is the letter that I sent. This was just December, just gone. Um, this is the letter she sent to Anchor Cert Gem Lab. She said, Dear Sir, Madam, I'm requesting gemological reports on these uh, items. You can see them there. Yeah. I would like, I would be grateful if you could provide me with a gemological report for each of the g items listed above. I'd like to verify that they are type A as they were sold to me, right? This happened, I was aware of this on, you know, as you can see, the 5th of December. I didn't lose a wink of sleep over the Christmas period. I can period. imagine. I didn't, yeah. because I <laughs> know that everything that we do yeah. is the real deal. Yeah. And then, you know, the, the lady reached back out and said, today I have received a phone call from Anchor Sir, and I'm happy to confirm that all wow. four of the items were confirmed Real. as Taipei. So it does seem that I owe you and all your team at Gemporia, as well as your team in China, a sincere apology for doubting your honesty and integrity. She says, I hope you in particular will accept my sincerest apologies. Oh, um, I commend you on the professional and polite way that you dealt with me at all times because I was really incensed. By the way, we understand that. Yes. I've invested heavily in Jade. And if for one second I thought that I'd been duped or it wasn't the real deal, yeah. um, I would be outraged. She says, I can only say in my defense that the amount of investment in Jade I made and the doubts about its authenticity had this effect on me. This is, the, the lady goes even further, which yeah. is amazing. This is when yeah. I talk about this community that we have. Yes. She says, anyway, Anchor Cert are going to prepare the gemological reports for me today and send them over in due course. When I receive them, I'll scan them and send copies to you. And if you wish to use this evidence on screen oh. to reassure other customers that may have had doubts just as I did, then you're welcome to do so. Now, these are the reports we're talking about. These are you know, 16th of January, Taipei, translucent Perfect. jade, yeah. all make jade iron, oh, Taipei, translucent. One of our double sided carvings, again, translucent, Taipei, Gosh. untreated jade iron, and a lavender jade iron strand, which again, Taipei, lavender jade iron. Not heated, not smoked, not dyed, the Amazing. real deal, and translucent. This is the, the position that we are in as an authority on jade iron. Yeah. And I want you to understand that we only bring you. Taipei material, 100% natural, unless stated otherwise. Now, I revealed this information very recently to our sister channel, Gemporia, and I talked about our community. This collector went one step further and said, show all these reports, show everyone that might feel like I do, yes. that it is the real deal. Well, these are some other, these are some live messages that we had into those shows that I want to share with good you. Good call. Um, it, that, that you create this confidence. Not good to, too good to be true, too good to be missed, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Another collector said, realized how lucky we are to get certified Taipei Jade from you. I lived in Hong Kong, um, ultra expensive, especially if certified. Uh, another collector said, I remember when Gemporia sold Russian Alexandrite and Paraba, and I'm sad that I didn't invest more in them. Someone else said, if you can, please buy. I have around 200 items of Jade and feel very privileged to own them. Someone else said, I love my jade pieces. Um, buying jade eye is very dodgy. There's lots of fakes about, yep. which is why I'll only get mine from you. Thank you. Fantastic. There's another collector here that says, I have a complete jeweler's testing kit. I regularly test pieces I bought from gems, just as I do pieces I bought at auction houses and I've never had a fail. Another collector says, I go to Asia quite often and seeing this so affordable is amazing. Yep. It means I can gift my, my family jade eye as well. Oh. Um, hi Dave, it's all about trust and that is why we have a family collection of 160 jade bangles and rising, all from Gemporia, thank you. By the way, I've met that couple two weeks ago in person. Um, we went and had lunch together. Oh. They're from Surrey and I'm still to go down there. I want to film their collection because I often say, and you, you might think it's a throwaway comment, we're building some of the greatest private collections in Europe or You're in the Western world. You're absolutely right, yes. That, that collector there has, has 160 jade bangles. <gasps> all Taipei, all oh certified. God. They also have seven of the big sculptures. And this, this is a couple, by the way, that traveled to Hong Kong in the 90s and now cannot believe that they have this unbelievable oh, collection of Dave. jade um, that they're investing in. Someone else said, hi, hi lovelies, I went to one of my local Asian jewelers and had a jade bangle on. He asked me where I got it from and that it must be worth thousands. Remember, oh. we say quite often, these are all real messages, by the way. Yeah. But we say quite often, 
never mistake our sale price for the worth and value of the piece. Yeah. That Asian jewelry is right. It is worth thousands. It's just we don't just have one of them. Quite often we'll go, we've got 70 of these mm. or 100. Another collector at the bottom here says, I worked in the industry since 1969. This is a lady called Cherry from Oxfordshire. Qualified with a gem A as a gemologist. People can scoff, but I'm the one with Russian Alexandra and Parabas in my collection. There you go. And this is what I want to do. I want, I want to take the stigma out of it. And I also want to take any of those of you that, that are concerned or might think it's too good to be true. There's a whole host of collectors that are part of this, okay? That have this jadeite. And also, when we talk about, go and get your second opinions. We test everything, Absolutely. but if you want to, this collector did. Took them to Anchor Cert Gem Lab. Yep. Everything checks out. It's the real deal. Um, re reimbursing that collector as well for those reports. Because the crazy that's thing awesome. is, yeah. those reports would have cost more than some of the jade pieces that, that they're reporting yeah. on. Yeah. That, that's how good our deals are. Um, but I think the confidence that it breeds, the confidence that it creates, is worth its weight in gold and that's why we're going to look after that collector because i think we couldn't do that i don't think it's i don't think it's legal for us to go and get something certified and then sell it but to, for a collector to come in and go look please show everyone these certificates you know or the valuations and if you guys are in the similar position if you guys have jade and you've had an amazing experience with jade with us please message in today we'll show you messages yes, just remember please do we are an incredible community a wonderful jade club but the vast majority of people are on the other side of that, yeah. right? There's a lot more people that watch and haven't acquired Jade because they do think it's too good to be true. And I'm fully aware there are other unscrupulous dealers out there that will not even list if their Jade is treated. We, we did the same last year, um, uh, Deb, it was actually with um, Deb and I on a show um, with Pearls and we asked you to message in about Pearls because exactly that, yeah. you might think the deals are too good to be true, blah, blah, blah. We've got a whole bank of, yeah. of comments exactly from, from customers saying, I took it to be valued, I bought it from Jewelry Maker for this amount, I got it valued at this. And, and it's, such pow it's such powerful information, this, because what it's doing, as you say, Dave, is it's getting rid of those kind of limiting beliefs. Yeah, yeah 100%. Of, of, it's too good to be true. Oh, because they've got 70, it must, it, you know, it can't be real. Yeah. Um, this is such great information, Dave. Well, I just wow. I wanted to share it with you, and, and I've never wonderful. done this on, on the TV, on the Jewelry Maker uh, TV show before. The only reason I'm doing it is because in a moment you're going to realise that this may be one of the last chance yeah. opportunities in Old Mac Jade. I'm more than happy. I know that I spoke to Tom a moment ago, right? He came into the office to see if I was here because I hadn't spoke to him yet. And he's like, you're here, aren't you? Because I haven't been that well. And I was like, yeah, I'm here. Um, but I spoke to Tom and he's like, you know, I've, I've never seen anything like it. It's going to sell out. We don't have a big quantity. Yeah. I'm, this, isn't, this isn't like a sales pitch. Yeah. We, yeah. You see me here every week, right? You see me here every week for the last three years. And every time our Jade sells out, yeah. well, I'm fully aware this is going to sell out because the price we're going to do, which is too good to be true, yeah, is amazing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and the artistry and the Jade art is unbelievable. The reality is I don't want you to miss out if you want it. Oh this gosh. is going to sell out anyway, but I am talking to those of you that have been on the fence or like that collector has been on the journey for four years and had a wobble, right? And said, was incensed, was outraged. Absolutely. Since, since uh, December, it took till January uh, for it to be resolved. And it was resolved by an, out, an external lab. Yes. But for that period of time, this lady was thought we were cowboys, right? Mm. And I get it because, you know, and maybe some of you have been in that position where you've acquired Jade from us and then maybe someone in your life has said, that can't be real. Yes. And maybe you've just thought, yeah, you, maybe you feel silly, maybe you feel stupid. I'm saying to you, 100%. This is the real deal, and these shows are coming to an end. They're, they are ending. There's one piece of Olmec Jade today, and it's so important if you want to get involved that you can. Now, I want to talk to you about um, this particular variety of jade, if I may, um, and it, it is this Olmec Jadeite. Oh, now, gosh. Olmec Jadeite, for much of its recent history, for much of its rediscovered history, has been the reason we were able to get deals like this is because the Chinese market didn't want it. Right, it was seen as subpar, it was seen mm -hmm. as a lower grade in the Far East. You know, they had the Burmese material. And let's be honest, for its recent uh, history, it's been mined by people that don't understand Jada in the same way that the Chinese do. And so they haven't been able to find the good material. Okay? Very recently, it has wow. taken off in a different trajectory because they've started finding good material. And in fact, they've started to find you know, pieces like the Majestic Imperial Jade, which is this new discovery, Ooh. which is this black jade art, which is an over-imperialized jade that they thought was only ever uh, able to be found in Burma. Um, they talk about the new discovery of black jade in Guatemala is unique to this area. So now they're finding out that Guatemala has material that is unique to that area. Goodness right? me. So you could never even find it in Burma. 
And then they talk about this material, which wow. looks like Imperial. This is from um, the fall of 2023. Yeah. Which coincides with the Hong Kong Gem Show, mm -hmm. which is in September of 2023. And all the headlines were taken by pearls because there's a big volume of pearls that go into the, the, the Robert Wan Show Asia World Expo. A lot less jade from Guatemala. But this material is indistinguishable from Burmese Imperial Green. Yes. Um, and it hit the market. And they say in recent years, this happened at the, the gem show just gone. In recent years, a new kind of Guatemalan jade has entered the Chinese jewelry market. Um, they say prior to the availability of this material, Chinese consumers had a negative impression of Guatemalan material and preferred Burmese jade. However, this yeah. recent emergence of this new high quality blackish green jade has attracted the attention of Chinese buyers, mm. which means we're priced out. Yes. Okay, so totally. all of a sudden, we placed, I placed this order anyway before the Hong Kong show, because you never know what happens at Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. and. We, we agreed a price. I told you there was about 900 carvings. It was nine different designs, 100 or 200 of each, about 900 it was in total, that we'd paid a deposit on, they'd started carving, they had the rough, and that was gonna be here very soon. And then during the festivities of Chinese New Year, they, they told me we're, we're having to cancel this order. You know, we apologize. They've never done it before. Goodness me. And they've refunded the money. I know they've already got the rough. I know they have the rough. It's not like we can't get it. What they can't do is they can't replace it. And I'm going to talk oh to you about why. Gosh, this happened wow. this month. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, look at that. There's been a discovery made in the last month. And this is on the Smithsonian. This is everywhere. Oh, wow. Okay, what they've found is this incredible jade god of storm mask in, in, a, in a kind of tomb, a tomb of an ancient Mayan king, um, along with lots of other incredible treasure. Um, and it's telling... It's, it's telling the story of, of the Mesoamerican, Amer Mesoamerican cultures. It goes back 1,700 years. Smith. This is it in the Smithsonian. They discovered this 1,700-year-old jade mask inside the tomb of a Mayan king. They're, they're literally, they went over the area of Guatemala with a new technology called LIDAR, which is like, um, it's like laser uh, technology from yep. a, above, yes. right? And what it can do is it can map underneath all the vegetation. It's unbelievable. It's, it's only wow. been around the last five years and they're doing it in the Amazon as well. It's telling us everything that we thought we never knew. And basically it's mapped out these ancient cities that no one knew existed. Oh my gosh, and and before crazy. you would have to just go and there would be thousands of men that have to go in there and clear out all the vegetation, all the vegetation. and look and dig. And now they can digging. just remove all those layers with light technology. It's wow, called LIDAR. That's amazing. Which is, which is what's happened in this ultra rare case. And they found this. Now they're running DNA uh, testing to, to find the king, the lineage. But the, the repercussions of this are huge. They're seismic. What's happened right now is they've suspended all jade mining in the Montague Valley because it's an archaeological dig. Oh, now, I don't know no. anything about history, really. What I do know is, at the moment, they have suspended. I'm not saying they've stopped. They've, because of this suspended. new find, which happened this month, by the way, they've mm. suspended the mining in the area. That takes precedent over just getting gems out. Yeah. Um, now, I don't know how long archaeological digs take, right? They're still excavating Pompeii. Yes, yes, they, yes. Right? You know, yeah. th these things t can take two years, five years. They very rarely take a few weeks. They, if you're excavating an ancient city, if you're excavating uh, something that is so pertinent, you know, yes. an ancient king. Yes. We we simply oh do not gosh. know wow. when we will be able to get more of this jade. Just as it's caught fire, just as the Chinese have accepted it, and they've said, "Hold oh, on, this is." really good material this is incredible you can get this super translucent top crystal material which happened literally in september now they're not mining anything so they're not mining in, in guatemala or burma and i'm here to, to offer you this opportunity that's why i spent the first half an hour of this showcase just letting you know everything we bring you is the real deal because this may well be the last chance in a carving of this size Goodness me. particularly with the guatemala material and when we're talking about the year of the dragon they are, the, you know, especially in the year of the dragon with the carving of the <gasps> dragon. These won't be carved for another 10, 12 years. And if they That's are, me. they'll be held for the next year of the dragon. Of course. Because they command the premium, yeah, right? So yeah, absolutely. I know people at Hong Kong I'm going there on Tuesday who will have jadeite dragon carvings that they've been sat on for about seven, eight years because it's the most prosperous time to bring them to market. To bring them to Everyone market, wants, yeah. You know, anyone in China right now that's having a, a baby born in the year of the dragon, mm -hmm. whether it be a grandchild, whether it be their own child, they want to get a jadeite dragon for them. Of course they them. do. So it is the optimum time. This is a, a, an unbelievable opportunity. This is the two dragons, you know, with the, wow. the pearl of abundance. I am gonna give you a 30 second clock. 
it is 100% natural, it's type A, we've certified it, you can certify it too, you can insure it, you can do whatever you want. What I would say is we already are aware that we're not getting any more Guatemalan jade out carvings already. And that's <sighs> for Gemporia. Goodness me. So you have 15 seconds. That's literally put a stop to it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. And I don't know how long, because as I said, I'm not a historian. Goodness me. But but if 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 the if if the mining ban is lifted, we're just automatically going to get priced out the oh 100 percent market because of this discovery. By the way, they, they cancelled that order before that. Yeah, for yeah, us, yeah, just precisely, because of what precisely. happened in Hong Kong. This is just the final oh, nail gosh. in the coffin. <laughs> yes, that's it. Um, and that's why I did something that I've never done on this channel by bringing you up to speed on what's been happening behind the scenes. So if you're in limbo, if you're thinking, I don't know, this I'm is letting it. you know, this is it. This, this is really already going to sell out. I just want as many of you oh. to be able to get involved as you can. Best of luck. Best of luck to every single one of you. I have to say, there is... <sighs> there's a very small, there's not a massive quantity, it's not 100 or 200, there's 67. There's there's Guatemalan material and then and then there's and then there's this um this is so far that imperial grade there you go. that I literally it is it is off. right that you are you cannot turn that down you saw the GIA article from uh, from the Hong Kong show that just happened in September where they showed that material uh, just back one more there it's that quality which is Look what the Chinese that. are excited about. They didn't want the jade before this material. And we've got over 100 carats of it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, it's supreme. Color. And it's double-sided carved as well. My gosh. Wow. You've got the double, um, you've got the double uh, dragon. Yep surrounding swirling around that beautiful kind of golden pearl imagery yeah. in the center and this center. is all carved from obviously i know wow. it goes without saying but it's all carved from one single piece of jade goodness me right. even that pearl which which appears three-dimensional and spherical yes it's carved from the same jade as the surround you can see the goodness scales in the dragons goodness. look at the beautiful carving on the back my gosh you can see the tail, the kind of almost spine. It's absolutely... And, and just so everyone is aware, you know, we talk about, well, I do anyway, I talk about my other um, business, which is David Harry. Yeah. Um, that's literally born out of what we're going through right now, mm -hmm. right? So mm. we used to be able to get, like we said, 200, 300 of these, right? But now I'm seeing deals that I'm reluctantly having to turn down because there's only seven available yep. or six available and the price has gone up too high. I still know we have thousands of collectors interested in that material, but it doesn't sit right for our criteria. Absolutely. So David Harry is just, is, I've only set this up to just fill that gap, just so we don't have to miss out on the fours and fives. That's gonna become a four and five. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to become, there's three of these available, Dave. You've already shown us that with some of the new carvings that you've bought in where, where they're all one of a kind pieces. Yeah, I've got, and... I've got I just literally did my, my most recent order. Um, and it's four carvings. Oh my and, gosh. And, and you know, I would love to say to you, they're, they're a million miles away from what we bring here. They're not. It's just the way that they're offered to the market now. But we've seen this happen. We've seen this happen with um, uh, Russian Darpside, obviously before the, before the conflict over there, you know, Russian Darpside. Russian Alexandra. Oh, yeah, precisely. We used to we, do we entire just to... hours of Russian Darpside. Yeah. And then, and then not but what, five years later, yeah. three, you know. And the price with, with very different. of 10. Yeah, absolutely. The price and, and, is, before my different. time here, we used to do Russian Alexandra. Yeah. I'd never yeah, yeah, seen yeah. it. Yeah. And you just heard from a collector who wrote into the show and said, I remember, you know, I, people may scoff, but I've got Russian Alexandra in my collection. Yeah, exactly. you know, and that's just from casting aside any of the stigma, knowing you've got the confidence to get involved. Well done to Middlesex and Hertfordshire and California, Lancaster, Norfolk, Greater Manchester, Greater London, Merseyside. You're on the phone lines. Well done. I'm going to start right now at £3,000. This is wow. top gem, type A. Guatemalan glowing green jadeite. If you've had an experience of going to a jeweler, maybe down in Hatton Gardens, maybe maybe your local kind of uh, jeweler who specialises mm -hmm. in in uh, jewellery from the Far East, do let us know. Do let do you know, us there's know. There's very few though. Oh, there's very few, I and I'll, I'll shock you yeah. right now. Um, one of the reasons that I'm going to Hong Kong, obviously, is because there is a trade show. Mm. But one of the other reasons is I'm meeting a, a lady called Joey Cheng from Bonhams. 
because Bonhams in London won't value the jade ash. You're kidding. Seriously. So for, I'm very fortunate that I'm going to be in Hong Kong. Is it because they don't have the... They don't the, have the expertise. Yeah, So yeah, I was precisely. speaking to a, a lady called uh, Marian uh, Vieira, Marina Vieira of Bonhams, and you can look her up. And I sent her, you know, the, the Hong Kong lab cert and uh, this, you know, all the pictures and videos of the Imperial Jade, yes. which they asked for. Yeah. Um, and then she said, look, I'm, I'm actually uh, conferring with my colleague in Hong Kong. I'm not qualified to. And, uh, you know, if you can take this out there. Oh, my gosh. And, and uh, literally, wow. I'm, I'm, I've got a meeting with Bonhams on Wednesday next week to, to look at the jadeite that we bring to the market. You're very fortunate right now to, to have access to this material. And the, the jadeite, and Gosh. by the way, I'll film it. I'll film it, you can see it. Please do, yeah, please no, document but it's it. It's not a million miles away from the jadeite I'm offering you right now. That's the reality that we're at, we're at 3,000 pounds. Look at that, look at the, yeah, there she is there. Yeah, there's, the th that's her, that's Marina Vieira. This is who, who I've been chatting to, and then her colleague, Miss Cheng, is who I'm going to see on, um, on Wednesday with two pieces of jade. And this is it, this is and Guess where the jade's from, where you know. they, they, they want to see. Hey. Guatemala. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. The, the two pieces that they've asked me to take to Hong Kong are Guatemalan jade. That's fascinating. That's uh, really yeah, interesting. That, that is how the market has changed, 100%. And she literally said, look, I want you to take it to Hong Kong. One, my colleague has the expertise to look at it, but two, that's the auction that it's going to go into. But I suppose there's far more information out, out there about the Burmese material, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Far more information out well, there, there's far a, more there's resources another, There's out another there. lady um, called uh, Caroline who worked at, I think she might have just retired, she was the Chinese works of art specialist at Christie's. Yes. Um, and she's, you know, Kate We've McCarthy. shown articles that she's written before, Yeah, you know I'm Kate, sure. um, our presenter over on Jempore. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's her family friend. Oh, wow. And, you know, she, they were conferring, they were talking about Guatemalan jade and she said, you know, at Christie's, we never had Guatemalan jade. Oh, wow. That's how new it is to come yeah. to the market. That's how exciting it is. This is the quality Gosh, that we're dealing with. Wow. You're in a very privileged position, well done. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. As we said, we're fully aware this is going to sell out. I just want it to go to as many people as it can. I want this, and by the way, this is an unbelievable opportunity for those of you if you want to multi-buy. Imagine making a 230 carat pair of earrings. That would be sublime. You can see the wet look finish on this. You can see that unbelievable artistry, that meticulous attention to detail, that, that kind of unbelievable uh, carving that just doesn't exist anywhere else on earth. I'm just trying to... I, I, we, I'm just trying to get from Neri the quantity. How many do we have, did you say? We had 67, which is nowhere near enough. Okay, I'm going to take this... I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take £2,000 off the price. And this is only because, only because of how long ago we did this deal. Okay, I was talking with uh, Neri a moment ago, just on the walk through the corridors, and we was talking about another piece of jade. Mm. And it's far smaller than this. It's, uh, it's a fraction of the size of this. Mm -hmm. I currently own. And I cannot, because of the cost of it, sell it below the price on your screen right now. Oh my gosh. That's right, isn't it, Neri? When you ask me the price, and I said, it's got to be, it's got to, even though, you know, that's how quick it's changed. And that's because I, that material me. arrived when I got back from Tucson. So it's a much more recent acquisition. Yeah. So the price is higher. That, that's how quick it changes. And that all took place because of what happened in September. Yeah. You know, and I know the headlines are for pearls because there is a lot more pearls in circulation than there is Guatemalan jadeite. So that is the big story. Yes. But for Guatemalan jadeite, which represents a very small percentage of all jadeite. Yes. One, the Chinese now want it, which mm. they didn't before, so we used to be able to get opportunities like this. And two, and, and if you're w wondering, oh, Chinese want it, how does that affect it? Well, it's the same way that it affects pearls, the same way it affects any gems that the Chinese want to get involved in. And then on top of that, they've suspended the mining in the area. Gosh. At this price, this is an unbelievable deal. And if you don't believe me, you can yourself take pieces like this to Bonhams. You can reach out to, to the, the big three auction houses. It is a, a, a fantastically carved, double-sided, double dragon and in the year is, of the and, dragon. And this is it. We, we haven't even spoken about the artistry. We're talking about the material mm -hmm. here. The material. The fact that yeah, it is got translucent, this... translucent, top crystal, Precisely. glowing green, Taipei, Guatemala, and Jada. But you're right. You know, that level of detail cannot be, it cannot be achieved anywhere else on planet Earth. Goodness they me. cannot do that in Central America and Guatemala. They can't yeah. do it in Idar Robustein. They can't do it in Mumbai, Surat, Jaipur. It can only be done in about three villages in the Far East. Goodness me. Absolutely exquisite. Okay. I, I know that there is a lot of you with it in your basket. 
it is okay. now time to to really think about if you're going to be checking this out if you're going to be multi buying if you're going to be getting involved i am about to give you a 30 second clock and uh, it's never been more more important to decide on this when you see that saturation of color when you see that unbelievable luster that kind of wet look appearance on the surface of the jedi and all of that unbelievable uh, carving uh, evolution that's gone into this and this and is and, 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 and this is proof dave you know I, i'm just thinking back to the uh, to the old studio yeah and we do an hour and we do five carvings yes yeah. five eight. carvings yes yeah. maybe eight carvings yeah. it's happening right now you've seen it's it before your now. very this eyes this kind of dearth this is happening now yeah. now there's one the whole show there's is one, one carving one. precisely yeah. that's exactly it and we used to one. do when well, we used to do eight carvings and they'd have about 200 each oh precisely this is the and whole show go, right yeah. now is one carving and there's 67 or there was 67 in the world it's that's it it has changed it's like it's happening in real time and yeah yeah you know usually we just don't notice it until far after the fact this isn't forcasting it this is happening yeah. now um, so I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. Well done oh to everyone gosh. who's already made well that done. decision far and wide all around the world. Um, as as you know, the collector, the first person on the phone lines in California, California Gigi, Gigi. She, she talks quite often about um, her own jade dealer in yes. San Francisco yes. watching this very show yep. and buying their jade eye for their own store from us. And this is exactly what is happening in the industry right now. The lack of jade as a whole. Yeah. You see what's happening with Mason K. Yeah. Four seconds. There okay. are so many of you there. Good news. I'm going to take this straight down. It's go this probably will sell out now. At least uh, three quarters will, but I'm not even done. But I'm going to go to 299. 299? Nowhere near done. Oh my gosh. So this is, as I said, I want to give you that confidence. Wow. I spent the first half an hour of this show trying to give you that confidence. This is it now. Marion, Maker, Maker, Lancaster, Shan. Oh. Marion's bought two. Well done to you. she has absolutely phenomenal congratulations well done everybody and if you tuned in right at the beginning of the hour you will have seen those you know dozens of comments which uh, dave yeah. has been sent from from people who have who have uh, uh, invested in 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 incredible jade, yeah. jade from from us here at the gemporia group absolutely incredible nothing but praise if uh, marion in middlesex you've got what 230 carats here i don't know if you're gonna oh, wow. make two pendants or create a pair of earrings yeah. um, th that is entirely up to you samantha and coventry you're trying to get to patricia you're there well Michael, done. you're there. Maker, you're there. Shan in Norfolk, you're there. You got your four interest free split payments. This was extraordinarily limited. I told you we're not done on price, but we might be done on quantity. We might sell out before we even get to the final deal. Okay, oh we'll gosh. give you another 30 second clock. We're not going to mess around. We're going to take a huge amount off this. I wanted from the very offset to create the confidence in those of you that maybe have thought it's too good to be true. I don't trust it. You know, Jade Eye can't be that affordable. Well, it won't be in the in the future, but it is right now. Look, 18 that. seconds. Goodness me, this is your chance. This is your time. Dispel those uh, kind of any any kind of any kind of reservations. Hazel, that you you've have. got two in Kent as well. And look at this multi bid. Yeah. Wow. And we're not even at the final Thank deal. Thank you. Goodness, oh, Swansea's just multi bought. This yeah. is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah. At 299, it's incredible. 74 pounds on split pay, it's incredible. Yes. We're going to take it even lower. We're going to take 100 pounds off Neary. Straight off that final oh, price. My word. Like I said, this, these are genuinely, these deals have been done many months ago. We placed the biggest orders that we can. You are looking at a verified Taipei, real deal, Guatemalan Jedi in that deep, and, uh, yeah, a glowing green color with that translucency and that artistry applied to it. Um, I don't know if you're all going to be successful, but it's time wow. to be fast. It's time to check out and multi buy. Go, go, go. This really is incredible. And something that Dave said on a Wednesday show, actually, we were talking about another gemstone. We were talking about Sal and Scarlet. Yeah. We were talking about how the industry and the price for something can literally change overnight. Yes, yeah, literally. Um, and this is what is happening right now um, uh, because of the lack of mining going on over in Guatemala. And of course, and, and, of and course, it's completely um, out of their hands. Yes. You know, this is, it's turned into an archaeological dig. Goodness you know, me. That is the reality. They've found a tomb that, that is, it dates back 1,700 years. Yes. Um, the tomb of an ancient king. Yes. Right? And, and obviously they need to find out more. It's literally they're finding out about the Mesoamerican cultures, the wow. civilizations, and the history that goes along with it. That takes precedent over one of the world's most expensive gems.
Incredible. So many in baskets. We've got Michael, Jenny, Michelle, Maker, Joanne, Maker in Oxfordshire, Maker in Surrey, Florence, Maker, Geraldine, Patricia, Pamela, Catriona, uh, Samantha, Maker. There's another Maker. There's so many people yeah. there. Shan, you've still got loads of you with these still in your baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. Four individual split payments uh, for you today. Four individual split payments. Do you know um, what? Look, we can put we could put the final 20, 25 back in our vault. Yeah, absolutely. Which would be, which would be amazing Arguably and, and save should. it for, for another showcase. Or we could do a one-time deal today where we sell all of these out. <laughs> Neri's, and Neri's, Neri's stand, happy. Yeah. He's animated. He's yeah. standing up. He is. I've never seen him so animated. Right. <laughs> so, um, Bruce, I'm going to ask for a 30-second clock. This has never happened before. We're going to do this live. There is so many people multi-buying. We can see the interest. Jane, you're the most recent to, to multi-buy. In 25 seconds, I'm telling you, it's miles lower. We're going we're gonna to put these into everyone's collection today. That's why I spent the, the opening uh, portion of the show talking to you about collectors that may have been at some point in the same position that you're in right now. You know, that, that doubted that, that, that JDAC could be this affordable, that the deals could be this good, that, you know, is it too good to I be can't true? I believe this. I literally can't believe we're about to do this. This is this is crazy. One time deal happening today. A sellout, a close out. Yours today for one four nine. Yes! Oh my god. And you still get your that four interest free awesome. split payments as well. That is absolutely well incredible. Type A Imperial Grade. Oh my. We have literally, to all intents and purposes, we've been priced out the market. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, gone are the days Hazel's where we can got bring- three now. Oh my gosh. This is, Jane's got two, well done. Cumbria's got two as well. This is absolutely phenomenal. Congratulations, well done. Now is your moment. This really is it. Oh my word. 37 pounds there. on interest free <gasps> split payments. 37 pounds. There's never, ever, ever been a better time to acquire your type Olmec Jedi oh and in the gosh. year of the dragon when everyone yes. else is putting their prices up on the dragons for obvious reasons it is the one time every 12 years that you can do that goodness me and it, and it really you know don't 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 kind of uh, don't don't think that that you know, it, it deserves that level of gravitas you know there are uh, there yeah. are couples who kind of plan on kind of getting married and having children yes. to coincide with the year of the dragon you know For sure. it, all it, you know business decisions are made during during you know particular years because of the amount of uh, the amount of belief that there is attached Absolutely. to this incredible figure uh, amazing half is just well, taking 10 percent Jeanette of was... the stock has gone to just two people on the planet yeah. You know, whether it's Marianne oh, and Hazel, wow. you, you've got 10% of the, the, the stock here. That's we, how limited we this are is. so over allocated. There's absolutely tons of you with these in baskets. You've got to check out now. This is this. I, oh, gosh, I don't I don't know. I don't want to say this is your last chance, but 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 it, quite it really honestly, is. this is this is the, the days of this is, you know, look, looks like they're coming to an end. Oh gosh, that's depressing. Uh, but uh, do get it, add it to your order. Let's Incredible. do a minute clock to close these out. We're, we've got 10 chances <sighs> wow. remaining. You don't have to worry about sizes here. Just make sure you're coming in and getting involved. I'm gonna give you a minute clock to close this one out. I want you to be successful, but obviously I also don't want to oversell it. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations, well done. Ian in Merseyside, just checking out there. Well done to you. Taking us down to the final nine chances. My word. This has had such a huge effect on everybody here at Jewelry Maker. What a privilege to be yeah. able to bring this to you. What a privilege to be able to hold this. Incredible, incredible, Jade. Well done. Final nine chances available with about 30 or 40 in baskets. It's well done, crazy. Guys. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. 30 seconds and we're going to be taking it away. We do have some other incredible pieces to bring you as well. Very, very different qualities. Uh, really excited about all of them. Seven chances left with so many still sitting in baskets. Ellen, well done, taking us down to the final seven. Congratulations, well done, everybody. What a deal. Look at that. Kim in Hampshire, I can see you there as well. Well done to you as well. Tons still sitting in baskets, well done. What a treat, what a treat. Magical, Deb. I like literally magical. It's the color. Oh, it's, it's the colour, the, the translucency, the carving, the wet look, the size, what it is. It's a work of art. It is a work of art. You're absolutely right. I mean, to an own original this artwork is incredible because you know, like our viewers said, and like David just, I've got things that I bought before. 10 years ago that we bring occasionally now that is like 10 times more expensive. Absolutely 100%. And that does happen. It really does. We, we've seen it happen with, other, seen it with other gems, happen. with other things. Yeah, absolutely. 
Gosh, what a treat. Absolutely amazing. Seven chances remaining with about 30, 40 in baskets. It's crazy. Kim in Hampshire, uh, congratulations, well done to you. There's still so many in baskets. Well done. Now, still to come, still to come, the most incredible varieties, the most gorgeous, gorgeous colors, the most beautiful strands. Um, amazing. Well done. Right. Dave. Yeah. We, I mean, look, that, we believe this one is about to sell out. It yeah. shows the seven left, but there's look about, oh, God knows how many of you on the, the, uh, on the queue, on the phone lines. <laughs> we, we do have some strands coming up. You know, we've talked and talked and talked about how, you know, strands of jade are the, the most expensive in the market oh, because gosh. of the amount of yeah. waste that goes into it. This is one of the highest grades of jade one can achieve. Uh -huh. It's transparent. Yeah. To, to, to make that point, to illustrate that point, any cord that you place through these, it will take the color off. Yep. Right. So if you was to put bright blue cord in these, it's yes. going to have a hint of blue. Yes. If you put violet, it's going to be purple. This is transparent, icy jadeite. And icy jadeite, for those of you that don't know, and I'm sure many of you do, is a material that has climbed the highest in terms of price. It's not the most expensive, but it's had the highest price increase because the most important, the paramount uh, um, factor in grading jade is the crystal. It's far more impactful than the color. The color mm -hmm. is secondary. And obviously it's amazing to get imperial green and lavenders and reds. But the reality is, and Jeff Mason told me this two weeks ago when I was in yeah. Tucson, he put three strands out in front of me and he had like a, a kingfisher green jade out strand, all of it's type A. He put a red jade out strand in front of me and then just colorless. <laughs> and uh, he was like, you know, wow. guess, guess, the, uh, guess the most expensive here in this lineup. <laughs> And um, I was there with my cameraman, Connor, and he was like, we're red, we never see red. And yeah. he was like, yeah, red is the rarest. He's a, the most expensive out of all these three is the colorless, Goodness the, the top me. crystal. And we have got two strands right now to bring you of transparent ice glassy jade eye, which I think is, is, is one of those unique moments for you guys as jewelry makers, which is what wow. you are, that you have the opportunity right now to breathe new life into this material. You, you have opportunity right now to breathe new life into this material. This is on a pink cord, so you get that hint of pink coming yeah. through. Um, but to take us into that, we're gonna start with something that was deemed kind of impossible. Uh, uh, at the very start, we started working with Jade. We talk about the color wheel of Jade, talk about all the colors that it can come in. You've got it in one piece here. This is all incredible uh, uh, natural material in the color wheel and it is a, an opportunity for anyone who wants to get involved. Wow. Oh my gosh. You have your green, your lavender, your black. And, and then I think got is that's Nanhong, isn't it? That's Nanhong. Yeah, so you've got your, your Nanhong, oh my which gosh. predates jade. You've got your lavender or your blue. You've got your black jade, your on-site black jade, and your apple green jade, all in one of those. <laughs> uh, for me, I'm looking at that and I go, yeah, I'm not a jewelry maker, but if I was, I look at that and I think three of those because the pair of earrings like that absolutely has to be. It's timeless. That could have been done at the turn of the century. It could have been done even earlier Precisely. than that. It has yeah. that wonderful aesthetic appeal. Um, when you see this in the daylight, you know, not in a floodlit studio, and you see the the quality of yeah, these jade the with the light just amazing. bouncing off every single one of these. This is the opportunity. How many of these do we have, Neri? Fifty. Oh, nowhere near enough. <laughs> Nowhere near enough. I thought it was going to be 200. Okay, Think you've got again. 20 carats of jadeite with the Nanhong Gee agate. whiz, look yeah. at this. That is such a, it's such a substantial piece, yeah, it isn't really it? Is. It really is. And it just lends itself to all manner oh, of jewellery. Wow. You know, whether you wanted to um, put it into a bracelet. You know, oh, wow. just on, on the wrist. Yes. Uh, with, with cord or with silver. Yeah. Um, whether you want to have that as an incredible uh, pendant as it is or a pair of earrings, I think it's absolutely world class. It really is. But there is only 50. You've seen the deals we're doing. You know, the, one, the, the things that we cannot get hold of. God, look at that. Is all of those colors. 50 opportunities. Beautiful. Now, you've seen the closeouts that we've been doing today. Lavender, black, green, Nanhong. Um, it's incredible. It's going Look to be sensational. At Look at the shape of these. Look at the way they've been beautifully carved. And even the back. It, it's just, you can you just tell. You leave that open because of the translucency. Absolutely. You know, you've got those cutouts, which, you know, the, the only reason you're doing that is to allow the light to permeate. 
Look at that, isn't that just incredible? And the recording, I think, really sets it off. Yeah. As Dave was saying, you really get a sense of the luster mm -hmm. when you see that recording. The, the crystallization. Okay, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently because we don't have 200, we don't need to stagger the course. Yeah, okay. This is all type A, the Nan Hong is natural too. Um, it's a big carrot weight, it's a big look, they're all cut on the curve, they all have to be meticulously cut to fit that, that wonderful, yeah. perfect circle. I'm gonna start where it's always sold. Right, I'm okay. going to start, and th because the reason is, I'm actually going to do a closeout on this today as well. Just like we did a closeout on the Olmec. So this is always sold for 149. So I'm going to go there. Oh my gosh. And by the way, no one's paying price. that. But there's only 50, and I, I, I'm going to tell you, I think many of you are going to want to buy the three. Yeah, well, Swansea, you bought three. To make the earrings. To make the earrings and the pendant. And the, the, pendant. the elite suite of the color gosh. wheel of jade. Just look at that, look at that. that is, as Dave quite rightly says, that is absolutely ageless. That could have been made, I don't know, six months ago, or it could have been made uh, you, know, the turn of the, yeah. you know, the turn of the last century. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. You're, it's 37 pounds on your interest-free split payments, but I'm not stopping there. I am telling every single one of you, I'm gonna do a closeout today in a massive way. We're gonna give you an unprecedented deal, but it is the only time you'll see something like this and I'd encourage you to multi-buy. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds, it's already flying out. Yeah. We only have 50, that's yeah. why I could have started at a thousand pounds, 500 pounds, I'm not. I'm starting at the price everyone's bought this for previously. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's so gorgeous, isn't it, Neri? Yeah, it's it, it, absolutely beautiful. Gigi, well done to you, Maker, Catriona, Maker and Swansea, like Dave says, has just bought, has just multi-bought, that's yeah. wonderful. Hazel and Kent, congratulations, well done to you. 10 seconds you've got, this is the price point, it is always sold out. One. Four, nine. Which is incredible. It really is. Really is superb. Right, straight down, your deal today, 99 pounds. <gasps> we're doing it, we're going to double figures. Oh it's gosh. always been at 149. Amazing. This is why Hazel's got three, Swansea's Hazel's got three, got California oh, there. Done. I said this is exactly what you're going to want to do. We only had 50 and it is a multi-buyer's dream right now. It, really it is, is right down at the rock bottom, rock bottom deal. We're in double figures for the first time ever and your interest-free split payments right now Look. Uh, are what, 24 pounds and 99 pence. <sighs> See, that is an earring. That, you're I absolutely right, perfect. Dave. I thought maybe, you know, it'd be a little bit too, but that is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. 17 chances remaining. Half Good luck. Well done to you, Maker there. Well done to you. That is absolutely incredible. 99.99, what a deal. Well done. Oh, congratulations, well done. 10 chances remaining. You don't have to miss out. You've still got the opportunity to get involved. You've still got the opportunity right now to multi-buy if, if you've, ever seen anything like this before you know the price they go for if you haven't mm. there's a reason for that we've ourselves only done it once and we are one of the biggest buyers of jade in the western world it is very difficult to do something like this we've made it happen for our collectors because we know you want to create pieces yeah. of jewelry like this it is there take advantage incredible well done still people coming through for that we may have a couple of chances left we're just we're just we, we've got to bring you these incredible strands as well yeah all in a time frame so dave mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are we gonna do this? We are, absolutely. You've got oh, these, these wow. incredible, glassy, transparent God, jadeite feel. strands. They have, they have a natural hint of pink, but it's obviously enhanced by the cord as yeah, well of course. to give you that, but look at that. It's brand new today. Never ever has anyone had the chance to acquire this. What kind of quantity do we have, Neri? How many do we have, love? 74. Okay, great, amazing. We're gonna do your phenomenal deal. This is Taipei Jadeite, glassy, Look transparent. Isn't that just beautiful? You can really tell. I mean, there's there's nothing quite like the feel of jade. It's got that kind of weight to it. It's got that cool uh, temperature to it. It, mm -hmm. it feels it feels dense. It feels it feels glassy though. You know, it looks glassy, but it feels glassy as well. It's absolutely so, gorgeous. So lavender jade exists on what is called the pink to lavender spectrum. Uh -huh. That's just dictated by how much vanadium and manganese is in, in the structure of the jade. Okay. Um, this is right on the cusp of that pink to, to, yes. to lavender. So you have this hint of pink, which is realistically never encountered, especially with this transparency. And remember, the, the precedent is given to the quality of the stone, the, the transparency. Oh, look at that. And I'm gonna encourage you to be quick on this. Oh, loads of people there already. This is really great. It's seven mil in size, gosh, they're big. Mm -hmm. 
Big, big rounds that you're going to be getting here. Lots of interest already. Obviously, it, it, it's such an attractive strand, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. That delicacy yep. of colour there, absolutely beautiful. Right, I'm going to start at 299 going to start at 299 not 2000 wow. 299 wow. pounds it's 180 okay. carats of type a certified uh, uh pink but very very slight pink jadeite uh transparent glassy nowhere near done and this has never been seen before we only could get 74 uh, opportunities for you yeah. these are going to disappear today are you going to be one of the collectors that gets them london uh, california merseyside hertfordshire coventry swansea multi buyers i'm just thinking back to the um you know, the colour wheel yep. that we've had in the past, and I don't know where that is, whether it's in the GIA or wherever it mm -hmm. is. I'm just trying to remember all the different colours. I don't think I've ever encountered this particular tone on that colour wheel. Uh, yeah, it's, kind of it's, it's extraordinarily rare. Mm. And that's why I couldn't get you 200 of these or yes. you know, even 100 of these, especially with this transparency. To get the combination, when you talk about the lavender series in particular, you often sacrifice one for the other. Yes. So if you want the more saturated colour, then you're going to get more opaque material. Okay. And if you want the more transparent material, then you're going to lose a lot of colour. This is what the, the, the big jewellery house is up for. You know, the, the fine stone with just a thread of colour within it. I'll give you a 30 second clock. Satvir, you've got to. Swansea, well you've got done. to. This is going to disappear today. You're going to be part of it. And this is one of those classic cases of, uh, you know, you're thinking of making something big, something quite indulgent, which you're going to need more than one strand for please 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 do multi buy because i can't guarantee oh, sure. you know when we're going to be able to get these kind of colors back you know if we're going to be able to get these colors back in you know with certain gemstones with certain strands we can say oh yeah we'll definitely be able to get more amethyst we'll definitely be able to get more garnet you know whatever it might be but with this and with this very specific color you've got going on here i can't guarantee we're going to be able to get it again so do do multi buy absolutely 100 percent. nearly take 200 pounds off the price and i'm oh just going to tell gosh. everyone if you if you want to be quick i'm not Ooh. done I'm not done. Oh, so I'm wow. going to 99 pounds and I'm not done on this strand. Goodness me. I would encourage multi-buying. I mean, you're already doing that, but you're in double figures for 180 carats. Type A, 100% natural, transparent, jade eye, in that pink series, that slight hint of pink, that yes. blush pink. Absolutely. Debbie in Northamptonshire, well done. Checking out Cheryl, Anne, Denise, Donna, Maker, Moira, Sharon. Loads in baskets. Lots of people joining us today. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you so much for joining us today. Really, really great to have you there today. Okay. Look at that. Yep. Okay, sorry, Carol, yep. can you hold the pendant up? As if you this were gonna, one? Yeah, you were going to hang it on that pendant. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. What because that's what I do. Oh, I love it. Yeah. You know, so people who've got the pendant, if you mm. want to take the design further, take it off the chain and can you, that piece, how much would, I mean, come on, how rare no. is that piece there? Absolutely. Just look Couldn't agree more. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that is incredible. That's unparalleled rarity. How to have that hint of pink and then that colour wheel of jade with that prominence in colour. Look at that. So understated that pink, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Right. I love it next it's to 30 that second clock. This is your opportunity, guys. Oh, this wow. is your moment. If you want to own this material, it's now or never. The clock has started. Well done. Less than 30 seconds. Cheryl Ann's just taken two. This is great to see. Well done. Add it onto your order. Do multi-buy. You're thinking of making, you know, a suite of jewelry, necklace, earrings, bracelets, which you know you, you're gonna need, you're gonna need more than one of these for them. Please do multi-buy. This is the kind of thing, you know, you'll you know, you'll make a note of the code, you'll think, oh yeah, I'll come back through it'll and, be gone. and it'll just be gone. It'll just be gone. Anyone who does miss out today, please use the wish list uh, facility as well. Lots and lots and lots of you coming through to get this. Tons in baskets. Goodness me, London's just bought two. Congratulations, well done to you. Annette, well done to you. Uh, amazing. 99.99. Straight down, your deal. An unbelievable one as well. Um, Neary, just half the price. It's a one-time deal oh today. I warned you that. Wow. I said it's That's a one-time. Look at what we've done all morning. You've got the, the Olmec quit. Jade at a crazy deal. You've got the color wheel at the craziest deal. And uh, I'm just about to offer you this piece you've never seen before. First time ever. That, that blush pink type A transparent Jade Eye for $49.99. It's unmissable. That I think many of us will agree. crazy. Oh yeah. my gosh. That really has gone nuts. Marion's just bought another one. Well done to you, Geraldine. There's tons of, oh my gosh, 20, 30 in baskets. Samantha in Coventry, two. Hertfordshire, two. This is absolutely amazing. 50 pounds. 
And it's, it's fascinating. You know, you're going to Hong Kong next week. I yep. wonder, you know, I wonder what you're going to see when you go there. I can't there. wait. I this is the one reason we're see. insisting on taking uh, a cameraman. I mean, we're meeting Stanley Chu, who we've spoke about uh, yeah. many, many times. I'm meeting with Bonhams. And we're going to be uh, walking the one chair show as well as the, the Asia World Expo. It's going it's to be oh. unbelievable. And, and it's going to, for those of you that have Jade out in your collection, it's going to be, to, to, to be you know, overwhelming. But yeah. also, it's going to be very in, uh, informative for you guys if you've got Jada in your collection. I think it's going to be such an. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the most important trips that you've made. I can't over think. To I, the I think you're right. Yeah. Because I think you're going to find out a lot of yes. information, which is going to shock all of us about scarcity, about 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 what's happening in the market, and th this is the moment to get it. Get it now. Yeah. Because it can change overnight. For you sure. know it can. Incredible. Well done. Honestly, there's so many people there. I'll give you a minute clock to close on this piece. A minute clock to close. Um, this is the opportunity for you if you want to be there, if you want to be part of it. Um, natural Taipei, blush pink jadei, transparent supreme crystal. Um, we bought you 74 chances. You've seen the price we've just done. We're at 49.99. Make sure you're multi-buying is my oh only my advice. Gosh. So the pieces of jade that you're taking with you over to Hong Kong, you're going to take them in your hand luggage. You're going to kind yes. of yeah, 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 that's the kind of thing you just cannot. I you cannot, cannot put that in a hold. Yeah, so I'm going to have that probably uh, in my blazer pocket. Yeah, if I'm absolutely. honest. Absolutely. Uh, take them over there, and like I said, very look, much looking forward to, to meeting with Bonhams. Um, as I said, Stanley Chu as well, and we're going to see you know the impact that this this show is going to have on the wider market and our chances of securing more jade out long term. Goodness me. Well done, everybody. You've got literally 15 seconds and then we're going to be um, uh, taking the details away. Congratulations to everybody who's just come through there. Still got loads of baskets. Gloucester oh, well done, Middlesex. Just checked out there. Gloucestershire, Swansea, another Swansea. Loads of multiples in baskets. Maker's got three in their basket. Moira in Cambria. Sharon in Dorset. Lorraine in Essex. Please check out as soon as you can. Well done, well everyone. Done. That is absolutely incredible. Congratulations. Beautiful quality. Wowzers. Right. Okay. Another strand. Yep, this is uh, another strand. Oh my gosh. Even more pink this time. Even more pink yeah. on this. How many of these do we have, Neri? Go on. Oh wow, Okay, okay this is gonna be epic. You've just seen what I, yes. what I did um, with that deal. This is gonna be an even greater deal. I'm gonna give you, I'm actually gonna give you 30 seconds to bring this one live. This is going to be the deal of today. And you've seen how incredible these deals have been. Really intense colorway on this one. Um, and with that supreme transparency, this, I'll be honest, is probably the rarest strand we've had in the building. Not the largest, certainly won't be the most expensive, but just in terms of rarity, you're looking at it. Pink jadeite, type Goodness in. me. 10 seconds. And that's it, it's that, it's that difference between what is rarest, what is kind yeah, of yeah. most expensive, yeah. isn't it? Um, you know, diamonds are significantly more expensive than, say, zircon, but yeah. zircon is far rarer. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you've got to get into that mindset. This is 107. This is everyone multi buys. That means you've got 50 opportunities. Well done oh, to wow. you guys. We're not messing around on this one. This is going to be a legacy opportunity. Goodness me. The, the strand we bought you just a few seconds ago at 49.99, yeah. absolutely incredible. These are five and a half to six mil in size. It's that classic size, whether it's necklaces, bracelets, earrings, beaded beads, you know, whatever it might be, you've got that classic, classic size. And let's say you've got your, I don't know, you've got your nephrite, you've got your cotan, you've got your apple green, you've got all, all of your incredible colors of jet. This also, as, as a point of difference in a strand, mm. you know, as like a, almost like a spacer within other strands oh, that you yeah, have. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just to use those moments of pink. You know, when you put them with the other colors, you'll really see that color pop. Yeah, you will. Um, I'm going to start in double figures. I'm going to start at 99 pounds because I'm going to do something oh, ridiculous. Even though, in, in all actual fact, it's probably the rarest uh, color strand we bought to you. <laughs> yes. And I'm nowhere near done. You look at it next to the green and look oh, at yeah. that color pop. Both of those colors popping absolutely incredible is it? it's just it's just exquisite almost every single one of you yeah. is multi-buying thank you so 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 much wasn't it wonderful to see all those comments from people who've bought jade uh from 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 either us here on jewelry maker or over yeah. on gems tv and and the feedback is just it's so valuable that information is just it, it's heartwarming it's wonderful it just reinforces everything that so, we're saying so nearly we're going to start in 99 pounds we're going to start there we're going to start in double figures 
half the stock's gone. Yeah, half the stock's gone. I know, it's crazy, isn't Everyone's it? Everyone's going to be multi-buying, which means this is just going to disappear. We knew that yep. would be the case. Yep. This is the last of the pink jade. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful. 99.99 is where we are starting. Middlesex, two. Hertfordshire, two. California, two. Merseyside, two. West Midlands, two. Northamptonshire, two. London, two. Kent, two. Oh my gosh, off the screen, multi bidders. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely okay, incredible. Okay, this is where it's gonna happen. On, I've, I've, been, go. I've put myself in a corner here um, <laughs> because I, I went so low on the other oh. one, which, you know, as I said, they're both the same transparency, but the color is more intense on the Stranger Holding, yeah, which okay, means it should yeah. be a higher price. But I know you're expecting this to be a lower price, so I'm gonna look after it, even though if you take this anywhere, and please, if you want to do it, if I was to take both of these to Hong Kong and put them out in front of a jade dealer, I'd say, which one's the most expensive? It's the one you're holding. Oh, That's oh, the gosh. truth, because yeah. all things considered, this has a higher intensity of color. Um, so I'm gonna give you a 30 second block and I'm gonna do the unthinkable. Even though I, I wanted to just say that because I don't want you to think, I don't want anyone to think I'm an idiot. I know this should be more expensive. Um, I'm fully aware <laughs> of that, but I don't wanna let you guys down. So even though I'm knowingly taking this one lower than it should be. This is Dave's internal monologue, just yes, for it's if happening. anyone's interested. And it's, uh, it's happening live on TV. You are hearing the, my internal <laughs> thoughts, which are very few, <laughs> very few. <laughs> just an echo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Dave. Here we go. Echo. Yeah. You ready? Two. Cumbria three. Cornwall two. Look at all the multi bidders. This is wonderful. My, my final deal with you. I know. I know the team still have incredible deals to bring to you. But always, always like to say that I go out with a bang, and I want to do that for you right now. Oh, well this done. This one. Here we go. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Oh yes, amazing. I, I don't even Take think it. we've got half left. Run for the hills. Go, 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 go. This is. I know it does feel naughty. Naughty but neary. Yes, absolutely. Naughty but neary, I like oh, it. He's literally naming himself in there. It's just embarrassing. 39 <laughs> 99 Incredible. Well done. The, look at the London's bought three. That should be a show. Naughty but neary. Oh, gosh. No, don't. Do Neary that. but nice. Don't do that, Dave. Okay. You don't need to do that. I'd love that. I would love that. It would be he great. wants a jingle and everything. Yeah, <laughs> Neary, Neary but nice. Move over David Harry Jules. Yeah, yeah, forget that. Neary but nice. <laughs> Let's get it on. I'd love it. <laughs> amazing. Well done, everyone, coming through. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Dave. Oh, no problem. Now, can I show you something yes, very quickly please. before you go? Right, sand casting in the 12 o'clock hour. Okay. Just look at that ring that Deb has made there. Look at the state of that. Look at how the gems erupt from the silver. Isn't I love that it. just incredible? Yeah, I absolutely love that. Definitely it's so that. organic, so different. I Isn't love it? That. Yeah. I just, I never get to see jewelry like this, ever. It's, it's always like one of a kind. It's always, you yeah. know, it's a lot of- Look there, look, look at those pieces, aren't they incredible? Yeah, very Italian and very well, Persian very, as well. Very, um, uh, Polly Wales. Oh yeah, Polly Wales, yeah. Yes. yeah. I love part. it. Isn't that gorgeous? That's amazing, yeah. I mean, anyone who's get this is why, this is what jewelry maker's really about. Like learning to do things like this, it's spectacular. You know, cool, you're becoming it? designers, actual real designers. I love uh, the jewelry that, that we're being shown right now. So Debbie's gonna take you through that at 12. And um, yeah, I don't Does think- Does that mean I'm an actual thing. real designer? You are, yeah, oh, of thanks, course. Dave. No, you are. I'll I, pay you I, later, I, Dave. No, you are. I would never think of you as anything else. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> Um, well done. I don't know if we've got any of these left. I think we've got like a couple left, but thank you so much, thank Dave. Thank you Bless so much. You. Thank you. And um, I think you're back with us tomorrow with Kotan. That's right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Big news on Kotan as well. Really? Yeah, big news on Kotan. Um, so, like I said, I've been just been speaking with our team on Gemporia about uh, Kotan, and I can't wait to speak to you about it as well. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Fantastic. Thank you so, thank you so much. Right, okay. We have got um, a strand. We've got one final strand here of the most... Electro the color on this is absolutely off the scale the most beautiful um kind of candy apple colored jadeite beads you're getting rounds and bamboo shaped beads these are uh, color color as far as color and gemmy, gem, that jelly-like quality is concerned. These are absolutely sensational. Love that colour, Deb. Oh, those two colours together. Minty. The pink, yeah, I just, it's a blossom Ooh. tree. It's spring. It's everything Stunning. that you're looking to, to uplift you at this time of year. Yeah. It's just, well, nature knows what she's doing. Absolutely, yeah. She really does, doesn't she? Now, um, to get kind of two strands 
in one is such a treat. Bamboo, why bamboo? So bamboo um, is a variety of uh, grass. Uh, some, you know, there's lots of different types of bamboo. Uh, some of it grows so quickly, you can, actually, you can actually kind of almost watch it grow. It's an amazing, it's an amazing material. And it's a symbol of resilience. If you've ever, we've got bamboo in our garden and even during the heaviest winds, it will literally be bent over yeah. double and still spring back. It's such a resilient plant. It's a symbol of resilience, a symbol of incredible um, uh, being stoic, being, you know, being able to weather the storm, an island of calm. Um, I love it. And I love the way that these have been carved, almost like a wood turner would carve like yes. a chair leg or a spindle in a chair or, or a spindle in a, sp in a staircase. It's got that beautiful kind of turned quality to it. Now, eh? It's beautiful though, isn't it? Um, how many of these do we have, Neri? Is that it? 50. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to hang around. A, because it's going to sell out, and B, because I'm desperate for a wee. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> like, literally, desperado. So, 99 99 <laughs> Well, you may as well be honest. Yeah. You may as well be honest. <laughs> Sorry, Neri. Were we going to go to the straight to the break? I thought we'd just carry on. <laughs> this is good for us, Carol. This is, it, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Hold it! Pelvic Hold floor. on my command, unleash hell! <laughs> Ten <laughs> seconds and we're going to be going for a week. No, 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 we're going to be taking the price point down. Pauline, Elizabeth, Maker in Swansea, has got two volunteers, you've Dawson. You've got to be quick. Think of me and my bladder. We've got, <laughs> we're taking the price point down. We're at 99. Help me! We're at 99. 99.99. Here we go, my lovelies. I know there's more of you out there bursting as well. Here we go, let's just do it. 50 quid go 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 well done don't start drinking now deb uh we've got Kat in cambridge <laughs> we've got maker in Kent. we've got sharon we've got maker in london go 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 what an amazing deal and it, you know joking aside it is two strands in one isn't it which oh, is yeah. just such a treat just one in the middle of a wish star bracelet one fed onto a chain maybe yes. uh, of the bamboo beads that symbol of being stoic and resilient and weathering weather, weathering the storm yeah it, it adds to the story of the jewelry and you know Doesn't i love just, a story yeah but you know you've got that bamboo and i just think that shape is absolutely beautiful it, it, it's a really attractive shape you know bamboo to one side it's a really attractive shape isn't it and then you've got these beautiful little kind of rounded um kind of round rondelles really they're not full rounds but they're not full rondelles they're absolutely gorgeous aren't they well done everybody london's got two congratulations mary cheryl Ann, heather well done to you as well down to the last few chances congratulations well done now coming up after the break what are we coming i've oh, got the pearls do you want to see them <whistles> these pearls have been to wear once once mine <laughs> yeah mine mine, mine. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. We have also got the most beautiful aquamarine showcase. These are all ready-made components of aquamarine. I've got, you are going to love these, Deb, well, I, I, and everyone watching, threader earrings in gold-plated silver with aquamarine. Oh, Check out those oh beauties. Oh, my goodness. I've got them in yellow gold-plated silver and oh. in silver they're exquisite aren't they they, they are going to sell out there over so 100 pounds in other designer totally. places yeah i've seen that thing absolutely like that. we've got connectors we've got pendants amazing don't go anywhere see you in a minute it's easy to stay in touch with jewelry maker you can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. 
Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hello, my name is Rachel Norris and I'm so excited to be with you on Saturday the 24th of February for the most amazing show. I don't even know where to begin, there's so much um, going on. So in the 9am hour, there is this amazing toolkit. It's multi-toolkit, it's got everything in it. It's got swage blocks, doming punches, um, all sorts of, um, and there's an anvil in there, all sorts of shapes and sizes and there's so much potential in this, in, in this sort of kit where you can actually, a kit of tools really, it's enormous uh, potential. So I've had fun because some things I've never used all before, so I've had fun experimenting really. And you can use it to make uh, them to make tubes like these colour lilies, um, and um, you can do sort of um, folding and impressions and bee caps like this autumn leaf necklace. Um, and there's goodness knows I've made starfish with it and um, also you can do a sort of almost like a fold forming technique um, with this sort of heart necklace with this pattern like that and so I'll be teaching you some of the techniques in that um, part of the show and also there's, there's tutorial booklets in there with them as well so um, and there's uh, so much, as I say so much potential and do you know what? <laughs> As if anything could beat the nine o'clock hour, the twelve o'clock hour is up there because there's a launch of some some brand new sort of dapping, punching tools. Um, and you can make some fantastic effects with them. There's a set of feather um, tools which you can actually use to make um, feathers and, and sun rays and all sorts of wonderful um, patterns. And there's line punching tools, which you can use to make snowflakes and, and wonderful sort of dandelion firework explosions sort of type pieces. I really hope you can join me on Saturday, 24th of February for the most fantastic uh, metalwork and tooling show. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, preparing for it and I hope you can tune in to watch. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Oh my gosh. Right. We are 45 minutes from sand casting. 
we might start it a bit oh, earlier. Oh, Neary, thank you. And also pre-order, Neary. Can we put some stuff on pre-order? I don't know, because we've had a lot of people messaging in about it. Yeah. He's having a think. Right, OK. Oh, great, he's pressing buttons. He's, pre he's doing so his... So can we do it? Can we put them on pre-order? Excellent. If you want to get any of the sand casting um, uh, supplies, please get them ahead of time. It's all on pre-order. Go, go, go. Amazing. Very excited. It sold out last time so quickly and so many people missed out that if we can put it on pre-order so that people It's all can, on pre-order then. Can, oh, it is. He's done it. Thank you, Neri. No, no, so go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. You can see, I mean, not absolutely everything is on pre-order, but you'll That's see not. on pre-order, if you go to our website, so what have we got on pre-order, Deb? Okay, so we've got the flask, which you need, the crucible, tongs, um, including, okay, is that, have you got the um, crucible itself? Have we got the crucible itself as well as the tongs? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we've got the clay, the Delft clay, which we, oh, two kilograms worth, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, just do a bit of price comparison with that because <laughs> it's very expensive elsewhere. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, and the crucible's going on as well. And the did crucible, you say, Neary? please, if you can. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Neary. Pop it on. Pop it on. Uh, Keep scrolling. It's at the top. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gee whiz, Neary. Get your, Where get is the your stuff. Thing? Where is oh, it? I he's put it somewhere. There he hey! is. You need that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right. Gee whiz. It's exciting. Right, okay. What should we do first, Neary? Oh my gosh. These pearls have been to wear once. Just look at them. Just look. Look at the state of these. I love them. I love oh them so gosh, much. Deb. I just. I, and this is. We've got in Stratford upon Avon, where I live, it's a tourist town. It's a tourist time because of William Shakespeare, because of the RSC, because of lots of other things. Bruce went there yesterday with his, uh, with his, with his, lovely, his, lo his lovely wife and the baby, didn't you? It's a nice place to go. It's a destination. People go there. Yesterday it was raining lots and there were lots of, um, uh, uh, there was a Japanese school and none of them had like, uh, n none of them had umbrellas or anything. Everyone was oh. getting absolutely drenched. But it's a tourist town and that's, and that's, and that's great. And it, tourism brings in a huge amount of money. Mm to Stratford-upon-Avon. It literally, it survives on its tourism. And um, for that reason, when people go to tourist destinations, you want to maybe treat yourself and buy yourself something nice. I'm going to Budapest next next weekend. I'm really, really excited about it. And I've kind of got a couple of ideas about, you know, little things that I want to buy when I'm over there. Um, I'm really, really excited about doing that. I have looked in every single jewellers in, in Stratford. There are lots of them because, of course, you know, there's lots of people who want to buy nice things when they go to places, you know, tourist towns. And I can honestly say there's nothing that looks like that. Nothing. Nothing. Big pearls, big white pearls, Baroque pearls, probably Akoyas. Nothing like these. They're absolutely exquisite, Deb, aren't they? They're just one of a kind. I mean... They're all one of a kinds, aren't they? You need... You, I need them. <laughs> I just... You know, the, the whole idea that possibly, well, not even possibly, almost certainly, I'm not going to be able to afford pearls like this in a year or two years' time. And look, it's the colour for me. Oh, the my colour, gosh. The colour, the shape, they are stunning. You cannot fake that no you can't can you, you cannot fake you that really we were saying can't. this to um susie and i were saying this the other day with pearls of this caliber you cannot no, no. fake that color no way agree if you dye a pearl it'll be beautiful it'll be very flat in color yeah this has got depth definition nuances it, it's got veils of it is literally it is ex, it, it's exquisitely beautiful Look at that. Greens, yellows, blues, purples, bronzes, whites, 
turquoises, pinks, <sighs> peaches. They're Edison, right? Are they Edison? Yeah. Do you know, I didn't want to say that because I wasn't sure, but the minute I looked at them, I thought, they're Edison. So these are ripple Edison pearls, uh, which makes them even rarer, even more unusual. What are Edison pearls? So Edison pearls were developed uh, over the course of a, over a decade by a few pearl farms over in the Far East. And these pearl farms basically felt like they were missing out on a huge uh, corner of the market, which was dedicated to South Sea pearls. South Sea pearls are incredible. They are saltwater pearls. They're very, very large. They are, um, they come in all sorts of, or I'll say all sorts of colors. They tend to come in white or they tend to come in uh, gorgeous uh, kind of goldy colors. But it's that kind of size and shape and I don't want to say value, but it's that size and shape and uh, impact, I guess, that a South Sea pearl has that these pearl farms wanted to imitate with freshwater culture pearls. Now, they had to breed different mollusks together. So you get this kind of hybrid pearl, this kind of hybrid mollusk, if you like. But what that means, um, the main kind of takeaway from the way that uh, South Sea pearls are cultured, the main takeaway is that these are, that these are grown singularly. The freshwater culture pearls I bought you earlier on, the rice pearls, they come from mollusks where there may be 20, 30 pearls in one mollusk. And it's absolutely fine. That's just kind of, kind of how they're grown, how they're cultured. But one of the reasons why South Sea pearls are so beautiful and are so individual is because that mollusk is, is concentrating on that one pearl, making that one pearl. Um, and that is exactly what we've got here. One of a kind, grown one at a time, and they rival the size, the shape, the stature of your South Sea Pearl. And the color, you don't get anything like this from a South Sea Pearl, nothing. Nothing like it from an Edison, Edison. nothing like this from a South Sea Pearl at all, no way. That is poetry in motion, right there. It's like a watercolor palette. The, the differences between that green and that green is so subtle. It's so, t it's, it's absolutely exquisite. Look at this, look at the quality, the size, the shape. Now, because these are ripple Edisons, what does that mean? Well, Edison pearls, let me show you an image. Has Dave taken, oh no, he's got the clip, I've got the clip here. Let me show you an image of a classic Edison pearl. That's a classic Edison pearl. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, very, very large, uh, very, very smooth. You can see what the difference is with these. These are ripple Edison pearls. So they've got that exterior, which is a little bit more, a little bit more rippled. It's almost like you can sense the water yes. flowing over the mollusk. Yes, you can I sense that movement of water, the movement of the mollusk itself in the mantle. Absolutely exquisite. And if you saw that price point there of one and a half grand for that gorgeous Edison pearl necklace, 299 is where we're at. On the strand, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 30. Now, I don't have a spare one and a half grand to spend on those Edison pearls there in that gorgeous uh, first dibs um, website. I don't, I, don't have, I don't have that money. I don't have that money to hand. 30 pearls on here. At the minute, they are 10 pounds per pearl. Oh. And we're nowhere near done. Sarah, Janice, Jenny, Maker, Maker in Swansea, absolutely fantastic. Nowhere near done. Can I pop them up to the neckline, Brucey? Would that be okay? These. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> Oh, look at the, I can't even describe the colours. They're so amazing. Oh I don't even know how to describe them. Oh, I love those. metallic -y bronze. Do you know what I bought? I bought myself the other day um, some makeup, some highlighter. It's like that kind of highlighter which you use to kind of highlight whether yes. it's your brow bone or your cheekbones, whatever it might be. It's like a makeup mica highlighter colour, like a, yes. a glowing, I, I don't, there, there, there are no words. No. There are no words. 299, not your price, taking the price down. These are gonna sell out. These are gonna absolutely fly. Ready? Here we go. This is crazy. 
149 pounds. Oh, yes, please. Now, this is a classic case, Deb, of, of what you've said so many times. Jewelry maker giving you the chance to buy, to make jewelry you couldn't afford to buy elsewhere. These are available on your split payments today of 37.25. That is absolutely incredible price. I mean, I don't even, I'm not even going to ask what that makes each. Pearl. Yeah, per pearl, what is that? Five oh. pounds a pearl. Mm. Five pounds a pearl. That's incredible. You take two, okay, you make a pearl necklace there knot it do whatever you want with it knot it i would take two pearls there so <gasps> that oh, oh baba take two pearls there guys they are beautiful those two pearls there they're a tenner make those into a pair of earrings you can sell that for the price point of the whole strand yes you could jenny she's got hers mine arrived and they're beautiful they are darling Gorgeous. Right, Aquamarine. Right, can we do these threader earrings, please? Because I'm absolutely desperate to get a pair of these. I don't know what price point they're going to be. I am absolutely desperate to get a pair of them, though. Are we doing the gold? No, we're doing the stone and silver ones first. Right, Deb, your eyes lit up when I showed <laughs> you these. Well, just because they're beautiful. And, you know, I don't only like making jewellery. I love jewellery. Yeah. And these are just... No, I, I'm not going to say simple. They're not complicated. They're elegant. They're very similar to ones that I've seen on designers' websites. So, your beautiful. Post, your post goes through your ear piercing. The yep. chain goes all the way through your ear piercing, and then they'll kind of sit like that if you want. Oh, bump. Like that if you want. And that Look is a that. gorgeous bezel set aquamarine in the bottom of that chain. And you can make those as long or short as you want, which Absolutely. I really like. Absolutely. Now, I didn't fancy these sorts of earrings. I kind of put me off the idea of putting them through my ear hole. But when I did um, do it, I was like, oh, what was I worrying about? Yeah, it's not, it's not uncomfortable no, at all. No, they're comfortable. I know what they? you mean. It's that kind of like, oh, is it going to make my teeth I just thought I don't like the idea of no, that. No, no, but, but it's absolutely fine. You, you, you don't even feel it. You don't even know you're doing I've it. I've got quite a few pairs now. But oh, I they're think, gorgeous. Mm. They're stunning. I love them. Um, not your price. Okay, these could be Monica Veneda. Yeah, they could, couldn't they? They really could. You know it, and I know. They could absolutely be that high-end, high-street kind of uh, uh, boutique. You know, absolutely twenty-nine ninety-nine. Aquamarine next month's birthday as well. That's why we're bringing them to you. Next Friday is uh, March the first. I know it's crazy. Uh, these are now the only earrings my mum can manage. Uh, so I buy loads from you, lovely lot. Oh, Miss Janet, that's so sweet of you. Bless you, darling. Yeah, they are. They are so easy to put on. And also, if you're the kind of, I mean, I wear studs um, and occasionally when I lie on them, uh, if I'm having a, a nana nap during the day or, or, or when I go to bed, <laughs> they'll, they'll jab into the side of my head and they're really, they're hurts, really, really yeah. sore. These are so unbelievably comfortable. They're gorgeous. Uh, I've got mine uh, in my hand now, delivered this morning. They're absolutely beautiful, says Samantha. Oh, how lovely, Samantha. That makes me so happy. 15 quid. 15 pounds. That'll do. That is incredible. How many do we have, Neri? We've got... No, 150. Take them. Go, 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 go. I can't quite believe that. 14.99. That is absolutely amazing. I can't believe that. That is absolutely incredible. I can't believe it. Well done. 30. Oh my gosh, we're not done. Oh my gosh. Right, get them now. Get them now. Okay. Any of your friends' birthdays coming up next month? March next month, it's their birthday, okay? Are you meeting them for a coffee? Are you meeting them for a, for a catch-up? Whatever it might be. How much does coffee and a cake cost? You Less know, two coffees and a couple of cakes, yeah. you know, whatever. Less than taking them flowers. Precisely. <laughs> and, and the flowers, I mean, literally, I, I just kill flowers. The minute I look at them, I just kill them. Um, but, you know, uh, these are going to go down to the price point. I wear thread rings, wouldn't wear anything else. Oh, Debbie, how lovely. I'm so pleased that you like them so much. All the way down. Ready? This is ridiculous. A tenner. That is beautiful. A tenner. Bruce bought what? What did he buy yesterday? A coffee, a hot chocolate, and two cakes, and it cost 15 quid. Get them a pair of threader earrings with aquamarine on, and you're saving yourself money. And I tell you what, your friend's going to be thinking, oh my gosh, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. 
very good for the present draw. Very good. You know, and you think, oh, I forgot about so-and-so, or I'm no, going to dinner exactly. with so-and-so, and I'll give this to their new partner, or their, do you know what I mean? Ten like when you need pounds. a present, it's amazing. 10 so pounds, good. 10 pounds. I wouldn't expect to get like a little puny strand of chips and nuggets. <laughs> The sterling silver earrings with gem quality aquamarine in for a tenner. Love, love. Janet's got two, Sharon's got four, Debbie's got two. Well done, they're absolutely flying. Well done, go, 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 go. Absolutely amazing. Go, you could go, go, put go, those go, go. Well straight done. on your stall, your jewellery stall. Yeah, absolutely. For 29 Defo. Go. Oh, in silver. Yep, here we go. Pendant in silver. Here we go, go, go. Oh, wow, look at that, gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the size of that aquamarine. A carrot of aquamarine, swooshy. Look at that beautiful swooshing bale. Isn't that gorgeous? Good amount of silver in there. Yeah, huge mm -hmm. amount of silver in there. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, really, really lovely. Here we go, my lovelies. Look at the clarity on that. You can you can understand, can't you, why this incredible gemstone was, you know, the gemstone used in uh, in engagement rings before the big diamond deposits oh, yes. were discovered in um, in uh, Africa. That clarity, that gorgeous, gorgeous, bright inner brilliance, that gorgeous colour, it's just stunning, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Ab absolutely gorgeous. Twenty nine ninety nine. That would work beautifully as an earring as well as a pendant, yes. wouldn't it? Beautiful. Twenty-nine .99. Absolutely terrific. Really, genuinely amazing. 30 second clock, we're gonna go lower, baby. How much? What? Seriously, can we do that? No. See, I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Here we go, my lovelies. Oh no. Oh, is that how much it is? Neri's found one online. It looks very suspicious, that aquamarine. That has been photoshopped. Aquamarine's not even that colour. What is it? 50 quid. Aquamarine dew pendant. It's in stock. <laughs> Show it, Bruce. Show it. Expose it. That has been photoshopped. Aquamarine doesn't look like that, unless it's been dyed or maybe filled to. I, I don't know. I, a funny colour. Right, there we go. Uh, 29.99 is not your deal, is it, Neary? No, here we go. All the way down. Let's go. Ah. Uh, £12.99. There you go. Oh, I can do that too, lady. <laughs> I can do that. I can model it with my hand. It's my hand. You need to get the hand in, you need to get the hand in shot as well. There we go. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I can play her in her own game. There she goes. And mine's a better deal, 12.99. There you go, 12.99. Yeah, see, look, you're all coming through now. There we go. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous 925 sterling silver pendant. Uh, loads of multi bidders coming through. Great to see, well done. I dread to think what I'm gonna spend when I go for a boozy lunch with my friends today, says Lisa. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> Honestly, one glass of wine. I'm like, I'll get this. Yeah. I'll get lunch for everyone. What are we doing? Connector. Oh, booty lunch. That sounds like fun. A liquid lunch. Ooh. Liquid lunch with a bowl of olives. But then I have to go to sleep in the afternoon because I can't cope anymore if so I again. drink at lunchtime. Oh, gosh. I have what, to have a nana nap afterwards. When, yeah, when the hangover kicks in about seven o'clock. Yeah. It's just, oh, it's not worth it, is it? There you go. Gorgeous connector with your aquamarine. There's your, um, there's your uh, uh, connector loops on either side. Isn't that gorgeous? One of those Edison pearls at the bottom of that. Ooh. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh. Look at it. Bruce is recounting, uh, recounting past stories of, I'm just popping out for one. <laughs> <laughs> and what time did you get in? Caught the last train home. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> Were you one of those people, last train home, you got your face in a Burger King, like, uh, 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 
<laughs> that kind of, yeah, face in a pasty, you know, you, you know the look. Gorgeous, this connector is so beautiful. Now, you, you are gonna be able to multi-buy this today. I'm gonna to guarantee that. We, go on, go on, Neri, go on, go on. Lowest should be this price point. Lowest should be 19.99. But Bruce, come on. I know you got your 30 second clock in there somewhere. I know you got it. Go and find it. Come on. There it is. Nicolette, Amy, Maker and Five, Maker and Kent Bottom to you as well. Lots and lots and lots of you coming through. Well done. Such a lovely, such a lovely connector, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful quality. We're going to go low. 15 seconds. Let's go. Well done, everyone. Under £20 already. Absolutely phenomenal. Jenny, well done to you, my lovely, in, in uh, Suffolk. Nicolette's bought three. You could connect a load of these together with jump rings and make a gorgeous bracelet, couldn't you? That's a very good idea. Yeah. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. That would be nice in a ring, actually, as well. Just there. Just like that. Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. It's a go, 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 go. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, my gosh. Enjoy. Well done. Just incredible. There you go, everyone. Nice <gasps> on um, a stretchy ring with a little sterling silver spacer bead. Yes. See, that's a lovely idea. Or a slider bracelet in the middle. Of the oh, slider. perfect. Yeah, definitely. There you go. Twelve ninety nine. Add a tassel of microfaceted white topaz or clear quartz. Sparkle tastic, says Ms. Janet. Yes. Sparkle tastic. Sparkle tastic. We have got 20 minutes until. Mm, 20 minutes at the very most. We may be starting it slightly early. Sand casting. Grrr. Amazing, can't wait. <laughs> Goldie, Goldie, Goldie. My favourite. Gold pendant. This is where the aquamarine really starts to pop. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love Deb, that. Deb, that looks amazing. That looks very, very, very expensive. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it in gold. What is that about? It's exactly the same as the silver one, but because it's gold plated silver, it just adds, it just changes the look monumentally, it doesn't really it? It really does. That is incredible. Encreable. Here we go, same deals. As low as we can possibly go. Can I just, where has today gone? I know. What's happened today? Feels like it's about half past eight. It's 20 to 12. Have I been talking all that time? Oh gosh, have I been absolute drivel? No. It's a load of old rubbish today, rambling on. No. Oh, Michael's nodding. Oh, no. <laughs> if I embarrass myself again. No. Oh, gosh, no, 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 the anxiety. 14.99, let's go. Well done. Do you know what? I really like this kind of, this ace, this kind of, Zhuzhi bale. Me too. Do you know what I mean? It kind yeah. of over the right shoulder and down on the left shoulder. Oh, do you know what it is? What Jenny oh, Cleary on. we used to say bougie. Bougie. Didn't she? When she, she meant did. posh. Yeah, dead posh. That's a Clearyism, that is. Dead posh. Posh. Bougie. Bougie. Well done, everybody. A 1490. But you haven't <laughs> said that for a while, Neri, have you? Look at him in there. Look at him in there. 1490. He's looking forward to his stuffed crust pizza, aren't you, mate? Hmm? Yeah. Soft crust margarita pizza. Well done. 14.99, everybody. Go, 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 go. Well done. Let's move on to connector or the earrings. Oh, connector, connector. <laughs> He's going to be incensed if it's not a soft crust. Have you ever had a soft crust pizza? Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Cheese. I mean, you can never have enough cheese as no. far as I'm concerned. No. Just give me all the cheese. All the cheese. Five, Kent, well done. Now look again, that but that that mm. is popping, that mm. aquamarine, isn't it? Yeah, 18 karat gold plated. This isn't like gold paint or gold foil or gold pen. This is absolutely 18 karat yellow gold plated silver. Look at that gentle blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Do you know what you could mm. I, I really want that in a ring. I think that would make a gorgeous yeah. ring. Yeah. And the nice thing about that, um, the beautiful thing about that, Deb, is that could have been made in uh, Edwardian or Elizabethan England, couldn't it? Yeah, it's pretty um, timeless. Isn't it's it? so timeless. Because I can see a bit of Art Deco in there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Well done, fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> London Sandra, it's not made from sand, Neary. You've got to get over it. Trisha Maker, <laughs> Fife Kent, Nicolette, well done to you. <laughs> Okay, the jewellery is not made from sand. You're not going to be disappointed when it's not made of sand, are you? Are you going to be disappointed when you find out that it's not made from sand? Okay, fine, okay, that's good. Because oh, like he might just leave us and go and get his pizza. Yeah, it's like, talk, it's like talking to children, isn't it? Right, here we go. <laughs> These are my favourites. You shouldn't have favourites like you shouldn't have a favourite child. I don't. Right. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Oh, I, I do have a favourite. I have a. I, 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 I know favorite, what you're going to say. A favourite. Uh, a favourite ring on my hob. Oh yeah, everyone does. Always use it. Always use the same ring. There we go. So do I. Um, aquamarine threader earrings. These are my. This is my favourite part from this. Um, fa favourite piece in this whole collection. I love these. The aquamarine pops. That chain is gold plated silver. These are designer. They, they, sorry, they are designer. They have a designer look. They really. They do. are so. If somebody told me, yeah, they're. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Blah 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 blah. I'd say really. They Absolutely. Have a, a real kind of. From a distance, you could. They look like diamonds. Well. <laughs> oh yeah, they do, don't they? They've got the same kind of clarity. Yeah. That kind of, it's so white, uh, it's almost blue. You know, and these are blue obviously, but they've got that such a brilliant brightness. Yes. They could be mistaken for diamonds. Paula, Amy, Maker in Cheshire, Debbie. Why don't you, Michelle? Why don't you, Maker in Fife as well? Oh yes, Neary, you little beauty. We've worn him down. It's gonna match the price of the silver ones. Yes. It's gorgeous, that little, that little gentle blue mm. sparkle is just so gorgeous, it's transfixing. Sandra, well done to you, my lovely Stephanie. And don't forget, it is next month's birthday, the 1st of March being next Friday. Vinita, well done to you as well, my lovely. Sandra has got two. Well done to you, back to the West Midlands. Well done. Go, 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 go. So is Debbie, your little beauties. Well done to all of you. Check out your baskets, 9.99. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Um, Check out as soon as you can, my lovelies. Maker in Fives there as well. Well done to you. Shropshire, well done to you as well. Cheshire, gorgeous. Well done. What a great deal. Now, we're going to go to a slightly earlier break because when we come back, because we, we need more than an hour to do this, we are going to be bringing you a specialism that we have bought you once. It sold out, it was last May, I think, wasn't was it? it? Yeah, it was a good, good bit of time ago, I know that. It sold out so quickly. We've tried to bring it back to air again. We weren't able to. It is now, it has been over six, seven months since we bought you this collection, since we bought you this incredible specialism the first time, it is gonna be equally as popular. This is, this is my kind of jewelry. This is Deb's kind of jewelry. And I tell you something, you are gonna, every piece is unique. Every piece is absolutely bespoke. You are gonna be amazed at what you can do with this. Sand casting coming up next. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. 
Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello, my name is Rachel Norris and I'm so excited to be with you on Saturday the 24th of February for the most amazing show. I don't even know where to begin, there's so much um, going on. So in the 9am hour, there is this amazing toolkit. It's multi-toolkit, it's got everything in it. It's got swage blocks, doming punches, um, all sorts of, um, and there's an anvil in there, all sorts of shapes and sizes and there's so much potential in this, in, in this sort of kit where you can actually, a kit of tools really, it's enormous uh, potential. So I've had fun because some things I've never used all before, so I've had fun experimenting really. And you can use it to make uh, them to make tubes like these color lilies, um, and um, you can do sort of um, folding and impressions and bee caps like this autumn leaf necklace. Um, and there's goodness knows, I've made starfish with it and. Um, also, you can do a sort of almost like a fold forming technique um, with this sort of heart necklace with this pattern like that. And so, I'll be teaching you some of the techniques in that um, part of the show. And also, there's tutorial booklets in there with them as well. So, um, and there's uh, so much, as I say, so much potential. And do you know what? <laughs> as if anything could beat the nine o'clock hour, the 12 o'clock hour is up there because there's a launch of some some brand new sort of dapping, punching tools um, and you can make some fantastic effects with them. There's a set of feather um, tools which you can actually use to make um, feathers and, and sun rays and all sorts of wonderful um, patterns. And there's line punching tools which you can use to make snowflakes and, and wonderful sort of dandelion firework explosions sort of type pieces. I really hope you can join me on Saturday 24th of February for the most fantastic uh, metalwork and tooling show. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, preparing for it and I hope you can tune in to watch. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Jewellery Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95, charges may differ outside the UK, or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewellery Maker. <laughs> it looks like I'm baking a cake, doesn't it? You're going to do some baking? And do you know what's exciting? I get to use a hammer as well. Oh, like a hammer. No. Honestly, this is... Oh, my microphone is off, sorry. I'm about to get Sorry, real gang. messy. I wasn't saying anything interesting, to be fair. Um, <laughs> listen, um, this is the most... I'm so excited about this. When we launched this, um, whenever it was, I can't even remember when it was, last year sometime, it was at my show and I was absolutely gutted because I just knew, I knew <clears throat> that this jewellery was going to be the produce of this incredible specialism. I knew this is my this is 
This is this is just the kind of jewelry I love. Where you've got this organic shape. This is beautiful, Deb. Oh, my moon man. He's double sided. He's got a face on the back as well. But I deliberately didn't refine him. Because you know, like That's when exquisite, you do exquisite Deb suggestive art, where you're, it's not, you know, you do very loose strokes. Yes, it's supposed to be like that, so you can see what you want to see in it. I could have refined him, but I, I wanted him to stay like that. So well, it's like when you look at the moon, you see the man in the moon. Mm. It's all very kind of subjective. And it's crazy. Yeah, it's exactly. And it's craters and. Um, yeah, so the great thing about this is you can do things like that. You can do shells, you can do acorns, you can do all of the things oh, that, you know, gosh. a pebble, maybe your child picked up a pebble from the beach or a shell and you want to kind of keep that. Um, you can do all of those sorts of things. Uh, because we had an interest in actually casting stones in place. Now, that, the stones in the band itself are cast in place. And then I've set, um, I think that's a lapis, I've, I've set that on top. So you Gosh. can use it as the bases it's or you can so use beautiful. it as the whole piece. Like the other rings are all just cast in one go. But, the, but, the, but what I love is it, it looks like the gems are emerging, like they're erupting, like they're, it, it, it's, the, it's the, <clears throat> the organic nature of the silver as well. The creasing, mm. the, the, the shape, it, it's just, it, it's just, it, it's art, it's art. And sometimes your gemstones will go sideways. Like if I can get, I'm gonna get this ring, I'm gonna put it on my finger and if I don't know if we can get it on the overhead. Um, here, and get, if we can get as close as possible. Here we go, in he so comes. So I've got to, thank you. I've got a, oh, <laughs> gone the wrong way. Um, you can see that I've got a gemstone and it's kind of hidden in there. So I could uncover that more if I wanted to. Yeah. One went sideways and then one, so this ring you can wear whichever way you want. One sort of sat as you'd oh, think about. Oh, wow. About oh gosh, it. that's amazing. So can you see oh, how Deb, the that's silver just gorgeous. has just kind of- It hugs it. Hugs it. And then if I can show you better on this camera and then if you move it around, can you see you've got these, <gasps> now you can further <gasps> refine. So oh, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And there's another one that's gone sideways. Look at it. Oh, oh gosh, it, 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 it is so cool. So what I've done is I've taken a video in my um, studio. I got my husband to stand over my shoulder, so it's as if I'm doing it. What I'm gonna do is show you how to fill the flasks, which is as important as the casting itself. If we get time, we will start to heat metal and then we'll refer to the video um, for the last part where it becomes molten because depending on the size of your crucible, how much silver you put in it, you can be standing there for 10 minutes just with your flame on. And obviously we don't have that time. Wow. So what I've done is I've speeded it to the end of the process because last time we were on a lot of people said, we didn't see it go molten. Well, you will on the video, which I'll show you at the end, if that's all right. Brilliant, yeah, okay. So what are we, are you gonna bring anything or am I gonna start demoing? Should we just, should we do, should we demo it? I can't wait to see this. This is, it's all on pre-order, so get it ahead of time, please do. Right, so you're gonna get and it, these took me ages you've got 16 steps and it's a basically how to tips on sand casting yeah lovely. now you have to prepare your crucible before you start okay sand casting and if you go on jm guest designer debbie kershaw i wrote a really in-depth um, piece on how you do that and it's also in here you basically Brilliant. just you can't use a crucible Where's this mine? is your crucible which it really will look go. like that once you've used it. <laughs> um, you can't use a crucible without putting some flux in there. Can you see that you get this kind of, it's almost like a varnish there. Yeah. What that does, what it is seals that? the crucible so that when I put my metal in there, it's not gonna stick to it. So you have to do that before you start. And I've written how to do that in your instructions. You basically heat it up till it goes Powder like a varnish. Flux. You swirl it around until it covers all of that and then you let it okay, cool. Okay, yeah. Now you usually only need to do that once. I mean, after six months, you might need to do it again, but it's not something that you do every time, okay? So yep. you don't wanna spend too much time on that. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to um, fill the uh, flask. Flask. Now, this, I had loads of messages last time going, it isn't sand, that isn't sand, that isn't what I thought it was. This is Delft clay. Delft clay is a refined form of sand casting. And what people say about Delft clay, is that you can get a more precise impression because it's clay. When you get it out, it's gonna be sticky. 
and it's going to be messy. Now I've actually got a wipe in here with um, water on it to keep it moist. If you don't keep it moist, it will dry up and you won't be able to use it again. Now you can use this again and again. You just need to scrape off any black bits after firing. And I've written all that in the instructions. Yeah. So you've got a female and a male side of your flask. And this yeah. is what we're going to actually take our impression with. So usually I start with the female side yeah. and I'm going to start to fill this oh. up. Now it's gooey. So all of the things that you thought you've seen online with sand, they don't apply to this because it's clay. So what I'm going to do is get this and pack it in by hand. Is now, this a big flask? This is a is large it a small one. one. It's okay. a large one. So what's great about this one, where you can get the little circular round ones, is if you wanted to make bangles or pendants or anything ah. big, or you know, you can do that. How tight are you packing that in there? Do you have to pack it in really, really tight? Really tight. So what it tends to do is stick to everything. And what stops it sticking to everything is talc. Bit of talc. Bit of talc. So I'm just gonna it really is like doing cookies, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, first of all, I start by just putting it in by hand. So, I'm putting that quite tightly. And you also want to, okay, take a breath, Deb. We've got time. Yeah, of course <laughs> we do. Yeah. I'm going, <laughs> okay, there we are. So, I'm going to. <laughs> Two minutes, wrap it up, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I think I had 20 minutes to get through the whole lot and Alice and Terry messaged me afterwards and went, you did that like a champ. Yeah. <laughs> I was having a nervous breakdown. You've got loads of time. I darling. tell you what's also really great for it's doing this. all on pre-order by the way everyone. Is a spoon. So a spoon will push it down really well. Oh wow. And then oh. as you start to get to the top, you have to fill. You have to fill it completely. Really completely. So, and then I'm going to hammer it. That's what the hammer's for in a moment. Ah. So I start by taking this side of the hammer, and I start really, really pressing compressing that in. it. So you really want to compress in. Now you don't have to worry too much. If you're going to cast a ring up here, you don't have to worry too much about this being all smooth because you're not going to use it. Yeah. Um, but you need to make sure that the part that you're going to use for casting is solid. So once you get to the top, I hammer that down and I can see that I can still put a bit more on there. Now you need to take time to do this. This isn't something that you want to rush because if you get this bit right, it goes really far towards getting the whole bit right. If you've done casting before and you've got any questions to ask me that you want to um, message in, I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't answer them live, I'll, uh, I'll answer them later on my mm. page. Yeah, any questions, please do um, <clears throat> let us know. So you're, never, you're wow. not going to want any of this clay over the top so yep. this is where you need a metal ruler oh that's satisfying <gasps> skimmy skimmy away and just take that across the top slicey oh, slicey that's really that's satisfying <laughs> and then what you'll be left with is a bit of a mess so you need to clean that up so you can either use your fingers spoon. or the back of a spoon so this is a a spoon technique that I've developed over years of being very clever. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take it. I mean, you can wear gloves if you don't want to um, be touching the clay, but I'm a bit of a one who likes to get my hands into these things or I don't feel like I'm doing it properly. And I'm going to just press this in. So I'm making sure that I've got quite a smooth finish at the top because this is where I'm going to cast. So let's say we'll do a ring today. There is no point putting your ring down here so that the metal has to go, you're going to pull the metal in there, has to go all the way down here. You might as well put it up near the top because this oh, is a large, see. do you see what I mean? So I'm going to pull the metal in there and gravity oh. will take it. So what I'm going to do this is so exciting because none of us actually know what, what, what I'm how this do. is going to be. <laughs> this is so cool. Go on. So I want to make sure 
that this is all... Gosh, that is a big flask in that case, it isn't is. it? So, it you know, really is. It, when you think... So what I'm going to do, and this is the <laughs> blank that I used to cast all three of those rings that you saw. Now, it looks nothing like this because it hasn't filled the whole of the mould. It's right. left and it's taken on the um, clay. So what I do is I don't, I don't kind of make sure that every layer is completely flat because I want to see that clay in my designs. Right. All right. So what I'm going to do is take some um, talc. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to cover that in talc. Now you well, don't to want stop it sticking. To stop it sticking. You don't want the talc to be too much. If you've got an acorn, say, or a shell, don't let the talc fill up the little grooves because that's what will cause your um, texture. And then I'm going to just turn it to face me, so yeah. I've got a bit of a a better idea of where I'm going to going to pop it. Now I need this to be nice and smooth and I will mm. smooth that out later because mm. that's like your pouring area. So I'm going to take this ring that I'm going to cast and I'm going to put it quite near the top so that the, okay, if I don't know if we can get that on the overhead, thank you, so that the metal doesn't have far to go down. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to pop that down into the clay about halfway. So let me just get about halfway. Now you can always put that back in again if you're not happy. So that's in halfway. And then I'm going to cover the whole thing in talc. I'm going to make a right mess today at JM. This is great. And I'm going to cover the whole thing in talc. All yeah, right. okay. And I have written all of these instructions down for you, everything that I'm doing. Now I take the other side of my and do flask. the same again. I'm going to pop it on. Oh that's my, my gosh, male that's side. So cool. And I'm going to take my clay here. Now, what I like to do, especially with clay, with sand, you don't have this problem, is the part that I put directly over the top of the ring, I sort of make sure I haven't got any cracks in. But we, yeah. can, we can sort that out later. So I'm going to now start in exactly the same. And are you just lightly pushing that on, or are you giving it a good old? No, because I'll hammer that in a minute. OK, brilliant. I'm going to go for it. So I'm filling this, and I am going to do it exactly the same way as I did before. And again, you know, you want to make sure you've got clay in all the corners. The great thing about the clay as opposed to the sand is it's very malleable, and you can really uh -huh. mould it to where you want it to be. So. We're going to pop it there, and then I think I can hammer that now. Uh -huh. So I'm going to hammer that down so that it's. Make sure that your flask isn't opening; that you know your flask is is flat down. So we're going to. Once I've really compacted that, and I'm concentrating on the top part especially because this is the part that the ring's underneath. Uh huh. And I think I've still got a bit of room to compact that down even more so I'm going to just pop my remainder of clay out gorgeous and I'm going to do that again and just press that in there and then you just it's, this one's not as important but just to make uh -huh. sure and take that off now you can reuse all of this clay, so don't throw yeah, it away. Yeah, this is um, just the right amount. It's been it's been measured out perfectly, hasn't it? So I'm going to pop some talc on the back just so it doesn't stick to my surface for demo purposes. And then we're going to open it up and see what we've got. We can refine it first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. So you saw that when I put the first piece of clay on the top, I flattened it out yeah. because this is what you get otherwise. Yes. So um, that's that's okay. What I need, I'm just going to turn that around, that bit of clay that I took out, I'm going to put here as my funnel. Okay. 
So you can get all sorts of tools that you've already got around your house to smooth these out. But I did find that a spoon is the best. Is the best on the side of a paintbrush. Now you're at the point now, and I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. Loads of people with messages and questions. Okay. Lots of people loving yeah, this. Yeah, go on. D let's do it before I get fire in my hand. Yeah. Can you melt scrap silver? Yeah. Can you reuse the clay? You can reuse the clay, but you can't use the burnt bits. So once you fire and pour your metal in and open it, you'll and take everything out, you'll have like little black bits of clay that have got a bit burnt. So you just take those out of the spoon, chuck them away, um, and keep this. Now, you must keep this completely airtight in cling film. And I tend to get um, a baby wipe, soak it in water. Don't use kitchen towel or something because it goes in the clay put it in, then wrap it, and then wrap it again. Can you use just one side of the cast to make an open one-off mould, or does it always have to be closed up? No, it has to be closed up. Mm -hmm. yeah, because and you'll see why in a minute, because you pour the metal into it. You're dealing with it. molten metal, oh! so. Yeah, it's not like silver clay where. Okay. Right, what's next? Okay, so, just let me. No, we we've just we've answered, we've answered that, that Neri. <laughs> Keep up, It's like Neary. you're asleep in there, hey? Mm. Right, so I'm going to take. Uh, where is it? Okay, so I use. Um, it's just an old file. Can I put more ring bases in no. the clay to fill it up? Uh, no, because it will only pour to one place. Yeah. Again, you'll see why in a minute. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. So I need to make a spout for my metal to travel down. And the easiest way to do this and not disturb your mould is to take something similar to this. This is an old file um, or a metal rod or anything and just do that so that you've actually got somewhere for your metal to come out. Now this also makes it easier to take your ring out. Now take a moment to do this because there you go. Now, if oh, you're well not done. happy with that, you can put it back in and press That's it down a bit. That's the great thing. You can, re, you can re, retake that impression. So I'm going to actually do that on the other side because I want it to be a little bit deeper. A super. Okay. So super ring. And then I'm going to do the same again on this side. Now, I would usually <laughs> make sure that that was spotless, but for demo purposes. So make sure, this is so important, you don't have any gaps down the side for that metal to go anywhere else but down the chute. I'm gonna do the same here. So I'm going to take that and gently lift that out. Now, if you're happy with your mold the first time, you don't have to put the ring back in. Now, I'm just now going to now this is actually um, a painting, you know, you put the, um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Lux. No, you put the, uh, the stuff on in watercolour to stop it touching the paper. Oh, okay. But anyway, it's rubber on the end. So you can use a paintbrush. <laughs> and you can just put that in. Now you can also dip that in water and it will make the clay a bit more malleable and then we have to make even more of a funnel so you can either put your thumb in and pull that away or you can use your spoon and just start to it's difficult doing it on this tray and just start to make a wider spout like that can you see so yeah I've made yep yeah. and then I need to do the same on this side as well so I'm going to just cut out a spout here. I've got a question for later on. Okay, darling. Keep that in my mind. Okay. You can ask me now. How do you know? How do you know how much silver to melt? Yeah, there's a few different ways of, of doing that. So if you are, say I wanted to... Um, oh, do you weigh it? Yeah, weigh it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, do you weigh it? Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. But you know, maybe you don't want, like I did, I don't want 
this to fill out completely. No, but that's I, the beauty I, yes, of it. Yes, I want crabs. So some of it might go down the air holes. I'll show you the air holes oh, in a minute. So cool. um, you know, so you never know what you're going to get. You know, when you open that flask, you might only have half a ring. It might end up looking like that. Yeah, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Super you know, cool. But you could put that back in and then fill it again and it'll that's, fill up the that's other That's exactly half. it, yeah. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the sprue later, which it, and I just want to show you in context that that is the sprue. There you go. So, sprue. Sprue. So, where you cast, there's always some silver left over where, where it went in the funnel shape. And that is what I mean by the sprue. Can you see? And you can reuse that silver. And what you do is you saw that off afterwards mm -hmm. and then you can reuse it. You can go back in the pot. Okay. Gorgeous, right. So we're doing this. Now we need to make some air holes so that the heat can escape. Uh -huh. And we only need to do that in one of the sides. Does it matter which side? Mm, not really. I always do it on uh, the, the female. female side. The female side. So I take, if you're going to set stones in here, and we'll, we'll <laughs> put some stones in. Think about where you're going to put the stones. If you're going to put a stone there, don't make the air hole there. So say I was going to put three stones in there, I'll make the air hole sort of around them, not right in front of them. Yeah. So I'm going to put one there. Oh. I'm not going right the way through, it's just a channel. One there. One there. Oh gosh, they're quite big. One there. And then you want to take something that you can push right the way through. So I'm going to turn it on its side. And I'm going to push this right the way through. Now, the reason that I'm pushing it right the way through and out the other side is because if you push it in and pull it out again, the same direction, quite often it closes up the hole. You need to make sure that you've got those holes at the end. And what this is doing is making sure that the steam or the heat, whatever you want to call it, can escape. And I'm just going to lift this up and I'm actually going to look through it to make sure that I can oh, see daylight. Very cool. And then once again, I'm just going to make sure that I didn't close because the and do that one again. Do that one again. And do that one again. Okay? So does that make sense so yes. far? Gorgeous. Then you want to have a look. Make sure that you're happy with your clay, that everything's as it should be. This is where you make any refinements. And then let's add some gemstones, shall yes. we? Yes. So. Now there will be certain gems you can use, certain gems which there. you just can't use. Okay, so. It's in step two. I yes, think. I've got it here. Yeah. Not all stones can be used for the casting in place uh, casting. Stones generally to use are diamonds, sapphires, rubies, garnet, synthetic stones such as cubiciconia. Perfect. Now, as I've said in there, if there's any, it depends on the stone. Sometimes a stone will turn white. Sometimes a stone will shatter. Uh, if it's your favourite grandma's diamond and you're in any doubt, don't do it. Don't do it, yeah. Don't do it. Um, but for what we charge for our gemstones, exactly. you can have a good old play. So what I've got here is garnets. And you're going to need something to um, sort of stick those to the walls. Now, I've got badger balm, but petroleum jelly badger. works just as well. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that and just put it. This is how I do it. You'll find your neck. I'm going to put a bit of that on my hand. Well, you might be wearing gloves. It's completely up to you. And then I've got someone here. It's sticky. So I'm going to grab a gemstone. And then the front of it, I'm going to put on that little bit on my hand there so that it covers it. And you can either use that um, pokey tool to pick up your gemstone or you can do it with the tweezers. And then you just want to pop it into the mould. Like now, I don't know how close we can get on there. Oh, I can see, yeah. So you don't want that gemstone to be taking up the whole yeah, is that better? And there I can't go. go any further than that because there's stuff there. You don't want your gemstone to be taking up the whole... You don't want your gemstone to be taking up the whole of the channel. Yeah. Because you want there to be room for your silver to flow around. So the best thing to do... Okay. ...is to take that and push it into the wall of the gemstone. I'm still not happy with that. I'm going to push it in a bit further. I need to be taller. I can't see. 
There we go. So, so I'm, you're pushing it away from the centre. I'm center. pushing it into the clay, yeah. so that, but I can still see the bottom of the stone poking out. Now, if you want the stone to sit equally in the centre of your ring, because you've got to think this is half of it and this is half of it, then you want it to be sitting up about halfway. Right. If you want a really organic, I don't care, let's see what happens, then you can just pop them everywhere. <laughs> And I've been out because you'll lose some, some will get buried, which you can uncover afterwards. I'm going to put one in this mould as well and push that in. Let's get another one. We're probably not going to pour metal into here, but if I do it at home, I'll show you what, what it ends up oh, as. Amazing. I'd love to see okay. that. And then, so I don't want, the reason I said I don't want the stone right there is because it would block that air then. Can you see? Yeah. So again, I'm not too happy with that because I think it's blocking my chance sorry I might get my head in the way um, but then I'll move and show you and I'm gonna push that in well done, and Dave. I've also got that sticking up about halfway yeah yeah so we've got it we've got everything um, that we want into how are we doing for time right good You're we've got well. everything we want um, to set into our molds yeah and then i always just bob a little bit more talc on the bottom away from the casting uh, just to help it to not stick together now i need to have a look just once more at these funnels and i can refine it once um, i put the the flask together okay so i need to make sure that this is as smooth as it can possibly be because my metal is going to flow down here. Once I'm completely happy, I'm going to put my flask Gorgeous. together. Now, I want to look down at the top and I don't know if we can come in on that anymore, Bruce. Thank you. Move to the right a little bit, darling. Got it. Now you can see there that there's a hole in the middle where the, the um, silver can go yeah. and there's no holes down the side here or cracks anywhere because we don't want that silver escaping anywhere. Now sometimes this will um, open a little bit during yeah. casting, we don't want that. So you can either use wire, binding wire, or this the outside of it doesn't get hot. So I've actually got a bit of washi tape here that I use because I find it easy to get on and off and I'm just going to take I tell you what works really well duct tape mm. um, and just make sure and I'll put that down so you can see that I've got that taped up and then I'm always making sure before I cast anything that that's ready to go right so that's ready to go and we'll move on to the next bit if you've got anything to bring while I set up or do you just want me to carry on ah uh, what do you reckon Neri Deb's asking if we want to bring anything to air now or whether we should just get her to set up. No, no, I can't do the video yet. That's the very last bit. Let's go. For, let's go for what? Just go the for The demo. It. Keep going with the demo. Yeah, okay. cool. Right. Now, I'm going to be adding um, powder flux and powder flux cleans the metal, helps with the casting process. I have done it without powder flux before, and I think with Argentium as well, you don't necessarily need to, need to add that. If you're adding flux, you do not, not, not want to breathe this in under any circumstances, so you need a ventilator mask. No, I'm not gonna use it, I'm not gonna use it. This is one of the, re this is one of the reasons I did the video. So I'm not going to put flux in here, but you'll see in the video that I add flux. So when I say I'm adding flux, this is so that you know. And I want you to know that in the video, I've got this on. I look like Darth Vader. You don't want to be, you don't want to be breathing any of that in. Okey also, dokey. I've put all the health and safety in the instructions. You want yeah, your you hair have. tied back. You don't want any sleeves. You don't want any curtains. You want a well-ventilated room. Don't do this if you've never picked up a flame before. You really need to understand about um, a flame. Now, usually, I would encase this in my fire bricks, and I'm not. I'm not actually going to do that now because you won't be able to see me. But I get a couple of fire bricks, and I kind of put them around so that it kind of keeps that heat in. But you don't have to do that. If you don't have the fire bricks, it doesn't matter at all. Now, I'm going to get my casting grain and my glasses. 
Now this is 10 grams and this is a 925 and that's what 10 grams of casting grain looks like and it's quite a lot if you think about um, that tassel we had earlier yeah I think did you say that was eight grams of silver yeah so that whole tassel was eight grams of silver and you've got two more grams than that in here whoa so that will give you now I'm only going to pour a little bit in here because I want to try and melt it quicker for you okay mm -hmm. so yes okay so you're going to put the crucible on go on then come on let's put the crucible on <laughs> He's putting the cubicle on. Oh, oh it's heavy. Ooh. Thank you, darling. Here we go. This is made of like fire brick material, isn't it? No, I'm going to light my crucible. torch in the background because I want it to get hot. Go, so. go, go. Crucible on air. All of this is available on pre order, just so you're aware. <sighs> Here we go, my lovely. Let's get the let's get the price point all the way down for you. Here we go. So this is for your crucible. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. How much use will you get out of this, Deb? The crucible. Oh, I've never had to replace mine. There you go. Perfect. Right. So you've put your grain in. You're in a well ventilated room. Oh, insulated there room. you are. <laughs> Good, Michael, isn't it? Michael, ace camera work. Nice job. There you go. Twelve ninety nine. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through and getting involved. So you'll be staying there for how long? Depends how much you've got. I'm turning it right up now. It depends um, how much silver you've got in there. I've stood there for ten minutes before on some things. Um, yeah. I've put two torches on it before to make it. I'm going to turn it right up now. I just want to move to the side a little bit, Carol. <laughs> and what you'll see, which I've done a video on this, which you will see in a moment. Don't be in a hurry. This is not something to hurry. I'm actually putting the hottest part of my flame yeah. onto my metal. Now, you will see that I know this isn't anywhere near because my flux hasn't melted yet. My flux is already in there and it will start to kind of go transparent. Oh, I can see it is starting to change, now, isn't it? Now, if you have a look, you'll see that it starts to go shiny on the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. And I have got my flame really close. I've got the hottest part of my flame. And to start off with, I'm just going to heat up my crucible. Now, if you do multiple castings, you'll find that the second and third ones are much quicker because your quicker, crucible's hot. Because it's hot, yeah. I, I can't hear what I'm nearly saying if it's to me. What, what? Oh, the handle. Oh, that's the, um, that's this. This is the Scorifier handle. This is the handle, which, which we're going to be bringing to air in a minute, just so you're aware. Now, you will keep heating that. I'm going to turn this off because I'm shouting and there we go. Right. So you will keep, <laughs> you'll keep heating that. Mm. Cue video. When you're ready with the video, this is what happens next. So this is in my studio and I'm talking to you while I'm doing it. And this is what happens next when you've had the flame on it for a long time. Here we go. Okay, here it goes. You can see it's starting to get shiny on the top. I've got quite a lot in there. So I'm just going to give it a little tap, you can see that it's starting to become molten, looks a bit like liquid terminator, that's how I like to describe it. Now I have got some grains that are still in the corner that I can see, so I want to melt those and add them to the main ball of metal. Now this isn't something that you rush, I'm just going to add a little pinch of flux in there, helps to clean up the liquid. Now what you're looking for is a rolling mixture, you'll see it start to roll. Keep giving it a little tap. So I'm moving it ever closer to the edge where I'm going to pour it. I don't know if you can see now that it's, it's 
molten, but it's not really rolling. Now it's rolling now. Can you see it rolling, rolling? So it looks ready to me, but I'm going to keep it on there for longer. And this is where you need to start to move it across the side where you're going to pour. And just dump it in. And oh my gosh, that's really alchemy. That's that incredible, Deb. Made. Uh, Was it the one I'm wearing? No. This one. That made this ring. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. And I was very happy with that Love pour. It. So all I did was I went in afterwards um, and just sanded down any um, edges that I didn't like that were a little bit maybe rough. And then I polished it with my polishing mops. Now you can completely, like maybe you think, oh actually I want a, um, an indentation on the other side. You know, you can get your rotary tool and you completely work with that. Uh, that can be sort of your, your base. Now I want to show you these because this is what- How it long do you leave it in there for? How long do you leave? The molten, the molten silver. Uh, well, I say on the video and I say in the instructions, always leave it a good 20 to 30 seconds longer than you think you Oh, so we're not it. talking hours or anything? No, no. Basically, most castings fail because people, as you saw in the video, get a lovely molten lump in the middle and then they just try and pour it from the middle. You saw me, I think I said on the video, that I was moving the molten metal to the side while I was heating all of the areas that it was gonna touch. Yeah. And I brought it, so I can show you this live in the studio without any fire or anything. Make sure, and I say this in the instructions, that you've got your flask as close to what you're melting your metal as possible. So I'm still heating it, I'm still heating it, I'm still heating it. And then when you go to pour, don't like, pour just dump chuck it in dump it in um, and it will go straight down the middle it will make that noise I think you saw that on the video yeah um, now obviously this grain in here is now stuck because I haven't lifted it to molten but as soon as I put heat on that it won't It'll be a loosen problem. Back up. yeah, oh, yeah that, it's not that, a problem. that's gonna be my next question right okay fantastic. and then what you'll get um, sometimes you'll get something completely perfect out of the um, flask and other times you'll get something like this which I wanted to show you oh Actually, I'll show Michael. Now, you can see that some of the um, metal has actually gone into the middle. That really isn't a problem because you just go in with your rotary tool or your files and you get rid of it. Mm. Um, and sometimes you'll get this and your stones will be in there and you can uncover them. It's <gasps> called uncover. And you can actually t get your sanding oh my gosh, that's so mops cool. and you can uncover the gemstones. Yeah. Or you might think, do you know what, I hate that and just lob it back in here. It's Pop it back into your crucible. What about with the gemstones? Um, yeah, I mean, the gemstones will separate and you'll lose them if you put the gemstones in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I would do is if I could see the gemstones, I get, I'll Just drill get them out, the, yeah, 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 take drill them, them out. out. Perfect. Um, but I could melt that again. I also wanted to show you the difference between the Argentium, that's Argentium, and the 925. Now, yeah. the Argentium, I'll hold it up. It's whiter, it's isn't whiter. it? It's whiter. It's quite a bit. Um, also, with Argentium, you get a bit of less of fire stain. If you're used to working with Argentium and you're going to add maybe a bezel on the top or something uh, that you're going to fuse, and you usually work with Argentium, then, um, you know, obviously you can mix them up if you want. I mean, you could solder on a uh, 95 to Argentium, that's not a problem. If you don't know what Argentium is, it's a higher value of silver content. It's like 99%, I think, whereas. My poor row. 925 is 925 and then the rest is made up of, of other metals like copper mm. or whatever. If you got, I've done this before and it's worked out really nicely, if you get half of a cast, you could put that back into the mold and then oh. saw that off, put that back into the mold and fill it again and it'll fill the other half. And some oh, people wow. do that with gold. <gasps> so you'll oh, have- Oh, I love that idea. Half silver. Would you do the silver before the gold? I mean, it's not going to affect the... Yeah. It's not going to melt. No, I usually do the silver for the gold. But then this, remember, this will then be um, solid. Of course, so it's not going to melt. It's not going to... No, you're not putting like... It's not... You're not putting molten, molten on, on molten. molten. Yeah. This is solid. So um, yeah. I talk in the instructions about the sprue, which is the part where you poured. And if you've put too much metal in, I yeah. like to put too much in more than too little because, yes, of course. you know, it, that doesn't matter if I get that and sort of I can I can um, saw that off. But you need to obviously you're going to get one of those on it, whether yeah. it be a small one or a large one. Yeah. And then you need to just saw that off 
and just you know sand that little bit there uh, and you might think you know I, I can work with that I can solder that to something or you know if it's an acorn or a shell you just need to polish it up get rid of the sprue and you've got a nice keepsake um, the cast in place stones is really fun because you don't know what you're gonna get yeah you know, you beautiful really, you really don't know and if you do see like that you've got a gemstone in there that you want to sort of show a little bit more then I can kind of set that one's hidden the one there on the I right love it. it's now gorgeous. I could just sand that and unearth more of it yes, if I wanted to. Yes. Obviously be very careful around the stone if you're working with files and rotary tools, you don't want to scratch it. You can pop a bit of masking tape over it if you're worried that you oh, might do call. that. Yes. Um, but like on this particular one, it came I out just like that. this Stunning. and I just liked it. And I did um, file off a couple of the bigger edges around the back because you need to make sure it's comfortable to wear mm. and I really like that line that went around the yeah, middle. Yeah me too, it's beautiful. It might be nice to sort of have that in gold. You know, yes how lovely. Some gold on the top there but you practice makes perfect, um, don't do it when you're impatient, it really doesn't matter if you go wrong because you can melt it all again, it's not wasted. Presumably it will take a lot longer to melt this piece yes. than, than the granules, it will take considerably longer, considerably so be prepared longer. for that. Considerably longer and you need to, um, if you're doing your scrap silver, don't just shove loads of whole things into the um, crucible, crucible like that like if I was going to do that I'd I'd saw it up first yeah yeah so make it into little pieces old sheet old rings take the stones out saw them up into pieces not tiny pieces but just pieces That's because amazing. they're easier um, to melt so I use my all my old silver I and all the old silver left over from projects that I'm not gonna reuse you know like when you do stamping and then you have the cutouts and it's not really enough silver to do anything but maybe granulation yeah. That can go See, I'm thinking there. of people repurposing things like um, old wedding bands Definitely. and stuff like that, Definitely. rings that don't fit them. Um, you know, that kind <coughs> of, you know, kind of upcycling your jewelry so it's still made from that same material, but it's, you know, in a design that you really want it to. Would you treat the gold any differently to how you're treating the argentium or the silver? I would, use, would usually use a completely different crucible. I was going to say a different, yeah. a different, a different set altogether. Completely different setup. Now, it yeah. doesn't have to be chunky. If you have a look that's, at this that's one, that's exquisite. That ring. This one, I, I wanted that. to look like it was a um, a twig. Yes. So I did do some refinements to this with my rotary tool by just smoothing off some edges and and bits and pieces so that that looked um, a bit like a twig. It's gorgeous, Deb. Honestly. So obviously that didn't take anything as much silver as... Look at that though. It's beautiful. And you can always use your rotary tool as well in the middle. Yeah. Because if you see if that happens... Yeah, precisely. But you're yeah. happy with the rest of it. Now, we've bought the Crucible to air already, which has absolutely flown. That is $12.99. Basically, it's sold out. There's three chances left. We're going to be bringing the sand to air... Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, the Delft clay to air. Um, this, is, this is how much you need to fill that flask. So well, yeah. it looks like a lot, but you're gonna need all of it. And presumably the bits that end up burnt, we're talking tiny amounts that Tine, are burnt. So, so you're not gonna have to replace this for a little while, so are you? So what I would usually do is get my spoon. Perfect's alive. And just, um, it's probably about, that. what I take off for a ring is probably throw away about that much. Okay, though. perfect. That's fine, isn't it? So you'll know, because it goes black and it goes hard. So you just, Go over the top with a spoon or a knife, yeah. throw that away. Please keep your clay in an airtight container yeah. um, or else it will dry up and you won't be able to use it. So you put yours with a, 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 wet, a baby wipe that you've drenched. Yes. And you wrap it in cling film twice. Yes. And then I put that into one of our big jewellery maker bags and seal that. Perfect, yeah. And yeah, don't that put makes it near the sense. radiator or in a hot room or yes. anything like that. And that will last you. Yeah. You can re keep re going with that for ages. Now, I was amazed at the price of this today because you can see prices of all, all, all sorts, all sorts of prices um, elsewhere. Uh, this is one that we found on Cooks and Gold, exactly the same uh, 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 gram weight. This is two kilograms. Theirs is two kilograms as well. It is absolutely brilliant what we're offering you. This the price honestly is amazing. £44.17 elsewhere. Have a look at this. 
This is absolutely amazing. And this is what often puts people off of trying casting is the price of the sand or the clay. Yeah, yeah. So when something's 45 pounds and you don't know if you're going, and then you've got to buy all the other bits as well. Yeah, yeah. And you don't know if you're going to even be good at it or like it or whatever. It, you know, it's a bit, is it considered, isn't it? So we've already beaten the price point of 44.17 for at 39.99. We're actually going to go even lower. This really is brilliant. We've got other tools coming up as well, which you're definitely going to need as well. So just, and we've got the granules coming up as well, and we've got the loose gemstones. So please, 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 just just get as much as you much as you can on pre-order. All of it is going to be coming to air. Here we go. 39.99, not your price, all the way down. Here we go, my lovelies. I don't know what this is going to. Yeah, this is this is amazing, Deb. This really is incredible. Have a look at this. Ready? 44.17 elsewhere, 29.99. Now that's more like it, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? That it's is... much more doable, much more kind of, yeah, I can rationalise that. And that is going to last you, especially if you're, you know, you look after it properly and you're going to be able to have that. You know, what I tend to do is I take half of it and separate it and then I, I just use that half for a while and leave the other one like intact because it yes. comes really well packaged. Mm. Uh, if you feel like it's drying out a little bit, you can add water to it, you can add a bit of water in there. Um, and as you... When you get it out, I mean, a lady messaged me after the last show and went, oh, it's really sticky and this isn't what I thought. And it will become less sticky as you use it. Yeah. But um, the stickiness, you just need it. You kind of want that because you get that really precise and sharp image. Crisp image. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 29.99 there's tons of you coming through congratulations everybody well done now if you want to get two or three lots of this let's say you're going to be doing uh you're going to be using um you're going to be using this with your silver and you're going to be using it with your argentium and you're going to be using it with your gold oh yeah we're going low yeah i know we're going low it's amazing it's absolutely amazing i thought that's all we were doing i'd be getting a few packs of these by the way this is two kilos you are not paying any more in PMP today. You are just paying one PMP of 395, which is absolutely brilliant. We're taking the price point lower. This is absolutely brilliant. We're really making this as affordable as we possibly can. We've got the flask coming up as well. Um, here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. It's an amazing deal. Here we go. This is, okay. Do you know where we're going? No. Come on, let's do it. Go on, Neary. Can you imagine this how much postage you'd pay for this absolutely. The flask and the crucible? 20 elsewhere. quid. <gasps> 20 pounds. There you go, everyone. 20 pounds for you today for your two kilo Yay. bag of Delft clay. It's absolutely amazing. Plus, by the way, each and every one of these items we're bringing, so the crucible, the Delft clay, the handle, the um, flask, they all come with the instructions from Deb. So they all come with the instructions um, uh, to make your cast in place garnet ring which is absolutely incredible which uh, Deb has prepared for you but there are six yeah 16 steps to this it goes through all of the health and safety what you should and uh, what kind of the ideal uh, gems are to set into your into your pieces it goes through absolutely everything from beginning to end also can I just say as well or um, um, anyone coming through to get this today when your when your items are dispatched you will get your pdf print that pdf off right on here um the 23rd of february 2024 then you'll know what date the show was aired because i want you to go back and i want you to go to our youtube channel and i want you to watch the demonstration of deb um, uh, obviously setting all of this up but also uh doing the melting as well Yes. melting all the metal as well and then you can make along looking at these and you can watch along as well because this is this is the kind of we're, we're now at the kind of price point for this incredible specialism where even if you're not going to be using it every single month every single I week don't. it's 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 a great 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 price 20 quid for that you look after all of these things they will absolutely look after you Here's another question for you. I know you've used, you've, you've got your big torch there. Do you know the torch that we use for um, uh, for, for other sterling silver work? I've Can used, you use that? We bought the powerful Durston torch last yes, time, the little yes. one. That does work. It takes longer. Yeah. Um, That's this, isn't so it? your it best longer. actually putting it in a little house full of fire oh, bricks. Oh, you did say that, yes. Um, which I can show you. I won't do it, but I'll show you. Brilliant. 
1990, uh, loads of you coming through. Congratulations, loads in baskets though. Do, do check out as soon as you can. When I was, was learning, there were times when um, a couple of the students would have two torches on the crucible just yes. to do it quicker. So what I would usually do in my, in my studio situation, and I'm not gonna heat anything, I'll just show you, is I've got this on a, on a fire brick, yeah. and then I make like a little house for it. And I put that there, which is why I didn't do it today because you wouldn't be able to see from the front. And what this is doing is it's throwing all the heat back into the crucible. So I'm kind of making a little a little yeah. house. If you've only got sort of two fire bricks, you know, or even if you're going to do it on um, a surface like this and you don't actually have to have it on a, on a fire brick, you can just put one there, that will still help. Yeah. Because if when you're heating, if you put your hand up here or you put your hand here, you'll feel so much heat that's yes. being wasted. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, that will just push some of the heat back into Brilliant. the crucible. I tell you what we're going to do, um, because we've got a good quantity of these, we're actually going to make it even more affordable. Now, we really should not be doing this. And I don't know if we can, but you know, we're, we're just going to do it. Look, how many people have got that in baskets? It's absolutely crazy. There are so many of you joining us. There are so many of you there that we may as well make it as affordable as we possibly can. So your two kilogram pack of Delft Is it going clay, down again? We're taking the price down again. Ooh. Here we go, absolutely brilliant. All the way down. Ready, steady, go. 14.99. You can't, 45 pounds? 14.99. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> 14.99. Bish, bash, bosh. Well done, everybody coming through. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done. Loads more people there. Loads more people checking out. That's great to see. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. What an opportunity for you today. That's just brilliant. It is crazy. It's absolutely crazy, that price point. Well done, though. So, so, so pleased for all of you today. Well done. Let's do a minute to close because we've got so much still to bring you, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So one minute to close. Go, go, go. Keep adding it to your order. Well done, everybody. We have bought you already, although I think it has sold out the Crucible, which was twelve ninety nine. You need this. Uh, yeah. Now we've got the handle coming up as well. I'm sure. I'm sure it's got a proper name. What's scorifier. It a scorifier. Uh. Ooh. Sounds painful. Uh, that's going to be coming your way next. And we've also got the <laughs> flask as well. Uh, so absolutely fantastic. £14.99. pence. Taking the details away in about 30 seconds time. Any more questions you've got, please do message in and we'll do our best to pose those to Deb. Um, can you use gold and silver together? In the same crucible? I've never done that. I don't, I don't know. know why you'd want to do I that. I don't know. <laughs> I've never done that. I've set gold on top of silver. I don't gold work with gold a lot because it's gold expensive. and silver heat the same way? No. I mean, if you have never worked with gold before, just start with silver mm. because gold is considered and gold, you know, if you're a silversmith, then you'll have worked with gold before. But I would say if you've, you know, I work with um, gold really infrequently because I'm not a working jeweler. This is my job. I mm. used to back in the day, but that was 10 years ago. Um, so I would say go with your silver first of all and what I've done before is cast um, what a, a bit of it in silver and then put the molten gold on and that's worked really beautifully. Yeah, lovely. So say an acorn with a gold cap or something. Yeah, I've gorgeous. done that before. Let's do the flask. This is what it's supposed to look like before you use it. Oh, it's ever so pretty. <laughs> that's a nice... That's a clean one. Oh, there you go. Oh gosh, that's a really good piece of kit. My um my my mum's got a pair of well got a set I should say of Robert Welch uh, scales that she still uses now. She was bought them she bought them when she was at school wow. doing uh, domestic science I think it was called back then. She still got them today and it's made from this lovely cast iron material. Mm. This really beautiful material. Oh gorgeous gorgeous Sorry? gorgeous. Here we go. Do you need to prepare the? Yes, you have yes, to. You yes, do. you have to yeah. prepare the crucible. So, um, I have written in yeah. there how you prepare it. Yeah, that's in the instructions. It's mentioned it's it in the step one. There's a whole step on it. Add some flux powder to the crucible and heat the uh, flux and crucible until the flux becomes melted. So the instructions are there in step one. So yeah, absolutely. And there are a lot of um, 
YouTube videos on preparing your crucible where yeah. you can actually see it. I also put detailed instructions last time so I didn't have time to demo it on JM guest designer Debbie Kershaw on Facebook. If you go, I think it's pinned to the top. And I've also put some really helpful YouTube videos on my page as well. Um, if enough people want, I'll do a live on my, um, on my Facebook page um, for questions and things. If enough people want me to do that, yeah, message me and I'll call. do that. Nice. But yes, you do have to prepare your crucible. Don't put um, anything in there before you've layered it with flux. Perfect. Do you have to prepare the no. flask? You don't, do no. you? No, you mm. just whack all, the, whack all the Delft clay in there. Um, 29 night. that is heavy, by the way. Can I just say 29.99, nowhere near your price. Now this is a very large um, uh, flask. I, I love the idea of putting a bangle in there. I mean, you could put a cuff in there if you really wanted to. You could put a to, cuff in there. It's deep enough, isn't it? It's deep enough and you've you, got. The size of your crucible determines how much ah, metal you can melt. Yes, And right. the great thing about this scorifier is if you wanted a larger crucible, this is adjustable, so you it will hold whatever Brilliant. size. Yeah, okay. So we've got, this, um, we've got the scorifier coming up in a couple of seconds. We're at 29.99 for the uh, flask, but we are gonna take it even lower. Go on. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's really low. Neary, what are you doing? You said it could be too low. <laughs> it's way too low. Fourteen ninety-nine. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely amazing. So you got that. I mean, that is a that is. When I started sand casting, that's and a this couple was of kilos. That's a couple of kilos. Exactly. That's four kilos. That literally. Oh my, that's like a newborn baby. It cost me ten pounds in postage. When yeah, that's three ninety-five p and p. With all your, with all of your other stuff. Oh my gosh, that's really heavy. That's amazing. Thank your posty when they do uh, when they do send it to you. That is absolutely amazing. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Well done. Um, so, what did the the sand go to? Twenty. Uh, Fifteen. Oh yeah, and then this. That's thirty. Yeah. And then what? This is sold out. But what did this go to? Twelve ninety nine. Okay, so forty three. Forty three. And then have we done this? No, not yet. So, to think that you could. I spent over £150 getting my kit to learn sand casting back in the day. And oh that was gosh. over well, 10 years ago. There you go. That's crazy. So how, that's is why I like Jewelry Maker. It gives people the opportunity to have a go. Dip your toe in. Without spending Absolutely. hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Absolutely. But the great thing is, is that especially with a flask like this, if you do decide that you want to do larger pieces, you more can. kind of ornate pieces, you absolutely can do because the size is brilliant. I think you could do a oh, bangle with this one. Yeah, probably. I think well, you could well, do. You I'll need to put yes. more That'd more silver amazing. in there. Yeah. Um, but you could certainly, or even if you did it in two halves, cast mm. half of it, then cast the other half. Fantastic. Fourteen ninety nine for you today. Congratulations, everybody. Yay. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. That is just a brilliant piece of kit. Well done, everybody. Um, Neary, are we doing the thingy? Scorifier. Scorifier. Yeah, scorifier. Here we go. So. I'll move that over there. Mm -hmm. Your scorifier is what? 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 Gosh, this has got lots of different. So things what you do? I, I take that off because I don't like it. But oh. what you do is you. Oh. This okay. opens and closes. Can you pass me the crucible, please? Yeah. You pop your crucible in there, mm -hmm. like that, and then you put that close and you do that up now this is an extra bit of security so I need to put that down that you can take over the top and hold it there oh. it gets in my way so I, I took that off I've got the same one I took that off um, but I presume if you had a larger um, crucible, crucible you, might want it. you might want it because yeah. you need to make sure that you know because you're going to be pouring this you need to make sure again that that doesn't happen yeah. That it doesn't come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that I know that I've used this so many times. And every time I start to use it again after I haven't used it, I make sure everything's nice and tight. And I just found, and this is just a personal thing, that this got in my way. But if I was using a larger crucible, mm. I'd put that over the lip of the crucible. But mm -hmm. it does come on and off. So that's what that Perfect. does. Perfect. Now, price point for your um, scorifier. Um, we have found a price comparison elsewhere, haven't we, Neary? Here we go. Thirty pounds. Okay, okay good. fantastic. That's not bad. Yeah. There you go. So thirty pounds for your scarify. Okay. Um, we're going to do something really special today because we love you. I know. Here we go. Is that right? No, you haven't got the right thing on screen, lovely. 
No, that's the flask you've got on there. You've got the flask on screen there, Neary. There you go. Crucible tongs for Skyfire. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Here we go. I see. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so here we go. So graphics are live. Well done. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Brucey, you know what to do. 30 seconds. Oh, 29 second clock. He's got no time to hang around, does he? <laughs> no time to hang around this afternoon. There you go, everybody. Here we go. Right. 20 seconds. Let's be having it. Absolutely amazing. And a really essential. You've got to have this. You cannot go holding. You no, cannot no, no, go no. picking this up with your you know, bare hands. You are Gee dealing whiz. with molten metal. Yes. If you have never done any silver work before, you've never picked up a flame. Get familiar with your tools before you attempt to do mm -hmm. this, because this is more of an intermediate um, project. Like maybe mm. you've you've sawn and you've had a bit of a solder. You can you can work onto this absolutely. Absolutely. But you know you don't want to sort of buy your first torch and start melting metal. Yeah. You know without knowing exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Here we go, my lovelies. Let's get that price point all the way down. So we bought you a price comparison of thirty pounds. Let's get that price point down. Here we go. Twenty quid. Amazing, how incredible is that? 19 pounds, 99 pence, congratulations, well done, go, 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 yay! All right, all right, all right, there we go everybody, well done everybody, 19 pounds and 99 pence, congratulations to everybody coming through to get these, well done. I think as well if you're going to be, you know, if you're very, you know, if you're very adept at this and you're going to be doing, uh, maybe teaching a few little workshops or anything like that, absolutely fantastic, but I imagine as well this being useful for all sorts of other kind of uh, metal work techniques as well if you're going to be melting um, any kind of metal, you know, this is such a you know, this is going to be a much safer way of picking things up rather than using tongs or be tempting and to use your hands. And the heat doesn't move up to your hand. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. There you go. Oh, my gosh. We're going even lower. Oh, go, go. Go on. Well done. Let's get all of these at home. £15. Go. Well done. Loads in basket. That's half the price of the one we've just shown you. That's absolutely bonkers, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Fantastic opportunity. Well done, Elaine, Susan, Lorna, Maker in Holland, Suffolk. And honestly, all of these, you're, you're going to get, oh my gosh. So heavy. Everyone everything. who's checking all of this out, this, this, the flask, the crucible, you know, that is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That must be at least kind of what, five kilos of stuff. Yeah. And you're only paying 3.95 P and P per order. That is absolutely brilliant. So 14.99 for that, 12.99 for that. 14, no, 19.99, no, how much was the, how much was the flask again? 14.99 oh, yeah. for the flask. And then the Delft clay was 14.99 as well. That's absolutely price. amazing. Incredible, well done. Let's do the granules now. Here we go. And we've got loads of gemstones available on the website. If you want to add it all to your order, please, please, please do. I'm just going to shuffle that over. If you've over. got any um, diamonds, you know, the rough diamonds, often people say to oh, me, I oh, love I don't know what I can do that. with yes. those because they've got little tiny holes. Rough diamonds would be nice. I want, I've got an idea for a design with the rough diamonds. All of the stones that we've got here, we've got loads. We've got garnets. We've got, uh, I'm not sure what they are. They look like zircon or something. Those are diamonds. Amazing. We're going to put them on uh, the website after the show just okay. to let you know. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, starting off, sterling silver. Oh, this is the Argentium one. Ten so, Argentium, grams. 10 grams of Argentium uh, granules. There you go. Would you make a, what What would I make with that? How much would I make with that? You could make a, two rings. Oh, wow. Or if you're going for little rings, you can make three. Oh, my gosh. Or four. Um, you could cast a shell with that. You could oh, cast a little, you know, my little moon face. Gorgeous. You, and you'd have some left over because remember you're going to get that sprue mm. which you um, just put back in the pot and melt for another project. Oh my gosh, how wonderful. So if you're, you know, you, and, and you can fuse Argentium. So Argentium's it's almost like alchemy to me. Yeah. How you don't have to it solder is alchemy. it. I, I can't profess to know everything about Argentium because it's fairly new to me. Yeah. Um, but you do get that lovely white. It's it's less prone to fire stain. Yes, um, absolutely. As well. And it's 940 silver as well. Just and you can you put it in the pickle. You can do everything that you usually do. Go Gorgeous stuff. Well done. Uh, 19 pounds, 99 pence. Swansea 2, Suffolk 2, Surrey, Kent 2, Northamptonshire, Hampshire, uh, Norfolk, Aberdeenshire, Staffordshire, 
London, Gloucestershire, Hampshire. Oh, my word. Aberdeenshire, Greater Manchester. Oh, gosh, there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of you coming through. Well done. Congratulations. That's your deal. 1999. Well done. We do have the sterling silver coming up as well. Um, the Argentium is absolutely fantastic. It really, really is. It's uh, as Deb says, it's less. Sorry, have you, have you got the slide there, Neri, on the um, on the Aquamarine PowerPoint? Just to make sure I haven't missed anything out. Um, loads of you coming through. Do check out as soon as you can. Well done. Um, no fire saying brighter, whiter casting, hypoallergenic and antibacterial, and it's purer than your 925. Yeah. But absolutely fantastic um, uh, material that you've got here in the Argentium. Let's do the sterling silver, um, which is 925 sterling silver. So remember, you can do all of your techniques. You can solder things to this when you finish. Yeah, now that's great. You know, so yeah. say you did an acorn, you can solder on your jump rings. Oh, you can, I love you that. You can use it as you would use anything else in, in the workshop. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you might want to refine it and get your rotary tool on the acorn because there's bits gorgeous. that you don't like. So you can refine it or you can leave it really organic. Yeah, gorgeous. Right, OK, 14 seconds and then we're going to be bringing you your prize point. Deb, you have managed to shoehorn everything in. Well it's, done. It's nerve wracking. Um, can I say thank you very much to Neri for giving me the time to demo? Oh, thank you, lovely. Not at all. That's really it's um, been brilliant. Yeah, thanks. That's Hasn't it been really fascinating? <laughs> it's been awesome. It's been a dream actually Neither seeing all this. Down. Huge congratulations. <laughs> well done. Here we go. Prize point. We're going to put all the stones on the website after the show. Uh, we literally have run oh out of time goodness. today, but at £14.99, that's for all of your sterling silver. Again, easily a couple of rings with that. Um, uh, no problem whatsoever. 10 grams of your 925 sterling silver. Deb, what an absolute dream. And all of these pieces come with the instructions. Do not lose those. I mean, they are absolutely 16 stages that Deb's done for you. It's so much extra work for Deb. Um, but do write the date on, 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 your, uh, on your printout there. It'll tell you what the date is. Um, sorry, it'll it'll uh, be helpful for when you go back to YouTube. You watch the demo again. You watch the YouTube clip, uh, the uh, video again, which is um, uh, you know Deb uh, showing you how to how to kind of get to that molten stage and what to do with it. I'll put it on my Facebook page. Fantastic. As well. Thank you so much. Oh, that was what fun. What an amazing show. <laughs> Listen, thank you so, so, so much. You've got an amazing show coming up tomorrow with Rachel. all sorts of incredible things. And a lovely Rachel Norris. We've got uh, Mark joining you uh, with me on Sunday, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully with some Imperial eggs. I really, really hope so. Uh, but thank you so much. Well done, you. Oh, absolutely you. awesome. Uh, thank you very much, guys. And uh, look on the website for all these gorgeous gems.